Hello, everybody. All right. I think we're good to go. Let me just go ahead and get the background music going. So, oh, I don't know if that's too loud or not. Let's just turn it down a little bit. I think it's just because there's no game noise right now. So, what we're going to do in this video, well, this live stream, I guess, we're going to prepare for the apocalypse because I want to see how long I can survive in the apocalypse. You know what I mean? That, that That's what we're doing. So we're going to start a fully new game. We're going to go Hamlet. We're not going to change anything. It's going to be all default. I'll show you guys now. Default. Nothing's changed. And we're going to play as Wilson. I know I play as Wilson too much, but I, I enjoy playing as Wilson because he's the most basic character. So everything I do can be done with another character. Unless it's like super niche. Like, I guess you can't eat veggies as Wigfred and whatnot. But anyways, let's let's just get into it. Let's go. Let's Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's explore Hamlet once again. A totally new Hamlet. Let me just make sure the stream quality is good. So far, seems good. Immediately spawned next to an Iron Hulk. That's kind of funny. All right. Well, let's get to work. Now you guys will actually get to watch me play Hamlet like I normally play it. Which means I'm going to rush the Pig Palace City. Because this is not for a guide. It's actually for me. It also means I won't be recording this. So, you guys watching this live stream, uh, enjoy it. Because you're watching something that won't be edited down. Unfortunately. Alright. We're getting to work here. We're gonna just slowly... We're gonna just slowly do everything that we want to do here. We've got our machete. I think that should be enough grass for now. We're gonna go ahead and pick some aloe. It's a good healing item, actually, believe it or not. And then asparagus is a really good, a really good food item. Early game, that is. We've got a deep rainforest over here. And a set piece. All right, off to a good start. Here's the pig city. We can go over there now real quick. We're also going to want to find some what you call it immediately off to a great start with two flint that's really good oh three flint never mind guys we are we are in business so what i normally do is i normally make my way to swinesbury as early as possible try to get as much money as possible so we're actually going to get these totems here just gonna grab these because that'll help us make some money when we get over to Hamlet or well Swinesbury we're in Hamlet I don't know what I'm talking about we are in Hamlet anyways we're getting to work a gummy slug these things are weird things are very weird. Alright, I, I think we're good now. We're not going to find anything else that's super intriguing. We're just going to go ahead and head back to the... We're going to head to Swinesbury now. I think now's a good time. Um, we need gold. That's a thing we need. Which, if we find a cave cleft, we can get some gold. I want to be as efficient as possible. We also should probably... You know what? Let's let's hold off on Swinesbury for now. We're actually going to try to find a painted biome. 
because I want gold. I want to get a science machine down as fast as possible. Science machine means uh, backpack, which also means we can go do things. Yeah, you know, all the fun stuff. Is this another? We've got, whoa, look at this. We've got the ring thing right here and the lever thing right over here. Oh, we had a cave cleft here. I didn't even see that. We could have gotten gold from that. Oh, well, we're fine. We're not doing a speed run, so it doesn't matter that much. Uh, he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna get out of the way, whatever. We need this iron anyway. Could mine the nap mounds, but eh. Do we really need to? Not so much. This is an awful painted biome, dude. This is awful. It's a finger. Look at it. What it? Uh, okay. It's a finger. Any of you guys who remember from the 100 Days of Summer stream and or the video that's coming out this Friday, I'm actually making really good time on it. I'm actually getting close to finishing it. So I'm, I'm almost certain it's coming out this Friday, which is awesome. I'm so excited for that. Hopefully it does well. I worked very hard on it. Really hoping it does well. All right, so that painted biome was incredibly bad. This is actually a terrible start. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, you know what? We'll make do. We'll make do. We'll be fine. We could mine this gnat mound. Hold on. Let's get a pickaxe. We're going to mine this gnat mound real quick. We can get some extra iron and rocks. And then we can grab this flint, maybe? Yes, we can. Whew. Didn't get shot. That's good. Uh, that means today will be a good day. All right. So, let's make our way back to that cave cleft. We can actually get gold. I don't know why I stuttered there, but I did. I apologize. It's the mic monitoring. It makes me uh, stutter sometimes. Alright. In here, we can get some gold. Um, Will we be able to? Yes, we will. Yeah, there's some gold. Nice. Alright. Let's go ahead and make a torch. We're going to need one for tonight anyway. And then we're just going to... Boom. Look at all this gold, guys. This is how you get gold early game. It's great. All right. Wonderful. And I think we can mine this to cause an earthquake. Yeah. Yeah. Which also uh, gives us a chance to get some gold. A chance, that is, of course. Oh, it also gives us scorpions. Let's not deal with those yet. I don't like dealing with those guys. Alright. So far, off to a good start. Let's head over to Swinesbury. And yes, this time I will buy the house early on. So that I don't have to worry about walking back and forth. Because, my goodness, was that annoying. <laughs> my goodness, was that annoying. I'm sure plenty of you guys were yelling at me. Secretly. Deep down, you were yelling at me. me. Hello, welcome to the stream. How did the fight with the Iron Hulk go? It went well. Well, I can't say that. I can't say that. It went... Okay, we survived. This is a totally different world, though. Because I'm dedicating this world to seeing exactly how long I can survive in the apocalypse. If I'm able to obtain as many resources as I need. So, yeah. The fight with the Iron Hulk, though, it was... I did nearly die. It was bad. But it could have been worse. Could have been worse. All right, so the Slanty Shanty's here. That's not a bad location. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. All right. Well, let's go make some... Oh, wait. We won't be able to make money until tomorrow. Uh, Yeah, that's a problem. All right. Either way, let's get our science machine set up. We don't have wood. Yeah. 
Uh, to be expected. I missed something. I do that pretty often. I do that pretty often. Alright. I would chop down these birch nut trees, but then the pig guards will get mad at me. I'd rather just... We can go get tea trees. We can start planting those as an emergency for lush season. We're going to have to survive 60 days. This is going to be either a very long stream or a long stream. One of the two. <laughs> either way, it's, it's going to be... How does the apocalypse work? Okay, so the apocalypse is tied to a calendar that you find in the ruins. It is awful. It's the worst event in the game. And I mean, like, when I say worse, I mean it's almost impossible to, like, survive long term in it. Because it causes all of these bad things to happen. Like, really bad things to happen. But... Basically, you have 60 days from when you start a Hamlet world until the apocalypse starts. And if it starts before you head to the ruins and stop it, it's permanent. So it'll last forever until you stop it. After you stop it, every other apocalypse, it only lasts... Uh, wow, these stupid squirrels. Every other apocalypse only lasts 20 days. Still, it's 20 days, but... You know, not as bad as it could be. So regardless, it should be fun. We should have lots of fun. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, let's go make some money. And then... Yes, yes. Where is the brown coat pig? Somewhere around here. There he is. Give me money. Thank you. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the science machine up out here. And we're going to... We're just going to toss it down. Now we can make a backpack. And we can make a ball peen hammer. Two very important items. We can also make shears to now get some more money. Alright. Now it's money time, guys. We're gonna we're gonna get lots of money. So let's go ahead and organize my inventory a little bit. I like to organize it like this. And then can we plant these? We can. We can plant them kind of like this. We'll just decorate the town a little bit. Why not? Tea trees look very pretty, so I don't mind decorating the town a little bit. We'll also leave a machete here. We don't need it. The shears are basically a better machete. The only exception comes from cutting tubers. You can't cut tubers with a machete, which sucks. Not fun, but... Hey, it's okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right. Let's go ahead and head over to the jungle. We want to make a lot of money, so... Let's go do that. We'll need lots of money, lots of stone. We need to head to the the Pig Palace city as fast as possible. Ah. Alright. We can gather some grass, too. A lot easier with the shears. In fact, I might dedicate some of these shears to doing that. Because it is a very valuable way to get grass. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and grab some of this. Surprisingly, the pogs never really give me much of an issue. I always hear people, like, complaining about them. And, like, I agree, they're annoying. But, like, they, they never give it... Wow, I did not mean to do that. They never give me much of an issue. So. But then again, that's also just me. Wow, dude. All the aggressive vines here. My goodness. Sorry, pog. I need money. Alright, we've got nettles too. I should have made a shovel so we could get that stuff going. What do we got here? Pugalisk Island? Not bad. Not bad. We need to look for Pig Palace Island. That's the important one. 
So we're just gonna wander around. We'll grab we'll grab some radishes too. Keeps us fed. Keeps us fed and happy. Keeps us fed and happy. Um, we could also cut down some of the some of these vines so that we can get some rope. I'm not opposed to that either. Easy rope. Easy rope. All right, and then oh, here we go. Here's another relic. We can go ahead and and think that's Pig Palace right there. Yeah, that's Pig Palace. Okay, we could rush our way over there, but I'd like to get some form of protection first. It is almost certainly possible to rush our way over there, but we're gonna need money. We're gonna need money first and all that fun stuff. So that's why I'm just wandering through the jungle, gathering as many relics as possible. I think that is a way to go. We could, ooh, hammering down that pig right here for some easy pig skin. Not a terrible idea. Not a terrible idea at all. We can make a football helmet now. Wonderful. That probably means there's a mant colony nearby. Yeah, right there. That's normally what the pig heads mean. Oh, dude. We're already inventory maxed on totems. That's great. All right, we can already afford a house. That's awesome. That's actually pretty nice. We can already afford a house. Um, We've got tons of nettles here. We'll have to remember to grab these, at least during humid season. At least during humid season. Oh, what? Evil. Ooh, gold. Yes, please. Never can have too much of that. There's the poison rainforest. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? Weird. Uh, I think I can grab this without getting poisoned. Yeah. You have to stand on the turf to get poisoned, I believe. So that's not bad. We'll survive. No need to worry. Got another mant over here. We're getting a little hungry, but... Look, who starves and don't starve? Probably gonna be me in a second, let's be honest. Uh, we've got another relic here. I'd like to grab it, but we've got a few angry boys on us. Let's try to lose them real quick. We can grab one more relic. All right, we're gonna take that hit, but that's worth it for what we're getting here. All right. Wonderful. I'd say we made out like bandits. We did good. We did real good. Question is, should I juggle the torch? Probably. Just to make sure we can make it to town. Another good source of flint that I failed to uh, acknowledge is, um, oh my goodness. Okay, we don't want to take a hit there. Lots of battles going on over here. We don't want to deal with that. Uh, dung beetles are actually really good sources of flint. Really good sources of flint. So... If you need flint really badly, I would suggest knocking a dung beetle off of its little ball. And you can easily manage to get flint from that. Alright, this torch is out. I'm just going to let it run out so we can keep our world nice and clean. Or as clean as I can keep it. Alright, so we've got some relics here. Got some relics here. We're gonna get We're going to get lots of money. We can buy the house, too, now. That's day three house. That would be kind of funny, I think. Although we should eat something. Probably can eat these radishes. I think they're they're equally as good, both cooked and uncooked. If they're anything like carrots, that is. All right, let's get some more money while we're at it. All right. So far, I'm happy with the start. 
I'm very happy with this start. I am actually pretty pleased with this start. Alright. We need to find a brown-coated pig. There he is. Alright. He's about to give me so much money. Look at that. So now we have six ten-piece oinks. If we get robbed, too, I... I actually wouldn't mind that. I would not mind that. But we can also get some money here. Alright. We are off to an amazing start. As long as we don't get robbed. <laughs> okay. This Swinesbury kind of sucks, though. There's, like, no hedges. There's hedges up here, but... Uh, I guess we could buy the house now. Why not? Alright, boom. House on day three. A huge difference from my house on day, like, what, 30? Or, not 30, like, 12. Something like that. But now we have a house. Look at that. Wonderful. We'll just throw this deed over here, and we'll clean up a little bit. We'll just throw these over here. Um, we don't have enough rocks for a fire pit. That's okay. That's not a big deal. That's not too bad. Alright. It looks like we're only getting 12 clippings, so we'll sell these to her. And then we should have enough to it to get a pith hat. We could go to Palace City now. All we need to do is make a football helmet. Can we make a football helmet with a science machine? I always forget. I don't think we can. No, we need an alchemy engine, which we could make. We could make. I think we should do that. I think we should do that. Right, let's eat a little bit. Yeah, the way I like to spend my first few days in Hamlet is just living off the land. Eating whatever keeps me full. That's all I need to worry about. These Picos are annoying, but eh, we're fine. Dude, they are... Wow. Alright, we just lost, like, most of that wood. Which is actually annoying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. There's a Pico in here. They make very upsetting noises when they die, though. I have to admit that. I don't enjoy doing that to them, but they kind of do it to themselves. I mean, come on. They can't be that evil. This also is a good way to get twigs, because each of these drop a twig. The only issue is they all drop only two logs, so they're not actually an amazing source of logs. They're not that great, believe it or not. We can also go mine the... Iron Hulk pieces for iron, which isn't a terrible idea. I don't think that's a terrible idea. Then we can get some... Ooh, a peacock. Cool. Good find. Let's get some claw palm real quick. We're going to need this for the future. gonna grab like nine of it just gonna grab a good bit <sighs> we'll use the rest of these shears on grass and then I think we should head over to the Iron Hulk and maybe grab some iron. There is obviously the worry that, you know, it, it could lead to our demise, but... We're, we're not scared, right? We're only mildly scared. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Let's 
will be totally fine. Alright, I am going to plop down a fire real quick so we can cook this asparagus. I believe asparagus is better for you cooked. Regardless, we'll also just cook up these non-edible things real quick. Like, we'll get these morsels. There we go. And then, yeah, look at that. Asparagus is awesome, dude. It gives you so much food. Like, a ridiculous amount of food. We've got a pico in this tree, unfortunately. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's right. Sorry, my friend. Can't steal my stuff. Nice. That was a perfect use of the axe. That actually ended pretty well for me. Alright. And we got some morsels too, so we'll just go ahead and cook these on the campfire. Wonderful. Wonderful. We'll do this. Alright. So far, so good. So far, so good. Um, we could mine the body. The legs are probably going to be the best bet if we want to survive. But uh, we, we could be good, I think. Maybe. 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 Or we just take a machete and use that to get to the pig... Queen Island, which is another probably safer idea. There's also a jungle down here. We haven't fully searched this island, so we've still got some some leg room when it comes to actually searching the island. Welcome back to Swinesbury, guys. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, wow. I didn't realize how, how dark our spot of the neighborhood was. We got to get some lanterns over here or something. All right. We're just going to plant some tea trees. These will come in handy when lush season rolls around. As it will. It will, and it will not be pleasant. I did. I put my stupid science machine in the absolute darkest area. Why did I do that? I'll never know. All right, I want a cork bull canoe. That I do want. Don't know what that noise is, but I don't like it. All right. We should make an alchemy engine. What challenge am I planning next? So, there's a few different challenges. One of the challenges, I'm keeping a secret for now. Although, in the video, in the 100 Days of Summer video, when I do release that, I actually do have like a... It's hidden in there. So, if you really pay attention to that video, you'll see what the what the next challenge is. But another, uh, another few challenges I'm thinking of doing is... It, it was mentioned in the last stream. Spe uh, not speed running, but seeing how long it would take me to cook all crockpot recipes. I think that would be a fun challenge. I think that would be a really fun challenge. Alright, we're just one stone short. No big deal. No big deal. We're fine. Alright, where's all the stores here, by the way? Okay, we got the general store and the deli. That's actually pretty good. What do we got in here? We got another flint. We can get a pickaxe. You know, a shovel's not terrible, but we could also just buy a stone real quick so we can make a cut stone. I think that is a worthy endeavor. All right, cut stone here. And then I'm thinking about making another axe. We'll need to go get more wood. We'll need to get more wood. And I'm probably going to make another pickaxe as well. Just so we can get some more stone, because we are... We don't have that many stones. We want to get an alchemy engine down now. Want to get an alchemy engine down now. Because then we can get a football helmet, and everything will be good. Have we gone in that cave clef yet? I don't think so. We can go We can go in there, and then get some more gold, potentially. 
Oh, you were the one who suggested crockpot recipes. Thank you. I have um, I have your comment screenshotted. So when I do do that challenge, which I probably will at some point, um, I'm going to make sure that your comment is the first thing that gets put on that video. Because that was an awesome recommendation. And I thank you for that. All right, let's get rich. I feel like that was really quick for Charlie to start attacking. All right. Not that great of a cave, but eh, you win some, you lose some. That was actually a pretty bland cave. All right, let's move these stones over though so I can keep an eye on them. And then we're going to move these oinks. I'm going to try to keep my inventory. This is mostly a chill, a chill laid back. This is going to be a not too intense video. I'm just going to be kind of speed running, getting everything done. So that I can have a good, good time in the next stream, which will be the apocalypse. <laughs> It'll be very fun. It'll be very fun indeed. All right, let's go ahead and cut down some of these rainforest trees. They give you more wood if I'm correct. And we need more wood than we do, um, whatever you call them. Oh, really? All right, good thing he was being silly and just AFKing there. You wonder if Worley has access to some unique crockpot recipes? The He does, he does. And if I do that playthrough, I'm actually going to play as Worley. Because, you know, if I'm making all of the crockpot recipes, it has to be all of them. So I will also play as Worley because I'll need to make his unique recipes as well. So that should be fun. That should be very fun. The hardest things are probably going to be the things that require butter because as you know, butter is a RNG dependent thing. So, yeah. Not great. Not great at all. We will be at the mercy of if the game wants to give us butter or not. Which is wonderful. Wonderful indeed. Oh, we don't have room for these logs. I'm just gonna... We're actually gonna get this asparagus. Why not? All right, let's get a move on. We'll go into the jungle a little bit. Yeah, I I was going to do this in the last world that we were doing, but honestly, it was such a mess that I just wanted to start from scratch. I just wanted to start from scratch. Oh my goodness, dude. These vines are annoying. All right, we got to go... Hold on. Oh, we're going the wrong way. That way is to the poison rainforest. I want to go this way because it takes us to uncharted territory. If I could find iron, great. If not, that's okay too. I'm not going to lose sleep over not finding iron. I'd love to find iron, but I also don't need to. Hey, there's more gold though. I'll take that. That is definitely something I will take. There's another cave cleft here, actually. Let's go in here. We can get more gold. We're actually off to a great start when it comes to gold. Like, we have a ton of gold. I did not mean to pick that fern. Ooh, blue gem off the bat, too. I don't remember what we need these for, but I know we need them. Again, guys, I have the uh, I have the brain the brain attention span of a goldfish, so I know we need blue gems, but I forget what for. <laughs> I apologize. All right, ooh, dung beetle. See, look, you can knock these guys off their ball, and their little dung pile drops flint. It's a really good way to get a flint. So, yeah, I forgot to mention that in my previous streams. If you need flint, just chase down some dung beetles. 
Not sure if that tactic works in real life, but to be fair, I don't know how many people have tried it, so. And this is definitely a good way to get gold early game in Hamlet, is to check out the these cave clefts. Alright, nothing fun here. I did get super unlucky when it comes to the painted biome, though. I think we only have the one, which is awful. Like, actually awful. If we only have the one painted biome. If you guys don't know, the painted biome is this red one. Hello, Slipstitch. Welcome to the stream. Sad that you can't stay for long, but it's good that you caught it. I'm glad you caught the stream. Glad you caught it. Good to have you here. Oh, that is spider monkeys. Don't want to deal with that quite yet. Now, technically, I don't need to get the cloth hat. Oh, sprinklers. Yeah, you're right. That's that's exactly what you need blue gems for. Uh, it's it's red gems you need for the smelter, though, I think, isn't it? I forgot about that. We'll need a smelter. We'll need a smelter for sure. Ew. Gross. Gross. <laughs> Alright, maybe we'll get a painted biome up here, but... I'm not going to hold my breath. I'd love to get some extra iron. I'd love, love, love to get some extra iron. It's not necessary, but it is. It would be nice. It would be very nice. Alright. This is another lotus pond. I don't think we've got another... Um, I don't think we have another painted biome within this area. We're gonna have to go to Pig Palace Island to even hope for another painted biome. Because that painted biome sucks. It's awful. And then we could mine the Iron Hulks, but eh, we don't need to. We're fine. We're fine. This torch is gonna give out, so I'm just gonna just gonna make a new one real quick. Wasted a little time there, but that's okay. Nobody's hurt. We can actually take a shortcut here if we go... Oh, wait. Oh, perfect. I didn't even know this shortcut existed. <laughs> I was about to put down my canoe, but I guess I don't need to. I guess I don't need to. All right. So far, we are doing okay. What is that? Is that one of the other islands? That close? That's so funny. Technically, if we had a uh, lazy explorer, that means we could teleport to the other island, island just like that. Which would be cool, but... Oh, wait, maybe it's not another island. Oh, it isn't. Ooh, hold on. Painted biome up here, maybe. Potentially. We are using more time than I'd like. We've also got a Battalisk attack on the way, but... I'm not concerned about them. Alright, you know what? We're good, we're good. We're just gonna go make our alchemy engine and football helmet now. I think that's a good idea. We do that... And then we'll be good. Whoa, he just vanished. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, guard, you want to help me with this? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. No, the meat is not for you. <laughs> All right. 
let's head on over to our house that we already bought, which is really nice. And then let's go ahead and make the alchemy engine. So we're just going to go ahead and make boards. Uh, we don't have the room for this. I don't like leaving poop near the house because it's loud. All right, we now have the alchemy engine. Let's go ahead and create that. Then we're going to just grab this so it's not loud. In fact, I'm going to just leave it like over here. Sorry, pigs. I got to leave my manure here now. All right. We are finally building the alchemy engine in our house. Look at this, guys. How crazy is this? First ever time I've done this. I'm just kidding. I have played Hamlet before normally, so it's not like I haven't done this. All right, we're going to go ahead and make a... We're going to make another machete. No, we have a machete. We're fine on machetes. Okay, we need a football helmet. Football helmet. And probably a spear. Yeah, we'll need a spear. We'll probably do some fighting. And then other than that, we can leave most of this stuff at home. Uh, ball peen hammer is good to have. Monster meat can be left here. Egg can be left here. Pickaxe is probably good to have. We need our oinks, obviously. Um, the cork can be left here. Not going to be useful. And then everything else is pretty good. I think we're good to go. We can combine these stacks. I like keeping all of the basics with me just in case. And then anything else we need to learn here? I think we're good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're good. We're fine. We've learned everything we need to learn. So, I also would like to get a fire pit set up here. Try to get it as central as possible, but there we go. Just so we can cook up some food whenever we're at home. I think that's a wonderful idea. All right. Let's go ahead and eat some of these morsels, and it is time to head to the Pig Palace Island. It is time to head to the Pig Palace Island. So we're going to go ahead and grab our machete, and we are off. We are off. Ooh. What is happening over here? Why is that pig running? No clue, don't care. All right, we need to go to this one up here. That's the pig palace. Kind of unlucky that it's so far away, but eh, it's fine. It's fine. We're going to make it anyway. Let's just hope we get lucky and the exit isn't like a million miles away when we get in there. It's all part of the game. You got to make sure you get lucky with the ruins. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you suffer. I also can utilize bug repellent. I'm going to utilize that more often. Compared to my uh, last run where I was just running around and rabid beetles were chasing me. That was quite the stream. I'm sure you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> me getting chased by... Uh, by rabid beetles. Alright. It's time to head to Pig Palace Island. Let's go. Alright, right off the bat, not looking bad. Not looking bad. I think these are the stones that shoot you, though, so. If I'm correct. Okay. Okay. go to make another torch just in case what I always do is I immediately check the room that we're in because sometimes you get an exit sometimes you don't all right yeah see no exit in there so that's not the exit to the ruins looks like so far we're unlucky can mostly just ignore most of the creatures Um. But other than that, we're, we're pretty good. 
All right, we can go this way. Come on, give me the exit. Uh, we could go around them, but I want to check the other way first. All right, so those are all locked. Let's let's keep taking the easy ways and just hoping that the exit is. I did not want to harvest that, but whatever, I guess. Dumb scorpion. Okay, that is a dangerous room. That is a dangerous room, but that does have the jeweled truffle. Oh, hold on. We kind of want that, though. Like, actually. We do kind of want that. Okay, hold on. I got shot, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. We got the jeweled truffle. That's huge. That's actually huge. That is actually huge, but that's... That's... Okay. Okay. I apologize for that sound. That's gonna be in the background for... Until I restart the game, I think. I'm, I may restart the game real quick. Just to get rid of that background noise. Because it's... That's just because of the one thing. It's going to be very annoying. No, not yet. Alright, give me just one second. We're going to go in and restart the game real quick. Just to reset that noise, because that noise is so annoying. I'm sure nobody wants to listen to that for the whole stream. Alright, let's get back in. Let's get back in. Wonderful. Alright, now we can go down here and get a move on. So far, super unlucky when it comes to the exit. Like, unbelievably unlucky, my goodness. Alright. Um, there's, there's this room over here. Considering my love for scorpions, it might be a good idea to do a challenge where you have to survive a custom world populated by mostly scorpions. Um. Erm. Um, awkward. I gotta say, that probably would be the hardest challenge for me. I hate these things. Look at them. They're so smug. I hate them. And then they just step on the pressure plates. Like, like, look at that. He just stepped on the pressure plate. Making me have to waste my precious resources. To... Fix it. Alright, look at that. We even went in here and we got nothing for it. Alright. All right, you know what? Let's get some more resources here. The stuff to make the grass... Uh, the torches. Dude, a world populated by scorpions would be nuts. That'd be interesting, though. Like, changing all of the mobs into scorpions only. That would probably be interesting. I'd have to play it on my PC. Because that would require editing the game files. But once I get a dual monitor set up, I definitely could do that. That would be kind of fun. That would be kind of fun. Alright, well, then it has to be over here somewhere. It has to be over here somewhere. Which means we're going to have to go through those annoying scorpions every single time we go to Palace Island. Isn't that just lovely? Alright, there's bats in here. Vipers in here. I'm actually not afraid of the vipers. They're not spooky to me. Scorpions, however, are spooky. See, vipers are shipwrecked and not spooky. We do need to. We do need to get out of here though, so we can make a. Ow. Oh 
down for a second. I need to make a new light. <laughs> All right. You think Wolfgang might be able to one-shot Scorpions? He probably can. Wolfgang's able to one-shot, like, everything, dude. Like, he is... He is powerful. All right. Before we dedicate... Trying to break open that... That vine area. Let's inspect every other spot first. Let's go in here. Let's go in here and see. And see, like, this is what I mean. You could just get so unlucky. Ugh, like, come on. Alright, I'm just... I'm setting these guys on fire and letting that deal with them. <laughs> yeah. Dude, there's no way we haven't found it yet. Like, that's actually insane. If that's true, it might be fun to slaughter hundreds of scorpions in one final battle of the challenge. That, yeah, that would be fun. I would enjoy that a lot. <laughs> I would enjoy that a lot. All right, let's make another torch, dude. I, I'm beginning to get... We found a wishing well before we found the exit. Like, that's insane. That is nuts. It's going to take us like a year and a half to find the exit to this. Like, look at this, dude. Awful. Awful. So it has to be over here, then. It has to be over here. Alright, we're gonna gather a few more supplies. Alright, we're gonna eat some asparagus. And then we're gonna make one more torch. So that we don't run out while we're fighting. Ow. Leave me alone. You're burning. You should leave me alone. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Okay, it's not in there. So it has to be through these snakes. Which isn't terrible. We can just kind of... We can kind of set them on fire. This wouldn't be a good idea to do if you wanted the drops. But I could care less for the viper's drops. It's, it's snake skin and monster meat, so it's not like it's that serious. Alright, and then that should give us some light while we cut these vines. Oh, he lived? Weird. There's the exit. We made it. Didn't believe in magic till I saw my dog turn into a snake. Truest words I've ever heard. Truest words I've ever heard. Alright. Let's get a move on. Hey, it's Mandrake, so we can get some living logs. Not terrible. Not a terrible idea. We also have the Jeweled Truffle. Which is awesome. Because that means we can either make the key to the city. Or, or better, we can make the Demolition Hammer. Now you may be thinking, why is that better? Because I said so. Boom. All right. Dude, how do I... Where... Where is this? It totally blocks out the sun. That's a lie. I can still see. What? Who said that a rabbit beetle could be there? Alright. Dude, what... What kind of luck am I having right now? The worst in the world? Question mark? There's mandrakes here. Could snag those real quick. But I don't need to. I don't need to. I don't gotta. Those guys are coming out now though. They're aggressive. So we don't want to deal with them. Okay, yeah, just... Am I supposed to never open one of these things? Like, ever? Oh, where did you come from? You live here? Stop calling me soil! What is that noise, dude? He's so freaky. 
Okay, um, is the pig palace area anywhere on this island? I would like to know. Personally, I would enjoy knowing. I would very much enjoy knowing. There it is. Finally. My goodness. That has got to be the most annoying pig palace I have ever seen. Alright. Welcome to Pig Palace Island. Made it here on day six. That's good time. That's good time. Not upset about that. Not one bit. Alright. Let's go ahead and find if we can before all of the shops close. We need to find the hat shop. Well, this is the palace. but uh, Here it is. Nice. We found the hat shop. Okay. Pith hat? Yes. Pith hat. Wonderful. So now we have... We are good to go. When it comes to human season now. Like, we're fine. We are all good. Wonderful. Uh, gears would be awesome, too. We can go to the oddities store. This is the arcane shop. Oh, it's locked. Cool. Uh, I think we can go in the palace at night, maybe? Yeah, we can. Alright. Here you go. Here's the jeweled truffle. Can I... Oh, wait, what? Oh, I was gonna say. That's, that's for you. Okay. Cool. Thank you for that. <laughs> All right, so we could get this demolition hammer. What this means is we now have infinite lanterns. Nice. Nice. Wonderful. And then we can also take these back to Swinesbury to get free stuff whenever we want. All right. Wonderful. We're just going to eat the rest of our asparagus. What? What is he saying that to? No, those are mine. Oh, you're so rude. Alright, let's make some money. Herbert. Thank you, Herbert. I would like more money now. Please, Herbert. Wonderful. We have a very decent amount of money now. Which is pretty good. She's still sleeping on the floor, dude. <laughs> oh, what a weirdo. What a weirdo. Alright, let's grab some postcards. Wonderful. So these are basically just free items from Swinesbury. Which will help out in an emergency. Normally it's food. I think it's always food, actually. Now that I think about it. Alright, we need to find the oddities shop. And then we're good. Once we find the oddities shop, we can get we can grip some beers. Or gears. Some beers. <laughs> I gotta stop talking, dude. I talk to myself too much and I'll just mispronounce things. Oh, that was funny. That was funny. Alright. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm having a great time. No gears? That's upsetting. I guess we could buy something cheap. Uh, the question is, what's cheap? Silk? Silk is an okay thing to buy for cheap. A beefalo horn? Uh... We'll buy this, I guess. Alright. Guys, luck is not on our side. We're not getting any gears. We're just gonna give it time. I don't want to spend all of my money here. I don't want to spend all of my money there. It's just not a viable use of my time. At all. 
So we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. All right. So now we are we are looking pretty good. We are looking pretty good. I think now that we've got the pith hat ready to go, we should we should start really preparing for the apocalypse now on day seven. <laughs> if that makes any sense. We still have until day 60, so it's not like we're in any severe danger. But it is nice that we have plenty of time to prepare now. Alright, I'm going to eat this aloe to heal up a little bit. And then let's go ahead and yeah, so this is how I normally play the game. It's not very beginner friendly because you kind of have to go, you know, you have to rush and do things, but I, I enjoy the the min-maxing. I know that it's not always appropriate, though. Did I lose my ball-peen hammer? Really? I don't have a ball-peen hammer? What? Guys, I'm so confused. I thought I had one. Did I use it all? That's so weird. I didn't actually think I used it all. Alright, looks like we'll have to go back then. Looks like we'll have to go back. Alright. We'll go ahead and make our way back home then. Lots of nettles here. We can always come back for these. And it wouldn't be a terrible choice. Dude, these guys are freaky. Alright. Let's get a move on. Let's get home. The only problem being is how many locked doors do we have to go through to get home one two so two locked doors to get home that is annoying but i'm going to set you on fire there we go it's annoying that we have to go through two locked doors but it's also not the end of the world per se the end of the world comes much later. Those scorpions are going to be annoying every time, by the way. So, hopefully you guys enjoy that. <laughs> I'm going to leave the torches in there. Um, We could... Can I use this to smash these? No. I'm actually going to go ahead and smash some of these so we can get some random loot. Smashing those gives you random loot. If you guys didn't know. Now you know. Alright. Let's get a move on. We can get a free lantern now. Which is awesome. Oh. Uh, can I make it through? No, I can't. But it's okay, because I got to keep my grass. Alright. I want to get a nettle area set up now. And right here is a perfect spot, it looks like. We, get, we just have to clear out these guys, which will be annoying. Or we could do it over, like, here. If there's no guys guarding that area. Because it needs to be near water. So we can use the sprinkler. And it also needs to be in a deep rainforest. So, yeah. I want to start farming nettles as soon as possible. Which means once BFB comes, I will be gladly taking a trip over to BFB's island, because that's the easiest way to get gems. By far, the easiest way to get gems is to visit BFB's island. Um, I would love to be able to catch this guy, but I sincerely doubt it'll happen. He runs far too fast. Unless I can get him stuck on the edge, which it looks like I can. 
The only issue here is... I mean, I guess I could just pick him. There we go. I don't need to... Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, whoa. I didn't know you could do this, actually. Well, this poor guy. I just took all of his feathers. Oh, he just got them back, I guess. No. They're fake. He's faking. He's faking. That's so funny. I didn't know you could do that. I actually did not know you could do that. I find that very entertaining. It was actually very funny. Alright. Well, enough of that. I also would like to get some... If she's selling them, yes. I want to get some of these. Berry bushes are going to be pretty, pretty useful. And I'm actually going to start planting some of those around my house. We'll need a lightning rod, of course, because, you know, things aren't going to be always easy. All right, we've got a berry bush there. Um, I'd like to make a lightning rod real quick, just so I don't forget. Knowing me, I'll forget. So let's go ahead and make a lightning rod. I'm just going to place it down here. There we go. Wonderful. That way none of this gets struck by lightning. And then we can use the executive... The, uh, oh my goodness, dude. I just, I just had a problem speaking for a second. The executive hammer to get a free lantern from this lamppost. Which is pretty snazzy, if I do say so myself. Alright, well we got some plumes here. We've got... Yeah, we've got lots of stuff now. We're doing pretty good for ourselves. We're doing pretty good. We didn't get an ice box, unfortunately, but you know what? We'll be we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll leave the rope here. We'll leave the cork here. We'll leave the postcards and the queen malfalfas here. Just for an emergency if we need them later on. Machete axe will keep with us. Silk will leave here. We'll need that eventually. Okay. Um so far so good. I'm I'm happy with how this is going. Uh we got manure. We can use this to fertilize the berry bush. I want to get as many berry bushes as I can. I think those still grow during the apocalypse. <laughs> All right. Oh, no way he could hit me from there. Okay, we only lost one. We only lost one wink. That actually wasn't bad. That actually wasn't bad. He hit me from behind, though. That was so weird. All right, we just got a treasure map, too. That's amazing. All right, we're going to read that immediately. Hopefully, it's on this island. It is right there. It is right there. How much luckier do we have to be? That's amazing. All right. The swashy hat. I really don't care about this thing. It lets you rob from the countryside. The... Wow, why'd I say it like that? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm very anomalous. All right. Let's make a shovel and let's go... Are we out of stone? We're out of stone, I think. Let's go dig up this bandit stash. Here we go. Wonderful. All right, what did we get? Ooh. Not saying no to that. We came out of that with a profit, actually. Funny enough. Even though we got hit by him, we still came out of it with a profit. So. I'm more than okay with how that went down. And we got some jerky, which is going to be great early game. It's going to actually be pretty good. We got some alloy. That's helpful. Not necessarily, like, super helpful right now, but it, it is helpful. Then I want to go ahead and... I'm going to start putting my grass and twigs and whatnot in here. I'm also going to leave my oinks in my backpack. Because these are resources we won't necessarily need during boss fights. Although, realistically, I should probably carry them on me. Because the backpack is flammable. Realistically. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep them in my character. 
We'll we'll rearrange if we need to when uh, we get into battles and whatnot. But I should probably keep only non-flammable things in my backpack. We'll keep pig skin and whatnot up here. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a good idea. All right. Anything else we can make? Probably not. Like. Good. We're going to make an opulent pickaxe, though. And you, you guys will see why soon. We're going to go mine the iron hulks. And get some iron. Alright. And then you know what I kind of want to do? Uh, they're, they're over on the pig queen island, though. These berry bushes. I want to steal those berry bushes. I think that would help during the apocalypse if we can get... We need to get, like, a a berry bush operation going. I think that would be helpful. We're also probably going to want fling and stuff. Because we're going to try to survive as long as possible. The only issue is the Ancient Herald will spawn randomly, and he catches things on fire. So, like, he's rough. He's very scary. Very spooky, indeed. But... We'll be good. We'll be good. Alright. Dude, that noise he just made, that was freaky. I didn't like that. All right, this should be fun. We're going to start mining some of the iron hulks so we can get a little bit of iron. Which means they're going to activate, but... Oh, we didn't. There we go. All right, we're going to leave now. Yep. We'll just leave. He'll deactivate. Life will be good. <laughs> now let's go get the torso. This is a good way to get iron. He shouldn't follow me all the way to the torso, I don't think. Good, he won't. Okay. I don't want them to combine quite yet. Oh, no way he activated just now. Alright, he's gonna go ham on that gnat swarm. That's for sure. I don't want to lead him to the arm, because then they'll combine... Yeah, he's about to get... Yep. Boom. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, there we go. He's down. Only mild damage to the uh, economy and ecosphere, whatever you want to call it. So now we got some iron. That's pretty good. <laughs> Maybe we'll put, like, rocks and stuff in our backpack. That's a good idea, I think. And then flammable stuff stays in our inventory. Alright, let's go grab the iron from the arm over here. Alright, so we got five iron out of that total. Alright, let's go again. Should be able to get uh, some iron out of this. Okay, good. You want to come this way? I actually wouldn't mind if, if it fought this hippo. I actually would not mind. Wonderful. I don't think it will... I'm surprised the hippo stays on fire in the water. That's so weird. So now that hippo's weakened by quite a bit. I don't think they heal on their own, too. So, we realistically should be able to handle that hippo now. That's a free meat uh, ham bat. So, that'll be great for fighting in the future. That'll actually be pretty great. Um, we could hammer down these things for some easy supplies as well, including cloth. Which is incredibly rare in the world of Hamlet. So, it's, it's advised that you, you do grab it. As soon as possible. Alright. Now we have nine iron from that. That's pretty good. That's that's a few shears. That's not bad. Not bad at all. 
Not bad at all. This hardened rubber bung, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but we'll just leave it on the floor. Same with this razor. We could shave for fun, but I don't plan on making a meat effigy, so it doesn't matter. Alright. Dude, what is that pig doing? Break dancing over here. Alright, let's go leave the cloth inside. Look at this. Our house is nice and organized. Well, organized for now. It's going to be pretty bad later on because I don't make chests. I'm very bad at that. Okay, let's make us some shears. And then, uh, what else can we make? What else can we make? A cowl would be awesome. Just, you know, for fun. Bird whistle's not a bad idea. So we can go to BFB Island early. That's not a terrible idea. Come to think of it. We're also just going to eat this jerky now. Because I'm already hungry. We could make a bird whistle though. We can find that hippo that's damaged. And then fight him. And then we just need to go get a porcupine thing. We could do that. We could do that. Okay. Okay. It's day eight, too, so we're almost at humid season, but not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. Well, we'll spend the night being productive. We'll, we'll get some uh, money. We'll do some labor. We'll do some labor. Boom, boom. All right, now we should head over to the. Now we should head over to the uh, lake so that we can get some hippo. We can we can handle some hippo. Yeah, that that. Then I do want to go back to Pig Palace Island to grab those berry bushes. I think it might be smart to steal. We might uh, do a Walmart. You take that however you want to take it, I guess. No way, they just vanish into nothing. <laughs> That's so weird. That's so weird. Picos are weird. They're so weird. Oh yeah, it's a full moon tonight, so there's going to be tons of glow flies. Like, tons of them. Which is okay. All right. We're going to have to put our canoe down, I think. Uh, Yeah, we'll need our canoe down at some point. If only we had a boomerang. I don't like fighting these guys in the water. They're spooky. But we should be able to manage. Let's drop our canoe. We won't fight them just yet. We'll go for the porcupine first. All we have to do is pick a few lotus flowers, and there he is. Alright. Uh, I don't know why he didn't immediately beeline for this lotus, but... Hey, I'm fine with it. Don't know what he's doing, but hey. Cool. Alright, that's two quills. We need three for the bird whistle. Uh, we need three for the bird whistle. Unfortunate, but... Oh my goodness, did I really place the canoe in a way that I can't get on because of console? There we go. <laughs> Alright, pick enough of these and one of them should spawn somewhere. Yep, there he is. He's gonna go for that, but I'm gonna catch him off guard and boom, we got him. All right, now the dangerous part, the hippo. Believe it or not, these guys aren't that bad. Also, a poisonous frog here. What? I, I wanted to... Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, did I make the whole family mad? Fine, we'll do this. Wonderful. 
All right, where is that hippo going? I want to know. I want to know. We could make a ham bat so that this battle goes smoother, but we should be fine. Dude, just get on land, please. I wish they would just come on land. Because <sighs> they're a lot easier to fight on land. Are there any solo ones over here, maybe? Don't think so. Okay. So far, not off to a great start. Lots of glow flies, though. My goodness. Can we reach him from here? We can. Nice. Wonderful. Alright. Let's get this guy over here. Hopefully the... Yeah, the other one lost. Dude, that was amazing. <laughs> Don't jump on me. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Sorry, I needed the antler. I need to make a bird whistle so we can go to BFB's island as soon as possible. That's what I want. So we're going to go make a bird whistle now. That should be nice. Nice to get us to, whatchamacallit, BFB Island. If there's a tall fort there, that's amazing. We're set for life then. We are set for life if there's a tall fort. Is it true that we're only saving a few days by making the bird whistle? Yes, but it's also saving a few days, which in this game, it means a lot. So we're going to make the bird whistle. Wonderful. We've got one quill left. We'll figure out what to do with it later. We also got more meat. Let's just go ahead and make a ham bat now so that we know how to make them. Because that's, that's what's important, knowing how to make the ham bat. And then we can leave the spear. Now we're just on ham bat only mode, like pretty much for the rest of the playthrough. All right, let's cook some lotuses up. Polar lotus is cooking lotus. Oh my. And I think I'm actually going to eat some of this meat. You know, we're not going to need another ham bat for a, a while, so we'll be good to eat all of this. Then the lotus is our secondary. All right. Wonderful. So we're just going to go ahead and leave and call in the big bird. We have to do it outside of the pig city, though. So this should be fun. Actually, we probably should call it tomorrow, because I don't know if it glitches out during night. So we'll, we'll call tomorrow. We'll call tomorrow. We'll call tomorrow. Do I still have my opulent pickaxe? I do. Let's get some rocks real quick. Acting like there's not going to be a ton of rocks over on BFB's island. We have a hammer, too. Yes, we do. So we can hammer down the houses and whatnot for the extra materials they give. I'm thinking of... Probably leaving the executive hammer behind. We'll make like a stash over here. We'll do like machete, executive hammer. Um, here, here we go. Machete, executive hammer. Don't think we need a shovel on the island. We might. I don't know. We don't need an axe, that's for sure. We don't need shears on the island and we don't need niter. Other than that, I think we're good. I think we're ready to go. Now let's just head back into... You know what? We're going to grab a lantern, actually. That'll help with the cave. That'll help with the cave, at least. So, if you guys want to know a very quick way to get, get a lantern for pretty much free, take your executive hammer. Boom. You even get an electrical doodad. You can just do that to all of these. They do get mad at you, though. You, yeah, see... He's not very happy about that, but they'll calm down eventually. It's not that big of a deal. They'll calm down, and life will be back to normal eventually. All right. So now we have tons of alloy. Nice. We've got some electrical doodads. Nice. We'll put them down here so we don't forget about them. 
And yeah, see, they calm down pretty easily. Well, no, he's still mad, but like, it, 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 eventually they'll they'll calm down. They'll understand why I had to do what I had to do. All right, the first rain, which means humid season is on its way. I think humid season is actually tomorrow, starting now. So like tomorrow, as in day eleven, if I'm correct. All right. Wonderful. BFB is on her way to come pick us up and take us somewhere we have never been before. Well, I've been there before. Not on this character, though. Well, not on this world, I guess. There she is. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Gross. I forgot she did that. That's so weird. Oh, bats? Alright. Take me away. Oh my, that was terrifying. <laughs> Wonderful. Alright, we did get bats, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We're all good. Alright, now we can get some gems, which is awesome. So we got a blue gem. I need a red gem. Please, a red gem. Just a red gem. Please. Not a purple gem. A red gem. Oh no. No, red gem is bad. That is actually bad. Uh, what do I get if I hammer these down? Oh, hello. Electrical doodads is cool. Boards are cool. Alright, tall fort on this island would be amazing. But, again, it is only a chance, so. Uh, we've got monster meat. We can use those in crockpot recipes, so that's actually a good idea. But I also kind of want the purple gem. I also kind of want the purple gem. So. I think we're going to take the purple gem. Unfortunately, we did not get the gems that we wanted. So this trip was pretty much a waste. But. And no tall fort is actually really sad. No tall fort. It is pretty rare, so I don't know what I was expecting. But. Oh well. All right, let's see how this cave looks. Maybe we can find... Maybe. Maybe we can find some gems. We can cause an earthquake. That might be a... Here we go. There's a chance we get some gems now. Although, there's also a chance we get the most annoying mob in the game. Oh, my bad. Did I say annoying? I meant the best mob in the game. Hey, that's cool. A totem? Um. Alright, you know, we're not going to need the bird whistle ever again. That's like the only use of it was what we just did. So we're going to leave the bird whistle there. If I ever need the bird whistle in the future, then whoops. But I'm pretty sure I'm never going to need it again. The only exception is to make the evil bird whistle, but, um, look, somebody just remind me, we'll get that. We'll get it again. Alright, I'm tempted to cause another earthquake, but I know there's a high chance we're going to get the best mob in the game. So I'm also tempted to not cause another earthquake. <laughs> Oh, here we go. This is the exit. All right. That causes a small earthquake. Nothing big, though. And there we go. That exit is out to... Let's see where we are, actually. 
This is Swinesbury Island. So that's actually an okay exit. Although it's directly next to a bunch of spider monkeys, so... Okay is subjective. Alright, humid season is tomorrow. Humid season is tomorrow. You can tell because of these glow flies. Alright. Let's make our way back to Swinesbury. We we went. We didn't get a red gem. I'm very upset about that. I'm very upset about that. Means we can't make a... Well, no. We don't need a smelter. We can get all of the alloy that we need from... Whatchamacallit. Uh, mining down the light posts. Sure, it gets rid of a light station. But, like, it's still pretty worth it. We will also make a chest. I know I normally don't do that, so. For once, I will be making a chest so that we can put these lanterns away without them wasting away. Because if you don't know, if you mine the these lamp posts, they actually drop lanterns that can't be turned off. This guy's still mad at me. Let's lead him away. He'll chill out eventually, but, like, let's just lead him away. Oh. You a sea of troubles. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Alright. Whatever. Um. Make a magnifying glass, too, but. Uh. Uh. Not serious. Okay. Guys, we are doing pretty good. We are doing pretty good for ourselves. I want to... Let's see. We'll drop Robin down here. Robin will slowly grow, and then eventually we'll get Robin. We've got two blue gems. What do we need for sprinklers? Blue gems are arguably better because of sprinklers. So, let's see. Oh, we only need one. Oh, dude, we can make sprink sprinkler. Sprinkler. We can make sprinklers. We can make sprinklers now. That's actually pretty good. Okay. Um, where is the... Oh, I need to do it in the alchemy engine. Let's make a chest. I normally never do this, so... Any of you guys who want to see me have an organized house, congratulations. You're watching history right now. But, the only reason I'm doing this is because I want to be able to store lanterns. So, actually, I'm only going to use it for lanterns. So, ha. Unfortunately for you, I still am being a slob. Uh, Robin's too cold. Oh, wah. Alright, we don't need this hammer on us at all times. Okay. Um. So far, so good. We've got our pith hat. We've got lots of what we... We're, we're doing pretty good. I would like to... Dude, this guy's gonna be annoying. Maybe maybe they don't de aggro that fast. Probably don't do this near your house, taking the light posts. Or do it when a guard's not around or something, because <laughs> this is annoying. But hey, he'll give up eventually. Eventually. That or I can lead him out of the city and then take him out. That'd be so evil of me. Alright. I think we make our way over to Pig Pig Palace Island to make some more money. I think that might be the way to go. But before we do that, guys, I'll have to be right back. Unfortunately, I do have to use the restroom. Um, so yeah, I'll be back.
Woo. Nice and quick. All right. Let's get this music back down. And let's get back into it, guys. Let's let's do some work. All right. So we need to head to Pig Palace Island. It is almost humid season. So, but that's okay. That's okay. Humid season is not a big deal, guys. It sucks, but it's not a big deal. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Isn't it humid season now? I thought today was humid season. I guess tomorrow? That's weird, because normally they cocoon the day before humid season. But, alright. I also want to grab some nettles. I think that would be a great idea. So, we're going to go to Pig Palace Island. We're going to grab all of the nettles, make all of the money, and have a great time. I actually want to go ahead and put these like this. There we go. So, we know how much money we have. We know we're not broke. All right. Um, yeah, I want to grab all the nettles I can. I also want to see if that spot's good for placing them. We'll, we'll gather the ones over on Pig Palace Island because those ones are technically going to be more out of the way. Blisk Island, which has a lot of nettles. So it wouldn't be a terrible mm. idea to go to the Puglisk Island to get all the nettles. Ow. Can I have that back, please? I just, I want my grass back, please. Please, dude. All right, fine, whatever. I don't need the grass anyway. My goodness. That's so annoying. <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay. We're making our way. We're making our way. Alright, we gotta get through the annoying scorpion room. Try not to get poison challenge. Uh, impossible percent. Alright. Let's cut our way through here. And let's cut our way through here. I said, shear it. Oh my goodness. Why did Wilson want to be the most not useful person? Okay. Let's get some of these nettles out of this island. Let's get some of these nettles. I'm also going to eat some lotus. I'm actually going to eat all of our lotus. Keeps us nice and, uh... Keeps us nice and good. Alright, we're going to get all these nettles that we can and bring them home. Then we're going to get a sprinkler and everything's going to be awesome. That's gross. Why was he able to hit me? I didn't like that. I think that was unrealistic and uncool. They're fighting the glowfly cocoons. Strange. Alright, let's get some more nettles. Also just gonna... Yeah, dude. Alright, you know what? Yeah, deal with that. No way, these guys are guarding the nettles. The guardians of the nettles over here, dude. Mine, thank you very much. We could use a stocking stick by now, too. When I could get one. Like, it's not that hard to get. Just annoying. We just need to find a lone big guy, and we can take him out. You saw I was alive, just wanted to say love your videos. Thanks for the content. You're welcome. Glad you could catch the stream. Glad you could catch the stream. And I'm glad you like my videos. I do put a lot of work into them. And I am proud of what I create. So I'm glad I'm glad people like it. I'm glad people like it. 
very nice to see comments like that. Very nice. Thank you. Oh my goodness. My nose is like stuffed up and I don't know why. I'm not sick or anything. It's just like my, uh, I guess my room's getting stuffy, but I don't know. Weird. I don't know what's going on. Very weird. Our football helmet's about to give out. Let's just drop it and make a new one. We don't, we don't need to deal with that two percenter. We don't got to deal with that. All right. Uh, let's make some money. Let's make some money. Oh, wait, we're not going to be able to make money because everything's going to close. Yippee. Well, we can make money because we can go to the shops. But I want to say there's no... I want to say there's no shopkeep. Shop. Very inconvenient, but... Oh, well. Human season has to be tomorrow. Has to be tomorrow. Uh, let's go to make some more shears. I want to get as much money from here as possible. There's lots of hedges on Palace Island. Lots of hedges on Palace Island. So it's a really good place to get money. Uh, maybe he's selling gears too. If he's selling gears, that's awesome. It has been a few days, so hopefully we've re-rolled the inventory a little bit. Let's check. We have gears. We do. Yes. That's amazing. That's actually awesome. Also, a walrus tusk. The only issue being we won't have the blueprint to make the walking cane. That does not exist on Hamlet Worlds. Like, you don't automatically know how to make a walking cane on Hamlet Worlds. You actually need to buy the blueprint for 500 oinks, believe it or not. So the stocking stick is still better, despite it having a durability. It's still better. Because the walking cane cost 500 oinks. Technically, it costs 550 oinks. Because you also need to buy the walrus tusk. So yeah. Just thought I'd uh, throw that out there. For any of you curious why I didn't buy the walrus tusk. Let me see if I can find it, actually. No, he's not even selling it right now. But yeah, you notice how these are all so expensive? Yeah, that's why. Technically, the umbrella is kind of worth it. Because then you can farm Thunderbirds easily. But just go to Reign of Giants. Like... Seriously, if you if you want the umbrella that bad, just go to Reign of Giants. It's a lot easier. It's a lot easier. Or better yet, go to Shipwrecked. You can get a Dumbrella, and then you're you're set for life. It's a better umbrella. Well, it's not better. It's just the same thing, but easier to get because Tiger Shark is a lot easier to find than Deer Clops. So. Rant over, I guess. Rant over. Alright. Um, I, I do kind of want a stocking stick. We've got lots of radishes. I gotta say, our food is... We're, we're doing low on food. But I've been purposely doing that. Because I'm focusing more on getting resources now. And then I'm gonna spend... I'm gonna spend the next year. Because we get two years... We get two years, 60 days, before the apocalypse comes. And when the apocalypse comes, I am not turning it off. I want to see how long I can survive in a permanent apocalypse. So, that should be fun. I'm also going to use interiors as little as possible, because technically you can just hide in your house the whole time. But... I don't want to do that. Yeah, there we go. Now it's humid season. Now we've got humid season vibes everywhere. Alright, we need to get money. 
So, where's the brown coat pig? Gotta be somewhere, right? Worker pig. Uh, technically, you can get a few money from him. There we go. Why not? There's the hunter pig. Uh, Erudite. I think that's what her name is. Uh, hunter pig. Do they not have the relic pig on Palace Island? I thought they did. I could have sworn they did. Uh, no, they have they have the relic pig here, right? I'm I'm not like I'm not being stupid, right? Right? Hold on. I'm I'm actually confused. I, I could have sworn they had the relic pig here. I could have sworn. Yeah, they do. Okay, good. I was I was I was losing my mind for a second. Now we need the shopkeep pig. Because she'll trade us for these hedge flipping. There she is. Okay. Nice. We're good now. Okay. Whew. I was like, what? What? All right. All these funky noises. I just stopped her from being able to eat the, uh, the thing. So she's probably very mad at me. Heal. All right. Let's get a move on now. We're, we're doing really well. We're making good time. We're making good time. We're making really good time. Um, the only issue is we are low on food, though I, I do plan on fighting some large snap tooths, so that's not a problem. We'll get more food easily. Not a big deal. Alright, let's make a move. Hello, Pog. Oh, those are gonna hatch and be annoying. Watch this, yep. Here we go. <laughs> I haven't made my bug be gone yet, so. Unfortunately, we don't have that, but. We could kind of use these guys to our advantage. We can kind of use these guys to our advantage here. Um, I want to steal these, these berry bushes. I want to steal them. Hello, I'm only stopping by. Did I die? No, this is a new world. This is a new world. I'm... What I'm doing is I, the other world was a, a mess and I want to survive the apocalypse for as long as possible. So I started a new world and then I'm going to prepare as much as possible on this stream. And then next stream, I'm going to survive the apocalypse and not turn it off. Like just an infinite apocalypse. So we're seeing how much I can get done now before I do that. All right, hold on. This, these guys are... All right, I want to steal these berries. So while he's busy with that... Okay, never mind. While he's... Oh, here we go. There we go. Perfect. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Get distracted. Get distracted. All right, he's, he's no longer distracted, but we should be able to get the last few. Now he's mad. Okay. Do we take him on? I mean, we don't have to. Like, he's... We can get a free halberd, though, so, like, maybe we should. But do I need a halberd? Probably not, right? Like, it's a great weapon, but, like... It's, it's a great weapon, but it's also, like, not necessary. Yeah, these guys are pretty easy to kite if you can actually get the hit in. If you don't get the hit in, they're annoying. You have to get the hit in, though. Yeah, see? If you don't get the hit in, then they, uh, they just run away. 
and are very annoying. Come here. Come here. Make this easier on me, please. They do have a lot of health, but there we go. All right, we got a halberd now, so nobody can say I didn't get a halberd. Um, uh, what can we drop here, actually? I want all of this. All of this is useful. Um, all of this is very useful, actually. And I did want to fight a large snap tooth. We could fight that back on the home island, though, so it's not that big of a deal. Maybe drop the monster meat. For the meat. No. Okay, we'll eat the meat raw. We need, we need food anyway, so not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, yeah. I forgot all of these guys are going to start hatching and being incredibly annoying now. Technically, they're useful, though, because they will uh, they will do some nefarious things to all of the wildlife here. So they, yeah, we're, we're going to get a lot of, uh, a lot of things taken out by these guys, for sure. For sure. Yeah, we'll fight Snaptooths on the home island, though, because that'll be a little easier. A little easier. Time to head home. Time to head home. Dude, I hate that these things close up every time you use them. It's gotta be my least favorite feature. Alright. Oh, wrong way. There's no door there. Alright, we're gonna get stung in here, maybe? Nope. Losers. Best mob in the game, by the way. <laughs> I hate them, if you can't tell. My goodness. Alright. We've got some large snap tooths down here. I want to find the lone ones, though. Which, technically, we could feed one. We could, we could lure a snap tooth to, like, an isolated area, feed it, and then, yeah, that would be pretty good. All right. A big issue, though, is we don't have food on us. Ooh, there's a big snap tooth. If we can get the beetles on it, that might be somewhat of a good way to handle it. The beetles probably won't fail. Or the beetles will probably fail when it comes to fighting the snap tooth, but... Yeah, no, this is a new world, though. Because I wanted I wanted the Apocalypse to be permanent. And the only way for it to be permanent is if I haven't messed with the calendar yet. Which I'm going to not mess with it in this run. Um, I, I want this idol. We can get more money. Uh, okay, look. We can come back for the Halberd. We can come back for it. We'll be back for it. Nice. Oh my goodness, dude. He's gonna set this whole area on fire. Alright, looks like we've got our first fog of the season. How wonderful is that? Not bad, though. We can handle. We can handle it. I actually bought the pith hat instead of uh, building it like last time. So we, we have the extra cloth for a gas mask if we need it. We could use it during lush season. What? Why are you... Oh, oh, uh, cool. I would like the stash map. Uh, I'm not going to get it. I don't, I don't want to mess with him when I can't see anything. I have a lot of money on me. So like, uh, oh no, hold on, there we go. Alright, can you plant berry bushes and, okay, I was assuming not, but. The first 
Porkalypse is always permanent, even if you mess with the calendar. Really? I thought when you mess with the calendar, it's it's not permanent anymore. Whoops. Oh well. This way we're a little more prepared anyway, because I wanna I wanna see how long I can survive in an Apocalypse without turning it off. So should still be fun. Should still be fun. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get some. We have our lightning rod down, so we're fine. And then I want to get an ice flingomatic too, to protect our berries, because these are going to be a good food source. We need to become self-reliant when it comes to the Apocalypse. Oh, why are you mad at me? Oh, because I stole the lantern. That's right. Annoying. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, what an annoying guy. We'll have to fertilize those. We can make a bucket of poop. Wouldn't be too terrible. Alright, where is the brown coat pig? I swear he's like the rarest. Oh, hello. I'll take it. Ow. Don't know how that happened, but I'm not gonna complain. Not gonna complain at all. That's a stash map, and those are normally really good. It depends if I turn the Apocalypse on for a few seconds, then turn it back. No, I'm pretty sure I just turned it back. Pretty sure I just turned it back. So it probably would have been permanent, but... Eh, who knows how long we would have awaited. Because I did turn it back, like, all the way, so... Dude, I hate humid season. It's so bad. I can't see anything, and I just need to find the brown coat pig. But I have no clue where this guy is. No clue where this guy is. There he is, finally. My goodness, give me money. I'd like to go to the bank, too. I guess I could have just gone to the, the relic store, the museum. I forgot that's a thing. I always forget about the shopkeepers. Also being pigs you can trade with. Alright, I want to go to the bank because I want to buy... I don't have the centipiece. Okay. I want to condense my money because that makes it easier if we get robbed. Makes it a little easier to grab everything. Okay, wonderful. Look at him, he's so mad at us. So mad. I just took a lantern, dude. Calm down. <laughs> Alright, it's time to start getting the nettles done. I want to go to the Pugilisk Island. Ow. I want to go to Pugilisk Island to get... Oh, there's a lot we needed to do, but... I want to get a crock pot. I want to go to Pugilisk Island to get the nettles that live there. Um, let's go ahead and get this. What do we got in here? Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We're actually going to leave these here. We're going to leave those here. It's a good weapons chest area for the Apocalypse. I think. We also need to make an ice box. We got a lot we got to do. But we got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. Alright, wonderful. We can finally see again. Thank you. Um, we are getting a little wet, though, unfortunately, but... Uh, we're fine. We're fine. Alright. Where should I plant these nettles? We need to plant it near the water here, but also in the rainforest. So that we can get a sprinkler set up. Uh, over here might work. Over here may work. Depending. We'll have to cross this this little water area here. I'm also going to take this out of my inventory so I don't go insane. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit more radishes. Alright, this works right here, actually. This looks pretty good. We could make this work. Okay. So let's go ahead and just plant them as close to the water as... Oh, what? That doesn't count as in the jungle? You're joking. Alright, well, we need to... Okay, that counts. Good. 
Uh, you know, it might be better over here because there's less of those little annoying things that get in the way of planting. Worst case scenario, we make multiple sprinklers. We're fine. Oh, I forgot. It's humid season. Yeah, that happens. Okay. Uh, the only issue is that's so far away from home. So far away. Realistically, we should do down here, but then we have to clear out those guys. I, I, You know, we have to clear them out anyway. We need a stocking stick. So let's take these nettles back. Let's take these nettles back. All right. All right. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and... Uh... Oh, dude. Masterfully kiting this thing. Let's go. Beautiful. Okay, I want the meat. Uh... Hey, calm down. It's not that deep, dude. Calm down. There we go. <laughs> oh. Oh, boy. Cool. Very cool. I do enjoy that. I love rain. I love rain so much. And, uh... Whatever you call it. Lightning. Alright. I want to make another ham bat. Uh, there's a lot I want to do. Okay. Let's go ahead and... We need to dry off. We're going to go insane. We're, we're actually going to go insane. If we continue to stay with. Let's drop our ham bat. We don't need that anymore. It's pretty bad. Um, I want to make a crock pot though. That's like on my list of things I absolutely need. So let's go ahead and make a... Let's drop our pickaxe down like over somewhere where you won't forget it. Although we probably will forget it. Let's be real, guys. It's me we're talking about. I'm going to forget it. Let's drop it like right here. Maybe I won't forget it. Realistically, I'm going to. Okay, we need to go get... Actually, why am I dropping the pickaxe? I don't need to. Alright, let's get an axe made up. And then let's go ahead and head over to the war biome. The battlefield biome. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, if we can find it, that is. Oh, over here. It's down by the river. Okay. We're going a little insane, but yeah, we're fine. We're fine. I'll try my best to stay as sane as possible. Oh, we're starving. Whoops. I forget I need to eat sometimes. Alright, let's go ahead and cut down some of these trees. Where'd my lantern go? There it is. All right. Wonderful. Any more battlefield trees? I think this whole area is battlefield biome, so... Should be more? No, it's looking like not, unfortunately. Oh, over here is another battlefield. Okay, cool. Easiest way to get charcoal. We got some bats. Why is that glowing? I've, uh, that's weird. I've never seen it glow before. Alright, they're very mad. We unfortunately don't have the... Whatchamacallit? Oh, there they go. They're now mad at something else. Nope. They're mad at me again. Hey, you want to deal with this, buddy? Oh, you missed! Useless pig guard. Maybe this guy's better. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's move. Let's move. Uh, let's keep this out of our hands, too, so we slow down Sanity Drain just a little bit. 
All right. And then let's head back up to our house. Where we can... Okay, you're very annoying. Yes, I get it. You're very mad at me. I'm about to demolish that pig guard house. Or at least just lead him out of the town and take him out that way. We'll take this rot, actually. I can use that to warm up. Uh, Alright. We need... Let's see. Let's see. Food. Crockpot. We need cut stones. Cut stones. Easy. Three, four, five, six. I want two crock pots. I like the sound of two crock pots. I'm gonna take this pork bowl canoe if I can. That is. Let's see. Right, how much can I fit fit in one room? That's the real question. How much can I fit in one room? It's not looking good, guys. I might need to build another room. I might have to build another room. Uh, here, let's... Door. Costs 10 to build a door. That's not bad. Let's build a kitchen. Why not? Alright, what's the most kitchen-like door? Uh... I gotta say this one looks pretty kitchen-like, I guess. Oh, that costs 15, though. Why don't we just buy the the cheap one? Here we go. That's, that's a kitchen door. Yeah, that's a kitchen door. We'll put it we'll put it right here. And then we need to buy the house expansion permit. Unfortunately, that's a requirement to make another room. And here we go. We've got room number 2. This will be our cooking area. So let's go ahead and try to make this as efficient as possible. Beautiful. All right. Beautiful. That looks pretty good. And then we'll need to make an ice box. We can do that. All right, ice box. Boom. We'll put this in our kitchen as well. I'll put it in the center because you know what? That's cool, right? Or do I want to put a fire in the center for cooking and whatnot? Maybe I'll put it up here just so we have the fire in the center for cooking. All right, wonderful. Now we can go ahead and make some meatballs. And we'll still have enough to make a ham bat afterwards. Cool. And we still have enough for a ham bat. So I gotta say, that's that worked out pretty well. And then we'll head out to the... We'll head out to the... Uh, what, 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 is, what is the name for it? The pond to grab some lotus plants. There we go. Wonderful. We are we are in business now, guys. We are in business. All right, tea trees are in full bloom as well. We could now would be a good time to actually chop them down. We could we go. Oh, why would I make an axe? I have I have an axe. The only issue is I'm going to. Oh, perfect. The gar, the pigs are going away. This is good because now I don't have to worry about them eating my tea pods. All right, we'll chop them down. And then we'll save the seed pods. I think they'll last a decent amount of time in the freezer. I think they'll last a decent amount of time in the freezer. Uh, fog question mark perhaps maybe all right now we can make another axe I'm gonna stick to flint tools now until we get like a good source of gold because yeah they're less efficient but they also are cheap very cheap, like dirt cheap. So I almost feel like it is worth it to keep the... To keep the, uh... Flint tools. For now. 
We're also getting twigs from this, which is not bad. Not a bad thing. We are getting a little wet. Then I think I'm going to leave a few of these guys living just so we have extra tea pods in case we need them. In case we need them. Let's go throw these in our fridge. Guys, we actually have a second room now. This is like totally new. Never seen before Polar Lotus action right now. Never seen before. You guys are witnessing history. All right. Uh, I don't like getting very wet, but, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll wait in here for the night. We'll, we'll, we'll chill out, guys. It's time, it's time to chill out. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna relax a little bit, get some sanity back from being inside the house. Um, yeah, yeah, we're gonna relax for a second. We've, we've done a lot of good so far. We've done a lot of good. So we can afford to relax a little bit. And I think I'm going to take right now to relax. In fact, I'm going to leave the game running while I go get a drink real quick. That's how relaxed I am. So I'm going to go grab some ice. I'm currently leaving to go grab some ice. Okay, that took longer than expected. That took way longer than I expected. Unfortunately, right? Okay, okay, we've, we've got an issue. I, uh, okay. I had to break my ice. I had to break it. It was too big of a lump. It was too big. So I had to smash it against the table in fear that I was going to, uh, Okay, the daytime here. Oh my goodness, I gotta take this off. Alright. Whew! Guys, I don't I don't know what's happening to me. I'm just like uh I'm just being silly. Okay, one second. One second. One second. Okay, I think we're good. I almost just like broke my table. <laughs> Oh, that was silly. What is this this guy doing? Look at this guy. How long until he uh, calms down? Am I, like, doomed to have a mad pig forever? You've played a ton of Don't Starve Together, but never played any Hamlet, so this stream has been super cool to watch. That's good. I'm glad you're finding it enjoyable. I actually am the opposite. I've... I'd, well, I've played Don't Starve Together. I've played Don't Starve Together. But I don't play it as much as I do solo Don't Starve. I didn't realize just how much content the DLC on the original Don't Starve added. Yeah, it adds a ton. Both Shipwrecked and Hamlet are, like, totally different games. Shipwreck's a little similar, but Hamlet's, like, completely different. You have a... You have a house, you have a city. You can actually build a city, too, so it's kind of insane. But, yeah. It, it's so cool. It's so cool. I love this game. And then there's Reign of Giants, but that's basically Don't Starve Together minus all of the other features that Don't Starve Together has. So I can see why people would choose Don't Starve Together over Reign of Giants, because it makes sense. It makes it makes some sense, because Reign of Giants is just kind of like Don't Starve Together light, if that makes sense. Okay. Oh, beautiful. I didn't think we were actually going to be able to... Okay, here we go. This is good. We got this. Beautiful. Okay, we don't want them to get that meat. Good. Is he going to be mad at us? No. 
All right, this is fine. We can take one hit or two. Like, we're fine. All right, this is where I want to place my nettles, though. Stop with the eating my stuff now. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is great. This is amazing. All this rope. Uh, okay, we've got a gorilla battle over here. Oh my goodness, this is cool. Alright, so this is where I want to plant my nettles. I think this would be a great spot for nettles. So, let's go ahead and, uh... Oh, you've got to be joking me. You are... You are straight up lying to me that the, that's not rainforest turf. Okay, this has to be good. All right, we're going to plant them all here. These uh, spider monkeys are going to get annoying, I'm sure. See, how is that rainforest turf? But over there wasn't. Whatever. This game's silly sometimes, I think, personally. Okay, can I lead one of these guys? Come here. Come here. We're going to take out some spider monkeys, too. Get this spot nice and under control. The one thing that sucks about Hamlet is a lot of the enemies here have a one-hit kiting pattern, which I hate. It takes forever to uh, take out something with a one-hit kiting pattern. All right, I'm going to plant my canoe down here. And then I want this monster meat. Beard hair we don't need. Spider glands actually better. All right, let's take out this guy. See, what's good about the spider monkeys, too, is they don't have a uh, herd mentality. So you can actually take them out one at a time and not face any repercussions. The only issue is these guys breed like beefaloes. So you need to be careful not to take them all out. Although, that's not really a danger we have to worry about because they're... there's more down here. So technically, it's nothing we have to worry about. We could take these spider monkeys out and not worry about it too much. There is a lot of them, though, so it, it is annoying to have to take them all out. But we're going to do it in the name of... Oh, yeah, see, one hit kiting pattern. Unless he's roaring, but... All right. Ooh, beautiful. Yes, come here. Yeah, see, they don't have a herd mentality, so it's really nice. Oh, uh, I thought I could get him. I thought I had enough hits in. One. These guys do hit hard, though, so you gotta be a little careful. So you get two if they roar. You get two safe hits if they roar. Wonderful. They do also drop beard hair, which is great for characters that aren't Wilson. Because then you can make meat effigies pretty easily. Alright. Yeah, believe it or not, though, those cocoon trees, those aren't where these guys spawn from. They're a byproduct of their, uh, of spider monkeys being around. Isn't that interesting? Just an interesting little fact. Little factoid, I guess you could say. Uh, I'm gonna eat some nectar. That'll heal us a little bit. Okay, we got one left. As long as we take this last spider monkey out, they will no longer be existing near my nettles, which I actually want, believe it or not. They're cool, don't get me wrong, but like, we don't need them near nettles. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Spider monkeys have been dealt with. We are now spider monkey free. Wonderful. Uh, we can get some silk from these cocoon trees, which is actually really cool. That's one of the uh, sources of silk in this game. In Hamlet, that is. I guess I should have specified. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave the cocoon tree uh, there. Not that serious of an issue. Alright, so we've got... Wow, that's a lot of vines. A lot of angry vines. So we've got our nettles here. I'd like to get a sprinkler system set up soon. 
I'd like to get a sprinkler system set up soon. We could also go to Pugalisk Island, although it's it's a side quest. It's not necessary to go to Pugalisk Island. It's not going to save our lives if we go to Pugalisk Island. We did take out two Snaptooths, I thought. Unless the uh, stock got eaten. It probably got eaten. I thought we took out two large Snaptooths, but yeah. Don't forget to like this video, everybody. I agree with him. You should uh, definitely listen to. Uh, you should definitely listen to Matt. I agree with him. Everybody should like this video. That that would be really cool. <laughs> that would be super epic of everybody here. Another thing is, if you are enjoying this content, and you want to make sure that you get notified. Oh my goodness. YouTube is really bad at notifying people, I've learned. So I actually did start a Discord. And the link is in my description uh, of this stream, as well as the channel description. But that is where I will do all of my notifying and everything. Because YouTube's, like, really bad at notifying people, I've noticed. Lots of people will, uh say that they don't get notif notified when I post a video or go live and it's really upsetting it's very upsetting I don't think YouTube likes me I don't think YouTube likes me they're very mean to me all right we need a drying rack do we have the charcoal to make a drying rack we do not so believe it or not we're gonna we're actually gonna have to go back out but we got lots of monster meat, which is actually good. It's actually good. All right, we're going to put everything in here. We're going to make some meatballs here. That is not meatballs. That is monster, uh, monster lasagna. Um, okay. So now that we are waiting for meatballs, I, I might as well talk about this. I'm also planning on starting a, just like a full, like chill, don't starve, kind of, like a long series to see how long I can survive. But I'm not just going to do regular don't starve. I actually have a plan to put seasons on random. So it's a little more fun. Sometimes you don't get no YouTube notifications until like 30 minutes to an hour after videos are posted. Yeah, I, I I don't know why YouTube's like that. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. I love YouTube because it lets me do this stuff for, you know, fun. I'm unfortunately not getting paid for it, but maybe one day. <laughs> but I'm not quite there yet. Anyways, it, it's fun because it lets me do this stuff. Whoa, where did you come from? Evil. Alright. Can we take this guy out? No, he's gonna run too fast now. He's gonna run too fast. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. No, he, he's gonna escape. He's gonna escape. There's no way. He's so gonna escape. Yeah. There he goes. Why don't I do random seasons on Don't Starve Together? Actually, funny story. Funny story. Random seasons? I was I was looking into it. I was looking into it. Random seasons on Don't Starve Together isn't actually random. In solo Don't Starve, it changes the season length every time you reload the game. In Don't Starve Together, it chooses a random length, and then um, it chooses a random length, and then it sticks to that for the entirety of the server. So it's not actually random. DST is overall a bit more challenging than Reign of Giants. That I do believe. But I also want access to like building the slanty shanty and whatnot. It's not just going to be Reign of Giants. I want to make like a, a an ultimate world almost. Like where I have every everything combined. So I can go to Hamlet, Shipwrecked, and Reign of Giants. And, you know, have all the fun stuff. Have all the fun stuff. Though, doing a Don't Starve Together playthrough is is definitely on my radar. It's just, I haven't played it in so long. So, like, I've, I, I'm not afraid to play poorly on camera. Like, I mean, 
Trust me, you guys have seen me make some mistakes that were stupid and awful. It's just, I, there's so much that I need to actually relearn because I, I'm not joking. The last time I played Don't Starve Together was when they released the ocean. That's the last time I played it. So it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's, it's bad. It's bad. But I do agree that Don't Starve Together is more challenging than Reign of Giants. I do agree with that. The only exception to that being Summer. I believe Summer in Reign of Giants is harder than Don't Starve Together. At least when it comes to starting in Summer. Plus the fire mechanics are different, so it's less forgiving. Because fire spreads significantly faster in Don't Starve Solo than it does in Don't Starve Together. Because in Don't Starve Together, you have, like, smoldering and whatnot. But every other aspect is more challenging. You've got bosses with more health. You've got, um, you know, all the fancy events that happen. The lunar stuff that I haven't even done yet. All that crazy stuff. Haven't even touched on that stuff yet. Alright, I, uh, we need to get a sprinkler set up before, we, we gotta get a sprinkler set up, otherwise we're gonna be walking through, uh, it kind of sucks that Don't Starve Together doesn't have an option to go to Hamlet or Shipwrecked, yeah, I agree, I think, personally, they should just, like, they should just, like, add both of the thing like you know bring some don't starve together content over to don't starve solo and bring don't starve solo content over to don't starve together i get it they need to have differences between the two for obvious reasons but i don't know i don't know i, I think it'd be cool to have like parity between the two because some people like playing don't starve together alone but the only problem is when you play Don't Starve Together alone, there's still latency and stuff that you have to you have to account for. It's very annoying. Especially if your internet's not the best. Cause I I it's it's very weird. It's very weird. Alright. Let's make a drying rack. Let's head over to our kitchen. I'm thinking of planting down, like, a couple of these guys. Let's do one here. How low can we get another one? Uh, I try my best to line these up as good as possible on console, but man, is it hard. Okay. Uh, there we go. That looks pretty good. All right, we'll, we'll stick with two for now. I think that's a good, good amount. That'll allow us to dry two fly stocks the main reason why solo dst is more challenging is because enemy damage and hp are balanced for four players that is true yeah that is true it makes sense because you know you're supposed to play it with multiple people but a lot of people don't listen to that they just do their own thing which i respect it Though, most of the combat in this game isn't too bad. It's not too bad. Oh, it's too hot out here. Oh, I'm about to get smacked by the pig guard. Alright, sprinkler, sprinkler. What am I doing? I need to make a sprinkler. I need to make a sprinkler, guys. I'm, I'm like, getting sidetracked talking about DST. <laughs> Alright, Shipwrecked was my favorite DLC. Would love to see it more fleshed out in DST. I, I do think that the boat mechanic in DST is cool, though. I like that you can actually build bases on the boats. That's actually really cool, in my opinion. I find that really cool. Um, Sprinkler. We need to go buy ice. Oh, okay, we'll have to wait till tomorrow anyway. We'll have to wait till tomorrow. Alright. Um, Let's heal up a little bit. I don't like seeing my heart... A little broken like that. There we go. That makes me less anxious. 
<laughs> right, we got four silk. That's not bad. Um, yeah, we need to just go buy some ice, and then we can make sprinkler. We could make two sprinklers if I go break down another lamp post, technically. I just have to be careful because, you know, you know, it gets, it gets bad. If the guards see you. It gets pretty bad. I do also really like the house system. Because it just feels so cozy. And I don't think there's houses in Don't Starve Together yet, if I'm correct. I don't... I, I, I try to stay up to date on Don't Starve Together. I know the last update was something to do with, like, junkyards and stuff. But I don't think they've added houses yet. So, we still have the edge over Don't Starve Together for now. Because <laughs> we have houses. But that's it. And Shipwrecked. Which is also a really cool DLC. Shipwrecked is really good, actually. Alright, let's get some ice. I'm thinking maybe we should make two sprinklers. Although, we probably don't need two sprinklers. Like, Yeah, you know, we don't need two sprinklers. We're fine. We, we can live off one sprinkler. I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. That is cool, but ha having an actual ship for four players and an archipelago to explore would be even better. That's true. That's true. Most of the fun that comes with Shipwrecked is the exploration value of it. It's really fun to explore Shipwrecked. And there's always, like, tons of stuff going on in Shipwrecked. You've got the volcano. You've got the seasons. Because if I'm correct, you still only have uh, summer, winter, spring, and fall in Don't Starve Together. If I'm correct. But in Don't Starve Alone, you've got mild, hurricane, monsoon, dry... You've got humid, very fun season. You've got lush, and you've got temperate. Then you've also got the apocalypse, which is uh, very fun. Very fun indeed. Super duper fun. I'm correct. That's good. I like being correct. <laughs> Alright, dude, our nettles are probably not even going to need a sprinkler. Alright. Actually, could we build the sprinkler, like, right here? No. This is not a very good circle. Like, that's actually terrible. Can we build it, like, over here, at least? This might be better, although it might be worse, actually. We could build it right here, that'd be perfect. We'd get tons of build area. But we don't. Um I dude, that this is awful. This is awful. We can get uh dense turf. And don't starve together still is a typical reign of giants map. That that's true too. There's no real variation besides like the lunar island and the ocean. You still got like your grasslands and your whatnot. This is an awful place. Like, this is awful. But you know what? We're gonna put it down here anyway. Eventually, we can get dense turf, which isn't terrible. All right, I want to get those to bloom now. Oh, crap. I was sitting in it. That's stupid of me. There's a hippo here. 
could take him out if he's the only one here. No, there's another one over there. Oh, hey. Lost totem. Oh, and a, another relic. Hold on. I might need to make a uh, ball peen hammer. Yeah, I know that about nettles. They're very annoying. They're very annoying. And I have to sit near them too, because I'm not on the uh, I'm not on the uh, one patch that they did that allows you to uh, not be near nettles. It's very annoying. Very annoying indeed. Uh, we'll eat this nectar. We'll eat a raw leafy meat because I want to go insane. Uh, okay. Oh, hey. You know what? I'll fight you. I don't like one-hit kiting patterns. It's very upsetting. I'm so used to, like, two-hit kiting patterns and whatnot. But I guess it's not that serious. Alright, I want to eat this nectar. And then do I want to take the vines home, or do I want to, like... I mean, okay, here. First, we're going to we're gonna set down a fire so I can dry off a little bit. We're going to sit here until these nettles grow. I want some nettles to get me through the uh, lush season. I want some nettles to get me through the lush season. All right. We're going to cook up this leafy meat, too. Wonderful. That'll get us nice to full. And then we can also just beef up this fire a little bit. Alright, we're going to chill here for a second. So that we can get these nettles. Uh, this is so fun. I love getting nettles. My favorite part of the game. Favorite part. This part does suck. I wish they made the allergies easier to deal with. Because right now you only have the choice of get nettles and enjoy the season. Be stuck eating cooked teapods for the entire season. Or wear a gas mask or sit next to a fan for the entire season. So you don't you don't get that much of a choice. You don't get that much of a choice. Uh I might take this beard hair actually. We can use it as fuel. Speaking of fuel, we'll go ahead and refuel that. Beard hair is not a bad fuel. Not a terrible fuel. All right. We're going to cook and eat these seeds. Because we're crazy like that. And then I'm going to throw some beard hair on the fire. So, how's everybody enjoying the watching Nettles Grow stream? I'm sure this is what you came here to see. This is, of course, what you came here to see. Because why wouldn't it be? This is the best part of the game. Watching nettles grow. Isn't it just so fun? Ah. Fire live nettle growth. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Somebody's enjoying it at least. Because I'm not. <laughs> oh, man. At least it's original content. That's true. This is all me. 
How wild would it be if I was like just I pre-recorded all this. I'm just talking over it and streaming it. That'd be crazy. I couldn't even imagine how much work that would take to set up. Okay, uh, it's raining now. Technically, we should be able to turn the sprinklers off, right? Because it's raining. So they're they're getting the wetness. So we don't need to have the sprinkler on. Um, I think we should be good to leave them. In my case, like nettles are weird. They'll they'll grow while I'm away, but only some like they're just so weird. I hate nettles. I hate them. I hate them. Let's go to Pugilisk Island, guys. Let's go to Pugilisk Island. I think that that's that's a good place to get some nettles. Who wants to watch yet another Ruin Rush or all DST boss speedrun when you can watch nettles grow? Exactly. This is the top tier content that everybody wants to watch. This is it. Also, having Picos vanish into thin air. That's what everybody wants to watch as well. Alright. We're going to leave the nettles for now. I know I'm probably going to regret it because they're probably not going to grow and then it's going to be a whole thing and then life's going to be awful and I'm going to be sad. But, oh well. Dude, it is rainy. Wow. It is rainy. Do we have a... Dude, okay, come come here. Come here. Hey, you want to... You wanna... hey, hey, follow me. Follow me. Come here. Yeah, we're going to go this way. We're going to go where there's no guards. And I'm going to teach you a lesson. That's right. Uh, there's still guards down here. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Let's 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 go have fun. Let's go have fun. All right. Oh crap. <laughs> oh no! How did you see me? How did this guy see me? All right, hold on. Uh, theoretically, this is still we're we're still able to handle this. All right. Uh, wow, I'm I'm messing up. Why are you so mad at me, bats? Get mad at the pigs. And our football helmet's gonna break. That'd be an awkward way to die. If our football helmet broke. Alright. Um. Dude. Hop off my line. Thank you. Alright, who's the ones that are mad at me? I need... His name started with a G. I don't... It's you, Gladstone. We need... We need Gladstone to come after us. Alright. Come here, Gladstone. Ah. Dude. <laughs> this is so annoying. Alright, you know what? Actually, fine. Well, he'll live for now. Because this is just... This is just too annoying. He'll live for now. <laughs> we'll just have to keep dealing with the uh, guards being annoying. Because we're wet and bothered right now. So we gotta, like, dry off. There we go. Oh, uh, Robin's too hot, guys. Whoopsies. Alright, let's dry up these stocking sticks. We got one stocking stick now. This is great. Wonderful. Yeah, count your days, Gladstone. Count your days. Gladstone is not long for this world. We will we will make sure of that. We will make sure of that. Alright, I'm putting this lantern in here. We're gonna take the fresh lantern. Um Okay, okay. We're gonna dry off a little bit. We're going a wee bit insane. 
but you know what? It's fine. I'm also gonna make another football helmet. Football helmet. Oh, you know what? Now's probably the time. Hold on. Gladstone? Come here. Alright, come here, Gladstone. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, uh, dude, I should really just lead him out of the city. Like, that's what a smart person would do. That is what a smart person would do. Because otherwise, I'm going to make all of the other pig guards mad at me. Oh, here we go. Hey, 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 come here, come here. Come here, Gladstone, I gotta teach you something. Hey, I'm getting stalked by a bandit over there. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, we're not taking from the rich, dude. Alright. You wanna get taught a lesson too, man? Alright, there we go. No, we made the other one angry. Is this the same one? Yeah, it's Larkin. Pretty sure that was the other one that was mad at us. What? Why do you get? Hold on, dude. Gladstone, your days are numbered. If I can ever. Okay, wait, wait. This is good. Come on. Gladstone is gone. He stole one of my coins too. I think. Goodbye, Gladstone. Hello, Moneyville, I guess. Give me this meat. We could technically take this guy out, too, so we have no witnesses. In fact, we might. Ow. Oh, come on. Alright, dude, I hate the people that can kite me back. Now, why is there another bandit? Get out of here. I want to get a. I want to avoid going to the city. Ah, uh, now see, see, look what I've done. Look what I've done. I'm just messing everything up. I need to. I need to get up. Uh, stop. I need to just stop this. <laughs> I just gotta stop this. At least, at least now Gladstone's gone, so we can go home without fighting everything. The only issue is now floral shop. They will fight us at the floral shop. But who cares? We're fine. We're fine. Gladstone's out of the way, guys. That's all that mattered. That's all that mattered. We are a little insane, though, now. So we do gotta... We do gotta figure that out. Also, this football helmet is basically gone. We might as well just drop it on the floor. I'm just gonna drop it over here. We're gonna wear this one. Alright. Don't worry. Yeah, bandits... Dude... The bandits always fight at the worst times, I swear. They always fight at the worst times. Alright. Um, do we even have the ability to make meatballs? I don't think so. I don't think you can make them with seed pods. So we're just gonna have to survive on leafy meat for a little bit. Delicious. This egg is getting large. But that's okay. Um... Our nettles probably reset. Uh, I'm so sad about that, but I also am not too worried about that. We need to go get sanity. So I want to go to the pond and grab some lotuses. That'll give us our sanity back and a little hunger to boot. We've got our cork boat out there already. All right, it's time. Oh, bro, bro, where are you coming from? Oh, so now you don't want to attack me. I don't, I don't understand him. All right, dude, we are insane. Where's the brown coat pig? I swear he's, I always can't find him. I know they always spawn from the same house. Like, there he is, there he is. Here, give me money. All right, let's go to the nettles. Maybe they're ready to collect. It is raining pretty hard. It is raining pretty hard.
Yeah, the nettle growth mechanic is probably the most annoying one in the game, though. Why couldn't they just make nettles grow like normal plants? I mean, I get it. They're kind of powerful, but, like, come on. Or at least, like, give us an item that we can put on the nettles to make them grow like normal plants or something. Plants. No, they're not even ready yet. Weird. I'm going to keep the sprinkler on then, just so if it... If it gets ready, it'll get ready. If not, whatever. Alright, let's grab some lotus. I think once we pick two, a platypus will spawn. It's a good thing I turned the sprinklers on. I don't see a platypus yet, though. So far, so good. Oh, I hear him. Where is he? There he is. Oh, thank you, Hippo. You made this much easier to do. Nice. Oh, dude, look at the rabid beetles. Gross. We have enough meat now for another ham bat, too. So that's pretty cool. And we've got plenty of lotus now. This should bring us back to Sanityville. Hopefully. We can also grab the lotuses from the other pond, too. I would not be opposed to that. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Woo! Wonderful. Alright. Let's grab our canoe, and then let's go ahead and put it in this pond, if we can. That is. There we go. Alright. Let's go get these lotuses. I don't want to anger the frog. Dude, the frog is just trying to get angered, though. Dude, he's, like, literally trying to get angered. Alright, wonderful. This should definitely be enough lotuses. Oh, look who messed up. Look who messed up. I don't dare switch off my... Crap. Oh, oh, <laughs> did you see how low my canoe got? My canoe almost broke instantly. Instantly. It almost broke. That actually spooked me. I got a little spooked, I'm not gonna lie. Woo. Well, well then, that was fun. That was fun. I have no revive either, so that would have been the end of this, and it would have been very annoying. Wow, that was that was very fun. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and cook these lotuses up. Alright, we have to remember that that canoe is gone basically now. And here we go. Back to sanity. Wonderful. Now we're at full stats again, basically. Uh, these are being very annoying. Is it really worth it to wait for seven nettles? Like... I know it's... Yes, I know it's worth it because Lush Season sucks, but... But, like, this is so boring. I'm actually losing my mind. Please. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's go add fuel. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're going to sit here for the night. See if this thing can uh, grow or not. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it does, but I'm not holding my breath. Nettles suck. They're an awesome item, but they just suck to grow. Awful. It'd be, it'd be funny if this, like, drained out the pond over time. Like, this pond just got drained out. 
That actually suck, but like it'd be funny. It'd be funny. Also, why does the if you look at the sprinkler, it has a hand crank or like a like a crank mechanism. So why does it need fuel? Why don't I have to like crank it? It you, you know what I mean? Like if you look at it, it has a it has a crank. So like I, I don't know. I don't know. Don't starve logic, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I, I didn't like what the audio just did there. That was freaky. All right. Welcome back, guys, to watching Nettle Grow, part two. Hope you're enjoying this series. Uh, in this episode... We might get some nettles. Or we might not. Who knows? That's the mystery of the world. Alright, we're gonna save some fuel, because I think those are... Uh, it's so hot. I'm so sad. Dude, the face is so funny. Look at his face. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, I have made that face before, though. When I was like in a steamy room like you know in like summer any of you guys living in the uh i don't know what to call it the 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 belt of areas where you get muggy summers it's awful it will make you make this space very funny yeah that's me too right there <laughs> Dude, this looks so stupid. Look at him. I'm definitely about to get, like, attacked by the Iron Hulk. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be so funny. I'm like, I'm just messing around here and all of a sudden that happens. That would be hilarious. Alright, guys. Episode 2 of Nettle Growth. Did they grow? We will find out in less than a minute. I'm pretty sure like 30 seconds. We will find out. It is almost time. Did they grow? Leave your bets now. If you bet that they didn't grow, then you, my friend, are getting struck by lightning, apparently. You know you can talk to the plants and don't starve together? I saw you can do that. Maybe I can... Maybe if I just keep inspecting them, they'll grow. You guys think that's how, that's how it's gonna work? I'm talking to you, Nettles. Do it. Do your thing. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Alright, at this point, whatever. I, I I really I really don't want to sit there for the next like hour and a I, well, these nettles are grown what hold on whoa 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 look at these why are these nettle grown is it because they're growth stage have we been waiting for nettles that are like hold on we might need to go to the Pugilisk Island right now because there's a lot of nettles on that island oh hold on Hold the phone. We are going to the Pugilisk Island right now. Right now. If the nettles are like this, dude. Right now. Immediately beelining it for the Pugilisk. We better get it in like the first room here. Alright, come on. Pugilisk Island now. That's a scorpion. Would be more fun if the fog spawned fog, fog monsters? Dude. Don't give uh don't give them any ideas. That would be terrifying. I would I would make a lot of manure on the ground if that was the case. Though yes, that would be kind of fun. 
Albeit very scary. That would turn it into a horror game, probably. Hello? Oh, it's the it's the blue cell. But we could get that real quick. And then no, we don't have the hammer though. That's cool though. That's the uh that's one of the pig queen's things. So that's really cool. I'm trying to speed run here, but it's not going well. It's not going well at all. Alright, come on. There's a crack in the wall. Cool. There's bats. Very cool. Oh, yes! Yes, we're here! Yes! Yes, come on, please still be raining. It's still raining! Okay, we just need to find nettle. Aww. I was lied to. I was lied to. I thought all nettles would be in their growth stage. I was lied to, and now I'm being chased by whatever these little things are. Well, now I'm just sad. Now I'm upset. Well, if you would make a lot of manure, better to do it in the pig town. True, I could get rich if there was fog monsters. I could get rich very quickly. That's a get rich uh, quick scheme. Dude, what's going on over here? They're destroying ancient civilizations. Alright, enough of that. I am actually so upset that the nettles weren't bloomed. But, you know what? You win some, you lose some. At least we got bean bugs. I'm happy about that. Alright, this is actually a terrible season to be here because of these guys. Um, are we clear? I am actually going to take some of these nettles home. <laughs> Dude, they make the freakiest little noises. Uh, there's gotta be snap tooths here. Yeah, there's snap tooths here. We can lose them on the snap tooths. We can lose them on the snap tooths. Here we go. Here we go. This is the way to lose them. Look at all these enemies. Easy. Maybe not as easy as I thought. Alright, we only got two on us, though, now. Alright. Dude, where are they coming from? <laughs> we need to go make bug spray. Ow. Ow, that hurt a lot, actually. We have to go make bug spray, dude. Like that? Those bugs do look and act like zerglings from StarCraft. I've never played StarCraft. I've never played that game. Looks interesting, though. I don't know what a Zergling is, though. But it, uh, if it's anything like these guys, then I don't want to know. Alright, we're done here. We're done, right? Like, we're, we've got to be done here. No way. No way. No way. Dude, the amount of these guys is just ridiculous. All right, are we done? Can I finally get some nettles, please? Thank you. All right, so I think digging these up resets their growth phase, which is what's been ha what, what happened to our nettles over at the uh, sprinklers. Because I think because they look harvested for some reason. So digging these up must reset their growth phase, which makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, this lush season, I plan on getting as much uh, bramble bulbs as possible. Because I want to get that turf. I want to get that turf. So that we can plant as many nettles as we want. Alright, we can make another shovel. Not too expensive. Worth it. Oh, 
Oh, crap. It's raining. These guys might bloom now. I should have just been... I'm not the brightest, am I? I'm not the brightest. Uh, do we wait for these guys to bloom or do we just head home with them? Let's let's grab them and then head home. I think that might be the way to go. We'll grab them and then he uh, head home. That way we can plant them as soon as possible so they can start blooming again. As soon as possible. That's the move, I think. In my humble opinion. However valuable that may be. Oh, I forgot this room has the... Alright, you know what? Ow. Annoying little guy. Overall, this is not a bad path to the uh, Pugilisk Island. We might fight the... Oh, oh, that was... Yep. That happened. We might fight the Pugilisk just for fun. Because that's not a bad... That's not a bad uh, thing. And you know what? Fighting the Pugilisk might be huge. Because then we get a ton of snake bones. And with a ton of snake bones, we can make snake bone soup. Snake bone soup. Which I believe is a very good resource. Alright, let's go plant it at least near our other nettles. I want to have some... Oh my goodness, dude. I... Whoa, why'd everything get... Oh, it got bright because it's daytime, dummy. Got bright because it's daytime. Why'd everything get bright, guys? I'm so scared. Oh, 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 Yes. Guys, episode three of Nettle Growth. Th that's the episode right there. Also, dude, this is making me very upset. Why? We just got nettles. And, the okay, we got our football helmet now. Now they're screwed. Now they messed up. Dude, the BFB's trying to poop on us. What is the BFB doing? We've already gone to your island, dude. We're not going there again. We're not going there again. I refuse. <gasps> Where's she landing? She just broke my sprinkler! Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Get away from me. Go away. How? Are you serious? And she uprooted my nettles, dude. Really? BFB, dude. I'm. I might. I might just have to take Robin out for that one. I'll take it out on her. That's actually really bad. No, I'm not gonna take Robin out for that one. <laughs> that's that'd be really mean. <laughs> that's so messed up. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. I promise. I won't. For now. Um, let's make some more shears. I want to get some of these vines out of the way so we can plant some more. There we go. Beautiful. I can't believe she broke my sprinkler. How? How rude. Alright, this might be good though. We can just condense them as as much as possible. For now, that's the best we're gonna get. Oh no. You're joking. Come on, there's no way. We should be able to plant this. And it's counted as Yeah! Look at that. Cheated the system. Cheat you you no. No. You see? You see? Right here. R like what? Alright, fine. I guess you'll go here. I did what with the vines? What did I say? What did I say? I actually don't remember. Did I say a bad word? Or did I say a funny word? I'm hoping it was funny. Alright. 
Um. Okay, good. That counts. What? The, what? What is this? That is so clearly jungle. You're j dude. Okay. Uh, um, awkward. Come on. That is just a lie. That is a lie right there. All right, these aren't all going to be within range of the sprinkler, but they're they're going to be okay. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm I'm so mad about that. Can I also shear the ferns? I wish. I wish. I don't think I can. If I could, that would be amazing. But I don't think I can. Yeah. Let me go check the actual ferns, though. I think I know what you're talking about. These things right here. Yeah, I can't shear these. Oh, they eat petals? Ew. Weirdo. Anyways. No, I cannot shear the ferns. Unfortunately. I really wish you could. Unless that's in like a future update that I'm not part of because console edition. Haha. <laughs> Very funny. I really need to get a dual monitor set up so I can actually stream from my computer. I just can't stream from my computer without a dual monitor because it's so awkward. I won't be able to see what, what's happening with the recording. And I like being able to watch my stream while I'm, you know, doing it. Well, we got 10 nettles. That's actually not that bad. Despite being, you know, rudely interrupted by uh, BFB. Alright. Well, we can make another sprinkler. Oh, uh, we need two alloys. We lost a whole alloy from that. At least we got the gem back. That's the hardest part, is the gem. So, getting the gem back isn't isn't too bad. But now we lost an alloy, so... But we got another one. We're good. Alright. Alright. We're also getting a little hungry. Yeah, we'll be fine. We could have bought some stuff from the grocery store. Um, In a world where I'm smart, that would be the move. I also want to start gathering manure. Like this. Oh, what's up? That's cool. We are actually getting a little hungry, and it is, uh, arguably not good. We could probably find some radishes, though. Yeah, we could, we could live off radishes. Okay, there's got to be some more bloomed nettles at this point. Alright, give me these radishes. And exotic flat. Oh no, there's more uh, icky bugs. Gross and icky bugs. There's another nettle we haven't picked up here, I think. Oh, look at that. They're not extinct. Kind of wish they did go extinct. Um, no, I dropped. Owie. Oh, for a second I didn't I I thought I didn't have my lantern. I was actually gonna freak out. <laughs> that actually would have been worth a freak out. Alright, let's get this nettle. Yes, please. Woo! Woo! Alright, guys. The watching nettles grow live stream has been a success. A smash hit, one would say. Uh, this, however, sucks. Whatever this is. Hey, Snaptooth, you want to help out with this? I'm going to have to eat soon. Owie! <laughs> yep, I knew that was going to happen. Um, 
I would love if I could see anything. Ah, oh, dude. Me make bug spray? Why would I do that? Why would I ever do that? Why would I ever make bug spray? Most useless item in the game. Totally. It's never useful. Ever. Not at all. Um, we're going to go insane. <laughs> uh, I wanted to get those nettles over here, but these beetles make it not easy to do anything. I could make a miner's hat. That is true. I'm actually going to go ahead and speed up through here. We're going to we're going to start juggling. There we go. What am I doing? Um it's only 3 now. Ooh, asparagus. Nice. All right. All right. We're 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 off to a okay start. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. We don't have a weapon on us actually. Now the bats, you've got to be joking. All right, fine. 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 We'll go back to the pig city. Goodness game. Stop being mean to me. Just let me go to the... Let me get things that I need to get. My goodness. I need to... Where did he come from? <laughs> okay. Okay. Lush season is actually approaching. All right, there we go. That's the vampire bat dealt with. We've got plenty of pig skin. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, losing out on that pig skin. I do want to go ahead and check. Uh, where's brown coat pig, actually? Before I do anything. I need him. I think he's over this area. Yes. Give me money. Thank you. And then I'd like to dry off. I think that's a great idea. You're welcome. Is it worth it to make a bucket of poop? Probably. Oh, welcome to the world, Robin. Your, uh, your mother made me very angry. I just want to say that. I just want to say that for the record. Robin's parent made me very angry. Alright. Yeah, we've got plenty of teapods. Uh, 11 nettles is not where it's at, though. Like, we, we need more nettles. So, yeah. Um, we can go get some lotuses. That's not too bad of an option. Can I dry off my stocking stick, maybe? Why is the fire pit wet? How is the fire pit wet? Exactly. It's inside. Oh, we're insane. We don't have a weapon to deal with this. We're fighting demons inside our own house. With a stalking stick. Alright. Oh, it's a thief. Um, bone shards? How are we going to get bone shards? Bone shards. Yeah, those might be difficult. Those might be a little difficult. But we don't need bone shards. We do need to make another cork canoe, though. Uh, I wish I could live in peace. Right, come here. Come here, demon. We're using the halberd. Uh, I could shave. That's a good idea. Wonderful. Ew. Did you guys hear that? I didn't like that. Okay. 
Oh, what are we making? A cork canoe. Cork canoe. We need rope and cork. That can be done. And then what do I need for the bucket? Uh, bone shards. Yeah, that's all I need. And I think that's a really good recipe. From watching nettles grow to exercising demons. Uh, that That is true in both ways. I am giving them an exercise as well. I'm exercising them while exercising them. Funny as that. Dude, my health is not it right now. <laughs> I'm actually kind of excited for lush season to come because then we can get some uh, tubers. Which is not bad. I, yeah, we're we're insane. We're just insane. Uh, we need some lotus flowers. That'd be really cool. We could also just pick some petals. How do I get bone shards? I mean, I know we could fight the pugilus. That's like probably the best way to get bone shards. But I could have sworn we got bone shards another way too. Was it back on BFB's island, maybe? Is that where we got bone shards? I don't remember. I do not remember. Alright. Dude, this pig guard's holding out. He's the last holdout. My goodness. Um, okay, I guess we'll let the sprinkler run a little. Dude, no way. Where are you coming from? Annoying little guys, dude. Alright. I'm going to take these vines. Uh, did we place down our sprinkler yet? I don't think we did. No, we didn't. Let's go ahead and place this down in the best spot we can, which looks like there. That really doesn't look like a lot of watering going on. Uh, but it's a lot more than there. I think this is the best way we can go about doing this. Oh, I bet you it's because this nettle blocks the... Hold on. I bet you if we dig this nettle up, it'll actually let us place this closer. Yeah, it will. Dude, I'm just turning it on and running. I'm so annoyed at these guys. What really sucks is look at our, look at our tuber biome. Dung piles drop bones. Okay. We can dig through them with a shovel too to avoid going insane anymore. That's probably the best way to deal with them. That's ha that's where I remember getting bones from. Okay. That was not a dung pile. That was a dung ball. But still, we've got a lot of dung piles. Like, there's two down here from when... Nope, I'm getting those. I'm getting that flower. I don't care. There we go. Oh, it's nighttime. All right. Oh, whale. I guess I could turn the sprinkler off because it's raining. Anyway. There we go. Oh, boy. Dude, our stats are abysmal. Holy moly. Uh, I would love to get some lotuses. I don't know if they've regrown or not yet, though. Unfortunately. Any more dung piles that I can see? No, we're going to have to go to this little island up here. There's tons of dung piles. But then we have to go through the jungle, and that's, like, yucky. Like, we don't like the jungle on this channel. Um, but alas, we must. Uh, my health is really low as well. We actually need to be a little careful, actually. 
Like, I'm, I'm actually a little worried. We don't... Uh, freaky little guy. Or we're actually a little worried. Um, we're? I'm acting like I'm playing multiplayer. I am actually a little worried. Oh, there's weevils here. We don't want to deal with that. Not right now, anyway. Yeah, I gotta say, I don't like humid season. It's it's a very close call, though, on which one I think is the worst. Because humid season is awful. But this is also pretty bad. This season right here. Um, all right, we need this, though. I kind of want this this heart, this Bramble Bloom. Too bad I can't target it because Xbox. Wonderful. We can now make uh, jungle turf, which is cool. I'm happy about that. Dude, it's growing so fast. It's literally growing in front of me. Get out of my way, dude. There's a bone shard. I think we need like three though. So like overall, not a great conversion rate. Dude, it's chasing me. This is freaky. All right, so welcome to lush season. We won't have to deal with allergies for a little bit. It, they they will they will come though. They will be here at some point. And dude, the brambles? Oh, dude. The brambles actually went insane. Like I've never seen them spread that fast. Normally it takes them like a season to spread that much. But these guys just spread. Oh my goodness, dude. That is insane spread. Just completely cut off my nettles, too. Why wouldn't it? Alright, keep those going. Keep those going and growing. I want to dig these up. At this point, with how much manure we're finding, it might be more worth it to just use the poop. Like, that might be more worth it. <laughs> we're going a little hungry, but... Where's the where's the dung pile? Ah, here it is. Bean bugs. Uh, I need all of this stuff actually. No, I don't need vines. Yeah, I don't need vines. I'm actually going to pick some petals though so we can get some sanity. I think that might be a way to go. Gather a little bit of asparagus. Yeah, I don't see any more dung piles. There may be some over here. But, like, I'm not seeing anything else dung pile related, so. Oh, there's some dung piles over here, I guess. Closer to the pig village. Which isn't terrible. Oh, a fish. You know, I'm gonna eat the beans. Then I'm gonna eat the fish because lovely. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, I don't think any of the lotuses respawned yet, which is actually unfortunate. Oh, no way, dude. If this was the crock pot recipe uh, challenge, this would be insane. But unfortunately it's not, so I'm gonna eat this raw because I'm that cool. Could I have made something really good in the crock pot with that? Of course. Am I going to? 
No. No, I'm just going to get lotus plants. And we're going to call it a day. All right, here we go. Let's get these lotuses. No, you do not. I I appreciate the effort, but you're not getting these lotuses. These are mine. Mine. All right. Uh, dude, I need, like, all of these. I guess I could just drop the axe temporarily, but let's be real. It's me, so it's probably going to be permanently because I'm never going to remember it ever again. Can you drive your boat off the edge? Because if so, that's insane. That'd be crazy. No, you don't. Alright. Why is that guy walking on water? That's nuts. We got two meat. We can get another... Uh... Why is this guy glowing? I actually don't know why he's glowing. He's been glowing for a while. Weird. Very weird indeed. We can get some tubers, but we don't have a machete with us. Alright. I'm just going to gather a little bit more sanity. We have enough lotus root to go pretty much back to where we were, which isn't bad. Let's head up north. Let's head back home. Oh, more dung. Beautiful. I know we're not getting paid for this, but, like, we need the manure anyway. To start fertilizing our crops. I think I don't... I'm not able to make a bucket of poop with just one bone shard. Yeah, I need two. Unfortunate, but... You know what? We have so much manure that it's like, it's actually probably better to just use the manure. Like, boom, 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 boom. And I'm, I'm actually going to put the manure in the chest because it's annoying when you don't have manure. Er, why do I have meat in here? Wow. Am I trying to like... Am I, what, what am I doing? Actually, you know what? I wonder if I can do this. I wonder if that works. Can I cheat the system? Or is it going to spoil before, um, before it becomes good to eat? All right. Probably not a great recipe for meatballs, but it is a recipe for meatballs. And we kind of need meatballs right now. All right, let's grab some beard hair. Not the blue gem. Um, there we go. Now let's cook up this lotus. No, you do not. Not yet. Not yet. You can have it in a second. There you go. Now you can have it. Alright. Beautiful. And then, uh, let's see. How do we make the dense turf? We need one ash. That's not bad. We can make one ash. Then we can make some dense turf. So I'm not I'm not afraid of that. Oh, it made asparagus soup. I've I forgot that was a thing. It smells like it tastes probably not good then. I, I have to imagine. Um The recipe for meated nettles. Meated nettles would probably be better for us in the long run. What is the recipe for meat and nettles? Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up real quick. Because I know there's a latency to this chat, so. Meated nettles. Oh, we just need like morsels. We could do that. Yeah, I think meated nettles are probably gonna be better for us since we're we're in a nettle deficient. De deficient. Deficit? Deficit. Deficit. We're in a nettle deficit. 
So... Realistically, we want to make meated nettles. And there is there is an easy way to make meated nettles. And that is by finding squirrels. Sorry, buddy. It just was your time. Uh... This is very sad. I don't like the noise they make, but like, we gotta, we gotta survive hay fever. <laughs> Dude, that noise is so awful. Oh my goodness. All right, let's make a torch real quick. Um, actually, let's eat this first. Let's warm up around the fire, guys. There we go. We got the ashes we need now. Um, all right. All right. Which way do we go for our nettles? I think that way up there is blocked off, so we have to go this way. Oh, this way is also blocked off, guys. <laughs> oh, isn't this fun and enjoyable? And did I mention fun? Oh, this is the way that's not blocked off. Okay. Although I think they're the brambles are regrowing because I don't remember them being this crazy. All right, here. Let's refuel this guy. And then we'll run him again. There we go. We also need to go make the dense turf so we can actually move more of the nettles close to the sprinkler. So let's do that. Let's go get some more dense turf. And by more, I mean let's go make dense turf for the first time. I kind of like the pogs, because they clean up the area. Because, you know, like, in, in Reign of Giants, it's really easy to make a bunch of rot on the floor. Because, like, you know, you, you drop, like, petals, you drop all types of stuff. It turns into rot, and then it's like, aw, that's sad. I didn't want that sitting there. It looks ugly. So the pogs eat the rot, and then you're good, right? I know that's an unpopular opinion. Pogs are normally generally despised for good reason. Especially because they can go through chests. I know they can do that, and that sounds awful, but then just, like, live inside. Also, did you guys see what I saw? Because, oh yeah... Oh, also on the main island. How lucky are we? All right, I am going to go ahead and make some meated nettles for tomorrow because I'm pretty sure tomorrow is allergy day. So let's make some meated nettles. And then let's also make our turf. Our dense turf. Which will allow us to grow... Um, whatchamacallit? What? That was the recipe for meat and nettles, no? That wasn't the recipe of meated nettles? Excuse me? Uh, that could be an issue. Does it need more meat? I don't want to waste nettles. Okay, let's try this. That's gotta be... N what? Wait, that's actually... I'm actually being scammed. Right? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm actually being scammed. That's meated nettles that I was making. What?
Uh. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. It's, uh. It's an update behind. Okay. I don't have meated nettles unlocked. You've gotta be joking. Well, that actually sucks. That's annoying. Um. Wow. Wow. I did not know we were that far behind on the console edition. My goodness. I actually did not know we were that far behind. That's ridiculous. Wow. Oh, asparagus soup sucks. Okay, dude. Th this just became, like, annoying majorly. Okay. Yeah, take from the rich. Sure. <laughs> That's actually insane. I didn't know I didn't have meated nettles available to me. That's so annoying. Does this count as stealing? Yeah. Cool. Cool. You know what? I'm going to shave just for fun. Let's go. We lost him because we shaved. He doesn't know what we look like. We just wasted four nettles doing that, too. Like, that... I, I can't believe that. Why have we not gotten that update yet? That's so weird. I mean, I guess it serves me right for playing on a console, huh? Whatever. I'm making a ham bat just to... Just to get through these things real quick. All right, we get allergies tomorrow, and then we get the, uh, okay, get off that ball. I want this. Sorry, friend. I was being un unnecessarily rude. I left my shovel at home. Dude, I am the most smart person ever. All right. I almost just got hit. All right, all right. I'm having a wonderful time. I'm having a wonderful time. Uh. Okay. Okay. Let's let's head back up to our. Uh, dude, I, that's insane. I'm. Words can't describe how upset I am about that. All right, we have, at least we have a bramble bloom here. Which means we can make more dense turf, which means we probably should. But we can also just make some more dense turf easily with a torch. And uh, I don't know what's going on here. But there's a lot going on, it sounds like. There it is. There's the allergies. Alright, I need my torch. Where did I leave that thing? I know I left a torch up here, so I'm not going to make a new one. Quite yet. Quite yet. Come on, dude. I know I made a torch. Oh, the nettles are blooming. Epic. At least we're getting more nettles. So, like, I can't complain now. We're getting nettles at this point. Alright, dude. I'm just gonna build a new torch. I'm... I'm <laughs> dude. I'm having a very bad day, guys. Alright. Having a very bad day. Alright. Dense turf. Wonderful. Wonderful. Alright. Let's go ahead 
and pitchfork. We got the wild plains turf. Drop that this over here and then take out this pitchfork. And then we'll just plant this dense turf here and look at that. We have a small place where we can relocate some of these nettles to get wet. So let's relocate these guys. Should be able to get like four in there if I'm lucky. Or maybe only three. Probably only three. But I can get one right here. Never mind. That apparently is... Are you kidding? Yeah, okay. Dude. This game never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me. Like, I I don't get it. I don't get it most of the time. I just don't. I just don't. Alright. Well... We can get more dense turf, maybe, if we look around for more bramble blooms. Wouldn't be a terrible thought or idea to look around for more of these guys. The more dense turf we can set up, the more likely we are going to have a fine and dandy... Uh, hey, I'll take that. Sorry, dung beetle. I need this. Manure is useful. Alright, looks like most of our nettles are ready to go. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I'm actually going to turn this off while we harvest them. There we go. Wonderful. Lots of nettles, though, at least. At least we're, we're, we're okay on nettles. Like, I, I can't complain. I literally can't. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm... I'm yelling in the void right now. Yelling in the void. Um, Alright. Let's get a move on. I want to find more bramble blooms. I'd like more dense turf. If possible. I think... The first apocalypse is glitched, as in it will, uh, there actually won't be any seasonal effects, but I want to be prepared just in case there is. You know what I mean? I can't pass up a free dinner. And the yoink. Alright. Free drumsticks? You can't pass that up. Absolutely can't. Alright, we have a shovel now, too. We can head over to this uh, pirate spot. Or whatever you want to call this. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, dude. Oh, hold up. Uh, this spyglass is kind of cool, but also not, like, necessary, I guess. You know, we have a ham bat. Let's, like, we have, like, a fully fresh ham bat. We can handle this. No way, you're, dude, where, er, uh, dude, I can't with the, the thieves in this game. They are so silly. They are so silly. Yeah, run away, dude. Don't want to deal with you. That hit me. All right, all right. I'm still upset with you. Don't, we don't have need, needed nettles.
But you know what? Sometimes it just happens like that. You gotta learn. Alright, let's make another football helmet. Nope, my inventory's full. Let's not make a football helmet. Let's instead go ahead and make... Hey, it did turn into jerky. Nice. We managed to save a spoiling meat. Uh, I don't know if we will, however, save these monster meats. We can try to save these monster meats, but I don't think it's happening. We don't have the necessary uh, requirements. Okay, let's see if we can get this on the jerky rack too, so we can get some jerky. Jerky would be good during the apocalypse, I think. Personally, I think that it would be good during the apocalypse. Then we'll make some more nettle rolls because we're still on the version that that's the only option we have. Funny enough. Funny enough. What do you know? All right, all right. Enough of this. We got, we got to get to work. I don't know how many times I've said that, but now we're for real. Robin, can you... Can we get you outside, actually? Because, like, you're kind of annoying me sitting there. There we go. Come here. Wonderful. Now Robin will be outside. Got to keep the bird outside. Just in my way all the time. <laughs> Oh, Robin. Oh, Robin. What a funny individual. Yeah, nettle rolls suck when it comes to be like nettle rolls versus meated nettles. I personally like meated nettles and nettles better. But we're we're at the point where nettles are so easy to get that nettle rolls are probably better anyway. So we're probably fine. We can make monster jerky uh, out of some of this monster meat to kind of preserve it a little bit. I'm not opposed to that. Okay. Um, Alright. I did not make a football helmet. Let me do that real quick. Where did I put my rope? What? Oh, it's right here. Wonderful. Wonderful. Alright, we got two nettle rolls. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's make some money. I think we should make some money. Get as much money as we can. We, we'll have to go on a spending spree the day before the apocalypse. Because we won't be able to use money anymore after the apocalypse starts. So we're just going to want to go on like a spending spree. An absolute bender of spending. Are these guys still mad at me? Let's see. Yep. Absolutely. Hey, give me money. Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, you give me money too? Thank you. How, how kind. What a kind and generous person. Give me these berry bushes. Um... I, uh, hmm. Oh, that almost hit me. All right. Well, we got another berry bush to add to our collection, which these should be pretty decent at saving our life when it comes to... The apocalypse. I'm hoping. All right. Has anybody ever done a uh, first to a millionaire speed run in Don't Starve Hamlet? Dude, that would take so long. That would take an unbelievable amount of time. Oh my goodness, that would suck. That would also be very RNG dependent, I think, personally. Like, that would be pretty bad. Alright, well, let's go ahead and sell some of this. 
This should allow us to get a centipede point. Allergies are back. Woohoo! Allergies are back. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and get rid of them. Um, alright, let's go to the bank. Let's go to the bank. I want to convert some of these down. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, which one of you are the one? Okay, it's the one up there that's mad at me. Alright, let's buy a centipede. Why not? No point in not buying a centipede. Alright, now the question is, where do we spend our money? Our hard-earned money. Because, okay. Realistically, we could buy a ton of food from the grocer before Apocalypse happens. But... Remember, the apocalypse is going to cause food to spoil faster. So, stockpiling food is not a good idea. There is also uh, Palace City, where we can buy, like, magic items. Not a bad idea. Uh, oddities and whatnot. Not a bad idea as well. Certainly thinking about it. But, there's one thing that's absolutely worth it. And that is healing items. Healing items would be pretty powerful, especially honey poultices. So we're going to buy some honey poultices. And then if we can, coffee. I would like coffee as well. Uh, healing salves, maybe. They're not as good. Oh, I thought we used up all our money already. No, it's just converted in 10 piece. Um, maybe not. I might not get the, the healing salves. Because honey poultices are way better. We could take on the... The Mant Queen. To try to get some, some more honey for the honey poultices. We don't even need to take on the Mant Queen. We just need to go into the Mant Lair. Honestly. Because then we can make the honey poultices. Those are better than healing salves, if I'm correct. And they're not expensive. They're not expensive. We could actually... Yeah, that might be our goal. Let's go take on the mant den and get some honey. I think that's a good idea. Um, we'll need to go get some chitin from out in the wilds before we can think about doing that. But I don't quite have a light yet. I could hammer down another of these lamp posts for another free lantern, but... Uh, uh, do I really want to? Okay, what about the general store? Hold on. General store sometimes sells miner's hats. It does. It is selling a miner's hat. And cloth. I'm actually going to buy that cloth. Because it's so rare. Oh, dude. No way. I'm buying all the cloth. Alright. I'm only buying it because it's rare. I'm only buying it because it's rare. So that's three cloth. That's so rare in the world of Hamlet. Also, it's a full moon. So I bought that for no reason. But whatever. So now we have three cloth. That is amazing. Alright. Um, Robin, you're going to hold some stuff for me. Here you go. You can have some dung. You can have some... I'm, I'm sure he's loving me right now. Uh, yeah, keep all that. Treat yourself, buddy. All right. Where did we want to go? Uh, what was I doing? Where did we want to go and what was I doing? I do want to go refill my sprinkler. So we could try to get as many... Alright. Hello. Yeah! Another bandit stash. Beautiful. 
And again, it's on Swinesbury. How much luck do I have with these things? Normally, they're always on other islands. That's amazing. That is actually really nice. Oh, these flowers are all evil. Because full moon. Makes sense. Alright, let's see what we got here. In this totally secret bandit camp. Ooh, another spyglass plus old boot. Not bad. Not bad if I do say so myself. Let's go ahead and get some grass. We are kind of getting low. So, what are the effects of Apocalypse? I'm pretty sure it's you... It's a lot. It's a lot. But, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Sorry, Dung Beetle. Very apologetic, but it must happen. Bean bugs! Yippee. Let's also dig through these. If we can get three bone shards, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. Uh, Alright. I also would like to find another Thunderbird biome. Oh, he, he ran into the tree on his own. That's so sad. And then I just looted his dung ball. Look, at least I'm not at least I'm not taking them out. Like, come on, you gotta give me some credit. I may be being very mean to them, but I'm also not that mean. Not that mean. I let them live. Alright, we got another Iron Hulk up here. More charcoal. Ooh, maybe a Bramble Bulb? Maybe a Bramble Bulb? Maybe? There's got to be a Bramble Bulb up here. Somewhere. Oh, dude. You are so adorable. They are so adorable, dude. Alright. There's got to be a bramble bulb up here. Can you make more dung for me? Oh, that ruins the whole thing, though. Okay. So, not worth it, technically, because I think we get... We don't get bone shards from the dung balls. So, technically not worth it to do that. But, hey, okay. we live and we learn, right? We live and we learn. There's, nope, it's a Thunderbird biome, though. This is great. This is actually not bad. Okay, we can get tubers here. We now no longer have to worry about food. Lush season is easy mode now. Let's grab some tubers, and look at that. The only thing is, we can't rely on tubers to keep us fed for Apocalypse. Because the Apocalypse is, let's just say, not good. We'll just say that. I think they spawn from dung piles. Oh, more bone shards. We just need one more for the... I'm so sorry. It's so rude. It's so rude. I know. I know how rude I'm being, but... Alas, it's necessary. Ooh, we got some gold here, but also a gnat swarm. And thunderbird. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. All right. Uh, dude, there's got to be a Bramble Heart somewhere. There it is. I knew it was somewhere. All right, let's grab this. Wonderful. Give me that Bramble Heart. I'm going to go ahead and eat these bean bugs. Uh, beautiful. Yeah, I knew there had to be a Bramble Heart somewhere. I mean, it was so dense in that area. Oh, whoa. 
There's just a bramble hurt out here, too. That's awesome. All right. Could we make vine trunks? Yes, but uh, dense turf is like a million times better, so why would we ever make vine trunks? That's the real question. All right. Um, you know what? I'm just going to burn all of this. It should spread. Yeah. All right. Um, stocking stick for now. Can you stay on the floor? I'm going to need this. Then let's go to make some dense turf. And then we can grab this stocking stick back. I wish I could combine the two. It's so annoying that I can't. Uh, there we go. We'll make some more dense turf. Perfect. We got two more dense turf. That is great, actually. That is actually pretty great. You know what? Why not? Let's get some iron. Let's mine some iron. I'm not afraid of you. The world is, though. All right. Let's get out of here before that becomes an issue. <laughs> we got some iron, though. I'm happy about that. That turned out pretty good. Let's eat some tubers. Um, and then let's head back home to our nettles. Oh, nice. The stocking stick is out. We are on to number two. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right. I think it's a full moon tonight. So that shouldn't be bad. All right. If we get a full... It is not a full moon. I lied to myself. Just straight up lied to myself. We got a miner's hat, though, so it's okay. We're allowed to lie. Because we have a miner's hat. Should I wake up that arm for, like, funny giggles? That'd be a haha -ha moment, wouldn't it? Alright, where'd I leave that... Oh, these brambles are growing or something. Okay, this went... This got unfueled, but you know what? That's fine. Actually, I'm going to turn it off for now. Because I want to... We have allergies again. Yuck. Alright, let's just take these two out. That way we have a nice, even square going on here. That's pretty good. Alright, let's not sneeze, please. Uh, and then I want to go ahead and turn this on so I can see which nettles are getting water. So these few back here are not. Should be able to move, like, three of them in, maybe? Oh, that, that was a bad placement. Because this... Yeah. Maybe we can get two there? Yeah, it looks like three was the, the mount we could get in. Not bad, actually. Not bad. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking how this is turning out. We got lots of nettles now. And those should realistically become nice and plump eventually. As long as we keep coming back to check it out. As long as we keep coming back to check it out. All right. Um, we did use our last nettle roll. We'll have to head back home to actually make more nettle rolls. All right. Let's head back home, make some more nettle rolls, and then should be fun. Should be very fun. Alright. Oh, 
it's wind time. Nice, look at our berries. They're actually growing. How awesome. All right, we need to make more nettle rolls. We have 10 nettles. That's not bad. After this, we'll have four. So we'll have enough for three nettle rolls. Not terrible. Is it amazing? No. Is it, like, terrible? No. Alright, these monster meats are definitely going to go bad. I could cook them. I could cook them. Or, what I could do is I could go make a bird cage. Although, that's a lot of gold. That's a lot of gold if I make a bird cage. And I don't know if we have that gold on us. Let's see. Birdcage. We need two seeds, two papyrus, six gold. That's a lot. Gold is not easy to get in the world of Hamlet. It is not easy to get at all. Thank you. Thank you for the money. Um, anything interesting in here? See, we could buy the two seeds here. Like, that's not a problem. In fact, you know, I'm going to make a bird cage. We're in this for the long run anyway. And monster meat's going to be one of the easiest things to get. Especially in the apocalypse where there's tons of bats everywhere. And, you know, all that fun stuff's happening. So let's go get some papyruses. We need papyrus anyway for honey poultice. And then I want to get the chitin to make mant armor. To the Ow, I forgot. I, I forgot you were mad at me. Stupid. <laughs> I'm the coward. I, I guess I am running away, huh? <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that canoe is the one that's not broken. The other canoe is pretty broken. Pretty messed up. All right. Why not? Why not? We'll might as well deal with them now. They get annoying if you don't deal with them. If you take too long to deal with them. All right, let's take this canoe. Uh, actually, there's some good amount of reeds here, but there's more reeds over here. We want to get the best. All right, here we go. We also could grab some lotuses. I'm not against that. Uh... Oh, we should have left the bone shards. You know what? Bone shard? No. We're not making a bucket of poop. We're not. We're just not. It's not happening. Because why would we need one? At all. Alright. Look at that. We got lotuses. No porcupines either. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're going to get some reeds here now. Uh, I want to get as many as I can. I want to get as many as I can. Uh, dude, that frog is in timeout jail. You see that? That's actually devastating for that frog. Uh, beard hair can go here, dude. Like, I'm not that concerned about the beard hair. Oh, now my canoe's wet, guys. That's like... It's so over for my canoe. My canoe's wet. How am I ever going to use it now? How am I ever going to use it? Uh, he's definitely about to eat every lotus plant within... You know, it, it's fine. We don't need lotus plants as much as we need reeds. Reeds are the more important ones. Right, I do need to go refuel this guy. Let's do that. Should be one turf. Should fuel this guy fully. Basically. Basically. Got some mosquitoes. Mosquito sacks are also a pretty good healing item. And there seems to be a lot of mosquitoes. Yeah, mosquito sacks are not a bad healing item, actually. Now that I think about it. Thank you, frog. Are we chill? No way. I just teamed up with a frog on Don't Starve. 
Guys, I just made history. I have teamed up with a frog on Don't Starve, guys. That's actually history. Yeah, I'm actually not opposed to using mosquito sacks for healing either. Gross, sure, but it's probably not someone else's blood. <laughs> uh, gross. Yeah, dude, that porcupine just... Holy moly. Holy moly. Dude, you guys can calm down, you know. What happened? Why are they, like, freaking out? There's lots of reeds up here, though. Oh, no. I don't want that. Oh, they're fighting the stupid mosquito. That's so funny. Dude, they are... Dude, this... There's enough waves here to actually cause me to, like, probably instantly go down. Like, it's actually kind of crazy. Alright, you know, we probably have enough reeds. We probably have enough reeds. We're probably fine. I'm going to call it here. We're, we're good. We're good. Alright. Let's head back home. And then let's go make the bird cage. And then as much papyrus as we can. And then we'll have to infiltrate the mant... Uh, the mant things so that we can get some honey. I think that's a great idea. I think that's a wonderful idea. Are you the one that's mad at me? No. You love me. You're an awesome pig guard. That absolutely is a, a true... A true Polar Lotus fan. That pig guard is subscribed and has that bell notification on. For sure. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, papyrus it up. Papyrus. Boom. And then we should have enough for the birdcage. We do. Hopefully our monster meat isn't too bad by now. I'm think I'm thinking of putting the bird cage inside because that makes the most sense realistically. Um, yeah, that's that's gonna make the most sense. Let's put it inside. We'll probably put it in here. Honestly, that that'll look really cool too, like right here. I like that. All right, the monster meat is so close to going bad. Let's go cook it. Like, really quickly before it goes bad. Because it's actually, like, two seconds away from going bad. I'm spamming this button, guys. Alright. Look at that. We managed to save the monster meat. And we'll turn it into eggs. Not a bad trade-off. We do need silk so we can make the... Uh, bird trap. We should have enough. Yeah, we do have enough for bird trap. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. And then we have two papyrus left for healing poultices. And then two reeds left for more healing poultices. Um, and then we have one silk left. Good. Good. We have four nettles left. I'm just going to leave them in the kitchen. Because we're not going to do anything with the nettles without being in the kitchen. And then we've got lots of manure, which means... Yeah, it means good stuff, guys. All right. Whew. Things are going good. Oh, we just watched this monster meat dry in front of our eyes. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Beautiful. Okay, let's go trap some birds. We can go buy some seeds from the shop. Oh, dude, Robin's so cute. I love him. But he's also so useless. I wish he wasn't useless. Because, like, he's adorable. He's actually adorable. I just wish he wasn't useless. 
All right, let's buy some seeds from you. That way we can trap a... We'll, we'll get a pigeon. Because why not? That, that's funny. That's a funny haha. We'll trap a pigeon. Oh, I'm not going to be able to bait it, though, am I? Because these guys are going to want to eat it. Right? Yeah. They're going to want it. What? What just happened there? I mean, we could just put a bird trap down. There's a good chance for it to catch something anyway, but we could also just do the suburbs over here. Like, away from all the pigs. Here we go. If we get a crow, we get a crow. If we get a pigeon, we get a pigeon. We'll see which one we get. All right, guys, take your bets now. Pigeon or crow? Pigeon or crow? I'm personally hoping pigeon because pigeons look cooler. Oh, oh. Oh, come on. I know you see it, pigeons. Come on. Nope, you do not. You do not go this way. You stay away from my trap. Go away. Get, get, go, get. Yeah. Oh, dude, what? Are you trolling me? Come on. Come on. It's never taken this long. I'm not going to sell you feathers. There we go. We got a crow, guys. We got a crow. All right. And then what I might do is I might put the bird trap near my house now. So that we can capture some pigeons, probably. We'll, we'll just leave it there. If we capture some pigeons, awesome. Because then we can make the pork, uh, whatever it's called. All right. We got a crow now. Which means we now have infinite eggs. Which is quite nice, actually. This guy can refresh eggs for us, too, now. So monster meat has just turned into the most edible thing ever. Because we can just keep making eggs. Which then can be, in turn, made into meatballs with one meat and then three eggs. Boom. Our Porklips food problem has been solved. I repeat, our Porklips food problem has been solved. Let's make a few more nettle rolls, and then I'm actually gonna keep the nettles on me because I'm probably gonna head over to the probably gonna head over to the nettle area. Yes, good. All right, so far so good. Things are going great. We'll leave a torch in here for fun. Um, we need to make a mant armor, but to do that we're gonna need to head over to the jungle anyway. Was I getting stalked? I think I saw... No. Cool. Alright. Let's head out to our... to our fun nettle area. Oh, I ran into a tree. I ran into a tree. Of course I did. All right. I say all right a lot. I'm noticing that now. I think it's a funny word. I think it's a very funny word. All right. Looks like they dried up, unfortunately, but it's okay. Dude, this dung beetle's adorable. There's the vampire bats dealt with. Uh, that hippo scares me. I feel like he's gonna he's gonna cause some issues in the future. Let's just let's let's have like a chill fire out here. We're we're gonna chill out for a little bit with our little dung beetle friend. Look at her. Look at look at that's so cute. Listen to those noises. Alright. 
Again, there I go, saying, all right. I'm so silly. Hey, seeds. Actually, I'll take these. We can utilize those for farmland, because the Apocalypse doesn't stop crops from growing, I believe. Dude, this dung beetle is adorable. I want to capture it and make it like my pet. I wish I could do that. I so want to capture it. Lots of fun. We're halfway there, though. We're halfway there. Which is nice. Which is nice. I'm probably going to end the stream, like, day 55, maybe. Depends. Whatever you guys want me to do, that is. Alright. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. We need chitin. I'm gonna go get some chitin. I know there's tons of chitin. Yeah, look at all this chitin. It's from the, uh... The rabid beetles. They drop chitin. Which is kind of cool. So there's normally a lot of chitin after humid season. Because both rabid beetles drop it, and... Mance. Mance. Mant, mant, mants. I don't think anything eats it, so that's why it's... Oh yeah, look at all that chitin over there. Ow. Why are you freaking out, buddy? Why are you freaking out so much? Nobody's hurting you. Freaking out over to nothing. Nothing. Okay, not going that way. Though there's a lot of chitin here. Ooh, yeah, we just need 10. That's perfect. We've got enough. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, is there anything else here we could grab? We've got seeds. That's not bad. I like seeds. We could live off farms. That's an option. I wonder if we can build farms indoors, though. Because the problem is, right, we can build farms outside, but there's a high chance we're going to lose it to the Ancient Herald when he comes around. There's a there's actually a disappointingly high chance that we're going to lose it to the Ancient Herald. So I'm hoping that we don't need to plant them outside. Though, I'm assuming we do. I'm going to make an assumption and say we do. Right. Let's go make some mant armor. Let's also grab some more logs. Oh, it'll give us more eggs, too. We gotta go this way. There's more trees this way. Oh, here we go. This one even has jungle burrs. The lotuses have regrown here. Not shabby. The vipers can swim? That's cool. I did not know that. I mean, I guess they had to think about that, huh? But still, that's cool. I really didn't think they would be able to. Although, then again... Wait, in Shipwrecked, what happens if you chop a tree that's too close to the water? 
and a snake spawns. Because they can't swim, I don't think. So what happens? Like... That, that's... I'm curious. I'm very curious about that. Oh man. I was having a good time without the poison dart frog. I'm very curious what happens if you mine a tree too close to the ocean. these logs. Give me these logs. Thank you. Okay, I can't get that other log. It's too deep. You know what? We're good to go. We're fine anyway. I could probably get a little bit more iron. Maybe from the torso? I think I could handle the torso a little bit. Plus, it's glowing. Like, look at that. I don't know why it's glowing. Get farmed. Get farmed. What did I just do? Oh, I wanted that iron. He's like a little bug. <laughs> oh. Freaky little guy. Alright, we're getting a little sneezy now. But that gave us a little bit more iron to mess with. Oh, what's up? Welcome to the stream. YouTube didn't notify you again. Of course it didn't. Of course it didn't. That sucks. Yes, I did. I added this as an event. Unfortunately, as you know, the Discord doesn't have that ma that many people in it uh hopefully more people join it but unfortunately not a lot of people have joined it yet all right so we're doing pretty good we're we're setting up for the apocalypse now uh here we go luckily we've got a while until the apocalypse so we, we've we've got time to prepare I want to get, like, a farm room, maybe. Maybe making another room would be a good idea. First off, I gotta see if we can even plant farms inside. I gotta see if we can even plant farms. Uh, let's grab some manure. We'll make improved farms just for the fun of it. Can you plant farms inside? I'm assuming not. Like, that feels like it would be too. Did you miss much? No, not really. We've just been setting up. Up. I started a new world. So, this world's going to be dedicated for the apocalypse. So, what I'm doing, basically, is I'm giving myself 60, 60 days. That's how long it takes until the apocalypse starts. And then I'm not turning it off. We're just going to see how long we can survive in the apocalypse. So, that should be very fun. We're going to have to plant these outside, unfortunately. I don't like that. But we can get away with it. We could get away with it. Um, I don't think the pigs will eat it from... We're gonna. I'm going to place a testing farm down, like, right here. We'll see if the pigs eat whatever's there. They probably don't. But we'll see. This game can be wacky sometimes. So I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and plant the seeds. There we go. We'll let that grow naturally. build houses inside of houses 
Oh boy. Yeah, I feel like that would cause the game to not be happy at all. I don't think the game would be very, very happy about that one. All right, I want to go get honey. So I want to head down to the mant lair. Let's see, we need rope. We can use one of the broken football helmets from outside. So I'm actually going to grab one of these broken football helmets. It's a good way to refresh football helmets, too. Although, mant masks do decay over time. So it's not the best way to refresh football helmets, but it is a way. It is a way. All right. uh, we can make a log suit real quick. This, take the log suit and make a mant suit. Now we can head down to the mant layer and I should take out Pugilisk. I was thinking about doing that. Probably when temperate season comes, I'll probably take out Pugilisk so we can get the snake bones for the apocalypse. I don't want to use any reviving tools, so I can't plant the magic water. Which means we will only be able to fight Pugilus once. We'll only be able to fight Pugilus once. Unless we take the magic water out of the world. But I'm also trying to keep this Hamlet only. For obvious reasons. So. I could take out the Woman. But she doesn't provide that much honey. Bundling wrap is a pretty fancy thing to have. But don't we need hives for bundling wrap? And I don't think uh, get away from me go away shoot. shoot stop get out of here run away <laughs> all right beautiful this hand bat's going bad unfortunately i can bundle the magic water that that is true that is true maybe we'll take out the the queen woman maybe Maybe. For now, I'm just going to do some... Uh, we, we could take out the Queen Woman. How long for the Apocalypse to arrive? It's going to be on day 60. This stream will not be the Apocalypse stream. This is just getting prepared. I wanted to stream this part too, so, you know. I could have the full journey recorded. But this is not the... This is not the... Apocalypse stream. That's going to be tomorrow, probably. All right, I want to leave these here. I want to leave these here. I don't want to fight the Queen Womant during hu or lush season because we might start sneezing in the middle of fight, and that's not good. That's not good at all. So I just want to go down and get honey for now. I could bundle the magic water, though. That is a way to farm it, technically. That is a way to farm it. I'm going to need to break a lantern, but I'll need to do it where no pigs are. No pig guards are, that is. Otherwise, we'll have a annoying situation. I could break ones over here. There's only one pig guard. Nice. These guys are going to be mad at me forever, but I don't care. <laughs> I wanted the lantern. I'm too lazy to make my own. Log suit plus football helmet should be enough. Yeah, I know. But... Um... Let's, go, let's actually go back to my nettles. Maybe if we can get one more harvest, I'll do it real quick. Uh, can you tell me why those red fin? Okay, so those are sharks. Funny enough, those used to be the hounds of Shipwrecked back, like, way back in the day. Before the Home Sea Home update. Uh, the sharks will spawn if you hit anything out in the water or, like, kill things out in the water. They're, they're pretty tough, but 
What you should be doing is getting a boat repair yard. So like a sea yard, if you have that. I'm assuming you guys have the home sea ho home update. If you don't, then that sucks. And that's going to make things very hard. But if you get a shipyard, you're basically good. Like, you're not going to have any problems. Right, I'm actually going to sit near here for a little bit. And see if we can get these two. There we go. If, see if we can get these to bloom. But yeah. If you can get a, a boatyard, then your ship is basically invincible. Like, all you have to do is take your ship out. If you have an armored boat, it'll last the longest. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. If you have an armored boat, it'll last a long time. And then you just head back home and repair your ship but they they are pretty beefy they're harder to deal with than croco dogs that's for sure that's for sure look at this this is amazing all right we'll fight the queen woman then this is gonna turn into boss fighting stream 2.0 man i swear all right we're gonna leave the sprinkler on so they can at least stay wet They're fast, and thatch cloth sails are slow, so they can... Um... Well, normally for croco dogs, I would definitely suggest fighting them on land for the first few days. Until you get a... Oh, he's mad at me. Until you get a, uh... A boat yard. I would definitely suggest fighting them on land. The... You don't think I killed the woman last stream? No, I did. I did. Hello, Slipstitch. Welcome to the stream. I did I did get the woman last stream. I got the woman, the Iron Hulk, and the Pugilisk. All three of them. And hopefully in tomorrow's stream, I will be getting the uh, Ancient Herald. And then I will officially have every boss done from Hamlet. Now we've got tons of nettles, though. This is great. We can leave the nettles on the floor, too. That should be enough nettles to get us through this season and probably next season. Oh, the sharks are the ones that stun lock you. Yeah, they can be difficult, but but you're having five of them spawn? Or what did you say? Hold on. How many spawn when you are running around killing jellyfish? Because normally for me, they only spawn like one or two at a time. They're hard to kite, but you can also, if you, a, a trick with them is you can actually take them to land. And they'll glitch out if you jump onto land. Because um, when you jump on land, they'll sometimes get stuck on the coast. And then you'll be able to take them out from the coastline. They will fight back, but you have a lot more health with a football helmet than your uh, boat does. Three to four of them spawn? Oh, wow. That's weird. I've never had that happen. Um, That's really weird. But yeah, you should be able to take them to land, and then by the time you get to land, it should glitch them out, and then they'll be easy to take out. Alright, guys, let's take on the Queen Woman again. <laughs> oh, man. This is boss fighting stream part two. I guess. But getting the bundling wraps would be a decent thing. For the apocalypse because not only are bundling wraps really good for farming magic water if we want to I don't think I want to although it would be nice to get a bunch of snake bones 
but they also keep food fresh forever inside of them. So, like, yeah. That's pretty good. Especially with the Apocalypse's 50% spoil rate, which is kind of nuts. It's kind of insane. Yeah, bundling the water makes it count as non-existent. That is true. That is true. Alright, I'm gonna eat one more meatball, and then we'll get to work. We've got a few healing items. We'll take the mosquito sacks. For healing. Uh, we can make some football helmets. We can make some football helmets. We don't need rope. I know I have rope somewhere. It's probably in Robin. Yep. There's a football helmet. We'll take a log suit. I don't know what I was making there, but we want a log suit. Probably... We're going to need to bring the pickaxe this time again. Executive hammer can stay here. Uh, the resources can also stay here. Realistically, we don't need them. They're cool, but not ultimately helpful. Okay. Well, we probably want to make another log suit. We'll bring two football helmets, two log suits, just because... Although, I should be able to run the Mant Warriors around the throne to get them stuck. I should be able to run the Mant Warriors around to get them stuck. So then we won't have any problems at all. Okay, we got a pickaxe. Do we need a... Uh, hold on, I'm going to look this up just so we don't waste time. Do we need a... Um, because we need to take down the Mant Honeycombs to get the, whatchamacallit, the, the Honeycomb. So how do we, do we need to hammer those down? Yes, we need to hammer those down. Okay, so we'll bring a hammer. Boom, perfect. And that looks pretty good to me. We'll need to go get new a, fre a fresh new ham bat, but other than that, we'll be okay. We'll be good to go. So, let's go get a fresh new ham bat. We could buy one, so we don't have to go fight a hippo. I'm sure the grocery store is selling something. Let's see. Yes, the grocery store is selling a ham bat. Lovely. Right, I'm just going to drop this ham bat here. Now we got a fresh ham bat. We're ready to go. Is it dangerous not taking food in? Probably. We'll, we'll probably grab some forageables on the way. We'll grab some forageables on the way. Maybe live off some seeds. Uh, oh wait, I've been reading. Yeah, the bundling wraps keep everything. There is also tea, but I find catching orange picos is annoying. So I normally just go for coffee because you can buy coffee at the uh, spa. And then, oh, you have two rooms in your house. That's cool. Yes, the shelf is actually functional. You can put things on the shelf. I never do because it's you can only put single items on, even if you have like a like a stack you can only put single items on so I never use it but you could decorate it if you want to maybe if I do like a long-term world I'll decorate a house make it look nice and pretty who knows if that's what you guys want to see if that's what you guys want to see that is alright let's we have anything to fuel this thing with, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. We might not have anything to fuel with. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. Here's a log and some manure. We can we can fuel it with manure and log. One manure and one log, guys. I gotta say, that's the most impressive fuel. There we go. Keep the nettles going. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably do a long-term world. There's definitely gonna be a twist if I do that. Like, I'm thinking random seasons. So, like, each season is completely random in length. In all of the worlds that I connect. And then I'll just do a long-term world. Like, we'll just see how long we can survive. I think that might be fun. Alright, there, where's the mant nest? I know it's around here somewhere. Where is the mant nest? We're not going all the way up there. It's gotta be. There's Yeah, there's one over there. Okay. Time to make a ham bat. It's a good thing we didn't go down yet. Because I did not bring any twigs. So we're gonna have to go grab two twigs real quick. Whoopsie doopsie. Let's grab two twigs. That's all we need. That is all we need to make a ham bat. Then we're good to go. Make a ham bat. And then we're good to go. Let's head to the mant nest. Okay, I don't want to get hit by these guys. All right, we're getting close. I never told you how to make the Cutlass Supreme or find the Swordfish. I did, in my mild season guide. I did. I remember that one, like, clearly, too. I didn't, like, show it in the gameplay, but I did talk about it. Because I actually lost the footage for getting it, unfortunately, somehow. No clue how, but I just did. But I did, I did show it. I did show it. Alright, where's my lantern? There we go. Alright, let's do this. Welcome to the Mant Den. Here we go, we can get some honeycomb from this. I think they would get aggressive though, if we start hammering it down. No, they don't. Wow, these guys are trusting. Love them. <sighs> what can we drop? What can we drop? I hate dropping the miner's hat, but like, Yeah, no, I, I I did talk about the uh I did talk about the cutlass screen though. I know that. For sure. I do remember vividly talking about the cutlass supreme. So they they just let me hammer these down. That's surprising. I guess I am wearing the mant suit, but like What's happening here? Oh, the cave just switched. Oh, I did it. Oh, it's switched. Maybe leave the mosquito sacks. Those are my healing items. Those are my healing items. What if, what if I break the honey chest? Oh, it drops nothing. Alright. Let's take out our lantern. This is good. We're, we can make a lot of bundling wraps if we keep these. Oh, dude. Lots of honeycomb in here.
Dude, they're so cute. Look at them. They're trying to talk to me. Too bad I'm just demolishing their homes and they're chill with it. Oh, that's the exit. Cool. I guess. Not what we need, though. Not what we're looking for. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Here we go. Welcome to the Mant Queen Lair. Okay, do we have what we need to get this started? I think we're good. I think we're ready for this. We're going to need to loop her around. We're going to need to loop her around. Alright. Let's make our way around. These Mant Warriors do not care about our disguise. So it's imperative that we just go as fast as possible. Around these guys. Yep, look, he's mad at me. Here we go. Alright. Welcome to the Mant Queen. to get him stuck on the back. I think we got one stuck on the back there. We did not. The rabbit beetles are attacking her, though. I think we got one stuck on the back. Alright, I think we're good. Oh, yeah, she's already low health. She's already low health. This has got to be the easiest boss fight of uh, Hamlet, for sure. Oh no, I can't do anything. Wah. Goodbye. I said goodbye. There we go. Queen Womant down. Easy peasy. Wow. All right, now we need to mine down this throne. If we ha can. Uh, come on, can I target the throne, please? All right, I'd love to be able to target the throne. I think that would be great. I'd love to be able to target the throne. I think that'd be great. I love console, guys. I love it so much. My favorite. I have to literally clean things out before I'm allowed to mine anything. Because of how... There we go. Oh my goodness, that took way too long. Boom! Alright, so we got the royal crown, too. That's actually a cool thing to have. So, I'm gonna learn the bundling wrap real quick. And look at that, allergies are here. So we've got bundling wrap learned now. Beautiful. I kind of want to take this monster meat home, too. Not gonna lie. Alright. Let's see. Oh, we're getting a little hungry. I mean, we could just eat the radishes now. It literally does not hurt to eat the radishes now. Blue gem is cool. Would be nice to have, but... Yeah, we definitely came over-prepared. Like, that was way too easy. Alright, now we just gotta get out of here. And we're good to go. I, I probably want to bring the hammer. I want to grab more. Um... Yeah, we definitely came over-prepared. You know what? This is a 4% pickaxe. We don't need it. Ow. Oh my goodness. These guys are mad. 
By the way, these rooms normally aren't lit up. They actually, funny enough, when you defeat the queen woman, the rooms actually will light up as a side effect. All right, we need to put the mant uh, stuff on now. And now we're good to go. We have made it out with our lives. Uh, oh, perfect. Right here's the exit. Huh. Well, that was easy. Uh, you can give the count. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can. You are able to give the crown to the queen. And she will give you one of the keys. Although, I like keeping the crown. Because it gives you a sanity gain. And it has no durability. So it's really good for that. Because look, now I'm not losing any sanity at night. Sure, it's not armored. But like, still. I'm not losing any sanity. So like, that alone is pretty worth it. Uh-oh. Oh, we're trapped with the bats. Oh, it's a bramble bulb. All right, you know what? Not dealing with this. Should I make another... I'm, you know what? I'm not even going to deal with the bramble bloom. Yeah, it's a super easy fight if you know what you're doing. It's so easy. I literally fought her for the first time ever on Thursday and won. Then again, I I won with all of the boss fights, which were also kind of the first time ever. Besides the Pugilist. I did fight the Pugilist before, but it went bad. So. But yeah. Yeah, she's very easy. Definitely the easiest boss of... Definitely the easiest boss of Hamlet. Yeah, so it gives you just enough to sanity to stop the dusk and night. Yeah. Stops dusk and night, and then it gives you a slight gain during the day, which is actually really cool. And it has no durability. So you don't have to worry about durability at all. So I think it's really cool. It does not, however, stop the sanity gain or sanity drain from being in the pitch black. Unfortunately. But who cares? All right. Welcome home. Welcome home. Yeah, look, see, we're gaining sanity much faster inside now. All right. So bundling wrap. We need beeswax, don't we? Yeah, the wax paper is the bundling wrap, so we need beeswax. And then if we take beeswax and papyrus, we can make bundling wrap. I believe that's bundling wrap, right? Or do we need to do another step? I think we need to do another step. Yeah. We need rope. So, I believe this is reusable. I believe this is reusable. I'm actually certain this is reusable. So, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do this. This was a don't starve together only item. At one point. Beeswax melts when near a heat source? Really? Huh. That sounds strange. Alright. So we've got bundling wraps now. Let's go ahead and make a few. Look at that. We got two bundling wraps. Nice. Very good. We'll need more papyrus if we want to make more. We've got lots of honey. That was a very, very good fight. I think we did well. And we got... We still have armor left over for future fights. So we'll actually use our kitchen to uh, store our armor real quick. Also, we don't need this 100% walking cane. So let's just store all of our 
Yeah, we'll just... Yeah. 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 We're good. We're good. We're good. Alright. Well, now we should probably go get more papyrus. I also want to grab my resources again, because we did drop those on the floor. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the twigs over here. Grab our flint. All right. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and go get some more reeds. Yeah, this is giving us a sanity gain, so it's really nice. Of course, we're not armored. We have to remember that, but shouldn't be too hard to remember. Shouldn't be too hard. Maybe drop the ant suits. Yeah, <laughs> I did already do that. Latency is so weird. Uh, it means I'll, I'm not able to see your guys' comments until way later. It's so weird. It's also unfortunate. I think it's uh, temperate season again. It's Yeah, it's temperate season again right now. So that's pretty good. Is this the canoe that's... No, this is the canoe that's almost broken. We don't want to go in. In fact, I'm going to take this canoe. This canoe is like literally one second away from going away. So we don't want to get in that. That's a death trap. We don't want to get in that. We do want to get in this canoe though. Unless this frog wants beef. Then we'll, we'll give it beef. There we go. All right, let's get some lotus plants. Let's get some reeds. Everything's awesome. Yeah, the summer only second stream had a lot of latency, I noticed, for some reason. I think I've lowered the latency a little bit for these streams. The only reason I don't want to lower it too much is the lower I make the latency, the worse the video quality is. And I don't want the video quality to be like, awful because i know a lot of people like to come back after the streams and watch these videos so got to think about the non live people who like to watch the vods cuz they are also awesome all right Also, I'm sure you guys don't want to watch a pixelated mess. <laughs> I wouldn't. Oh, that's tall grass. What am I doing? This is lots of reeds. This is really nice. Cool. Okay, I think that's all the reeds there. There's a lot more reeds in that pond over there. We can head over there. Try to get as many as we can. I think that's a good idea. Alright, let's grab our canoe. Bring it over to... This pond over here, lots of lotuses, too. They last a decent amount of time. But what I'm more concerned about is if we get a porcupine. We can fight a porcupine. Yeah, yeah. If I set it to very low, it would be about equivalent to, like... 144p or like 360 at best <laughs> that's why i put it on normal latency that way i can i can stream at uh 1080p i also wouldn't be able to do uh 60 frames per second which would be awful that means any like fast paced movement would look very bad it would look very bad Look at those porcupines up there. They're not even trying to get the lotuses. Wonder why that is. 
Dude, we got tons of lotuses from this. Holy moly. Hey, you want to fight me? They look so intimidating, but they're not, like, they don't fight back. Maybe they fight back, but I never give them the chance. <laughs> so, we'll never know. Oh, uh, we need to get away. We need to go away right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. That happens. All right. Actually, we'll leave the canoe there. We'll leave the canoe there. That's a pretty good pond. So we got 32 reeds. That's pretty good. Can I eat the lotus? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, it's better cooked. It's a very good sanity item, but here, look. So we have 51, 141, 148 on our stats. We eat the lotus. 64, 142, 153. It's better cooked, though. It's way better cooked. Hey, look. Slurpers? Um... They do take your food away. Which can be annoying. I'd say I'm more annoyed of them than scared. Oh, you're so mad. So mad. I'm wearing a crown. You can't attack me. You can't attack me. Look at me. I'm wearing a wearing a beautiful crown. Oh, my walking cane just gave out. What good timing. That should be the last nettles we need to eat of the season. If I'm correct. If I'm correct. Alright, so we got we can take our new walking cane. We'll have to go get another walking cane drying up. What do the porcupines do? I have absolutely no clue. They might attack back. They might not. I have no clue. You can stun lock them, so that's normally what I just do. <laughs> you can stun lock them, and that's that's what's important. All right, we're gonna use all of this honeycomb to make beeswax and wa uh, wax paper. I think that's gonna be the way we go. All right, wax paper time. Boom. We just got all of our bundling wrap. Uh, that's not enough reeds to make another paper. Where did we leave the rope? Where did we leave it? Did we put it in the chest like normal people? No. Oh, it's in my inventory. It's in my inventory. <laughs> oh, a compass. If we make a compass, we can make a uh, cowl. That'd be cool. Alright, so we have five papyrus left. We can make some honey poultices. We can make some honey poultices. Although, to be honest, probably not necessary. Honey poultices are probably not necessary. We'll just save the papyrus for now. So yeah, we've got we've got bundling wrap now. That'll help out for keeping food fresh. You can stun lock were pigs. Yeah, you have to time the, the hits perfectly though. So it's pretty hard to do that. It's pretty hard to time it perfectly. Alright. Let's eat some meatballs and then let's go get let's go get a snap tooth. Let's take out a snap tooth. Uh, also, our farm has grown, and it looks like the pigs don't eat the farm stuff. That is great. So we can build a massive farm with a, a ice fling matic Speaking of ice fling matic I'm going to need to make those, which is going to require more gears, and that's BFB, right? We've already been to BFB's island. We don't need to go there again. So we're just going to spawn and despawn BFB real quick. Let's actually go ahead and I want to go I want to buy gears so we're gonna get some money yes you're so scary and intimidating um, there's an 
another hedge this way. BFB won't actually land unless we leave the city. She'll just keep flying until we leave the city. But yeah, once we leave the city, she'll immediately land. Watch. Here we go. We'll leave the city real quick. And she should land now. There she goes. Look at her. Oh, she's freaky. Not taking me, sorry. Oh, I forgot you're mad at me. Stupid. <laughs> Not taking me. Okay. What were we doing before the snap tooth? Snap tooth stock. Okay, we've got snap tooths over here. We've got snap tooths. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can do this. Let's go get some snap tooth. What happened? Why is the. Oh, the pog went through my chest. The pog went through the chest. I forgot they. Yeah, they do that. That's funny. They just rip all of your items out of your chest. They're annoying like, like that. Definitely annoying if you have a outside base, but most people just live in Swinesbury anyway, so not that big of a deal. How hot does the Hamlet world get? Ice flingos for heat fires or lightning fires? It does not get hot. However, we will be surviving the apocalypse, which realistically, um, an ice flingomatic's not going to do anything. I am I was I was a little worried because the the Hamlet boss uh, in in Apocalypse is the ancient herald. He destroys every structure. Like he destroys it and he sets it on fire. So the goal is if I put a ice fling matic down and if he doesn't destroy it that is he could uh we could we could at least salvage some things without it all just burning. But realistically, he's just gonna destroy the he's gonna destroy everything. So. Alright. These guys have a four hit kiting pattern. We could get enough leafy meat and then just like lure a uh Oh here we go. This guy's alone. You wanna hit me? Come on. Do it. I hate these guys. All right, one hit, one hit, come on, come on, come on, do it, do it. You are so annoying. <laughs> it's a lot easier to kite from the side, if I can see, that is. Perfect. No, don't eat my stuff. Stop it. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I made them all mad. Uh, is the city in Hamlet called a Hamlet or just a city? That's up to you to decide, honestly. I, I'm pretty sure it can be interchangeable. I, dude, kiting these guys is annoying because they always... Like, look at this. And then when I hit him, he's just gonna... There we go. Okay, now we got it. My goodness. Annoying little guys. Ow. Whoa, he's just hiding behind the... Dude, that's freaky. Alright, come on. You gonna do it again? Yeah, see? Annoying. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's okay. We got plenty of pig skin. I'm not worried about... I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Okay, we got three fly tooth stocks. That's got to be enough for the future. Almost wasted an entire football. Entire football. Big snap tooths are immobile. Yes, they are. They are immobile. The small ones are not, though. 
they're a mobile, but they're still annoying to kite because they they have a very weird. They they just kite weird. I don't like them. It's a one hit kiting pattern, but you also have to get into the actual flow of it. So it's not great, not fun. That is. We're going home with lots of nectar. I know you can turn nectar into honey somehow. He literally even says, says it. Oh, stop with that. Go away. I'm putting my crown back on. This is my crown. This is my crown. Yeah. Hello, Robin. I think you need to make like a honey chest. If I'm correct. Let's see if we can... Let's, let's see what that... What, what this... Hold on. A honey chest. Or do you need to use the honey chest down in the mant caves? Crocodogs are a three hit kiting pattern, right? They are. They are. But if you time it, like, if, if you get the timings right, they can be stun locked. I've tested it, and as long as you time it right and don't miss anything, so like just hold your attack button down and don't lift it up at all, they can be stun locked. I figured that out. Unfortunately, I figured that out after I released my guide, but the kiting pattern still works on them. And if you're getting attacked by multiples of them, then the three hit kiting pattern is probably the best one to go with. Most of the time, you're getting attacked by multiple anyway, so. The knowledge still stands. Alright, these seed pods are going stale. We'll go plant them. Because we don't need to leave them just rotting in here now. Alright, let's go plant these seed pods. Thinking about probably planting them. Let's go plant them in the suburbs. Way out here. This way no pigs eat my seed pods. What's that house icon in the craft tab? It is the home building tab. So I can actually build like doors and shelves and stuff. It's really cool. It's it's awesome. For anybody who wants to actually like make a house in this game and decorate it, you can pretty much do that. And all you have to do is get money. In fact, I'll, I'll probably show you guys it here in a second. There we go. So yeah. This is the home renovation area. You can change your lamp. You got tons of different options. Look at this. You got Yeah, it's it's so cool. Turn into a lotus lamp on theme. You can make chairs. I don't know if you can sit down on them, but maybe we we can make one just for fun. Maybe we'll put a chair right here, a little stuffed chair in front of the fire. Hold on. Let's put it in front of the fire. Because who doesn't love a beanbag chair in front of their fire? Can we sit in it? No. Absolutely not. They didn't think that far. Alright. You, uh, you can change what your house looks like. Like, we could change it to a manor. This only changes the exterior. So you've got, like, you know, all these things. You can add doors, obviously, that go to different rooms. You can add windows. You can add rugs. Uh, we could just go ahead and add a... Uh... Let's see, do I have a scorpion rug? I think that would be funny. Why would I... Okay. They don't have a scorpion rug, unfortunately. If they did, I would put it down. They have, you can have lamps. Look at this. You got orb lamp. Uh, all types of stuff. Tables. I think you could put stuff on the tables too. In fact, I'll go ahead and put it. Let's go put like a like a dining table in our kitchen real quick. Just so I can see if you can put things on the tables. I want to see. Pretty sure you can. No, you can't. I lied. Did 
Did you know you can farm nightmare fuel, beard, hair, monster meat with 60 sanity? Yeah, you you probably could. That thing did that that method did work. I wouldn't use it personally because I think it's you know, there's no uh, danger to using it. So it's one of the one of the things I won't use, but it's still cool. You can make ornaments. These are pretty cool. No smoking. <laughs> oh, you can get a little cat poster. There you go. Look, we got a little cat poster now. That's cool. You can change your wallpaper. You can add columns, plants. That's pretty cool stuff. Oh, you can have a Venus flytrap. That's cool. And then shelves. These shelves actually do work, by the way. They do work. The only problem is they only hold one item at a time. So can't do much with that it's still cool to have though anyways i am going to be right back i do have to use the restroom so one second i'll be right back shouldn't take too long Right. Let's get back into it. Oh, I forgot to pause. I forgot to hit the pause screen. Whoopsies. Uh, remember last stream where I fell off my chair? Yeah, that was silly. But they do kind of show you a preview. Like, let's let's look. Uh, the wallpapers do kind of show you a preview. I mean, we get we could just. Here we go. Look at this. Boom. Kitchen. Music in the background. Brisket taco. That is true. Yeah, that's that was the music that was in the background. How'd you know that? <laughs> we could change the floor. Here we go. We can make it look more look more like a kitchen. Look at that. Now we got a now we got a true and proper kitchen. How nice is that? Cost us money, but hey. You gotta spend some to have fun, right? Oh, let's actually go eat some meatballs before we go. Let's eat some meatballs. Yeah, Hamlet is a cool DLC. The thing is, this house is not restricted to just Hamlet. You can build this house. You can build this house in Shipwrecked or Reign of Giants. You like that song? It's one of your favorites? That's good. It's one of the, uh, it's surprisingly, it's actually copyright free. So that's why I'm able to include it. <laughs> that's funny. Well, it's not copyright free. It's, uh, it's royalty free. I guess that's the correct way to say it. Like you couldn't just record brisket taco and then sell it as a music track. But you can use it in other works. That's what it means. Alright. We're going to get some money, guys. I think we'll head over to... 
I think our allergies are also over. I don't remember her seeing Wilson talk about it, but I'm pretty sure they're over. Pretty sure allergies are over. Okay. Yeah, you have to have a Hamlet linked to the other worlds. Because you need uh, you need to either use the Brain of Thought with a Hamlet linked shipwrecked world or the key to the city, which is what you get from Hamlet. Either of the two work, but you'll also need to get Hamlet enabled is the problem. So that, that could make issues. Yeah, you can't claim brisket taco. I don't claim it. I just have it playing on the background. Good song, though. For sure. Yeah, I, I went through the YouTube library. Because YouTube has a library of... Uh, royalty-free music that you can use. And Brisket Taco is one of them. And I liked it when I listened to it, so I decided to add it to the playlist. Yeah, so whenever Hamlet comes to... Oh, wait. You guys don't have connected worlds, though. I was going to say, you could make a... I for... But I forgot. In mobile, they don't connect the worlds, do they? That sucks. Yeah, our sanity is never going to be a problem again if we just keep wearing this crown whenever we need it. We could trade it to Queen Malfalfa, but we don't need to. We don't need to. All right, we're stocked up on grass again. That's beautiful. Uh, if you make the Brain of Thought, does it have durability or does it spoil? Okay, so, if you make the Brain of Thought, it has durability. You can only craft four items with it. Only four. So, you have to make it count. And obviously, Coral, the Brain Coral, takes a long time to respawn. So, you have to make it count. But it has durability, so you can you can stock up on them. You don't have to uh, worry about it spoiling. You don't have to worry about it spoiling. You just have to worry about it running out of durability. Alright, let's head over to Palace Island. I want to make some real money. We are going to put our football helmet on for here, because I know we've got... Scorpions on the other side of this door. Yep. The best mob in the game, by the way. Alright, which way do we go? Up. Then we go up again? No, we were not supposed to go up. I got confused. My apologies. We had the perfect amount of our shears to do this. Alright, welcome to Palace Island. Could get some living logs from the mandrakes, but I don't think we need to. Our football helmet's getting a little low. What about when you harvest the brainy sprout? Does it spoil? Yes, it spoils, and I believe it spoils pretty fast. So if you if you want to make the brain of thought, you have to have a lot of stuff ready to make it like right there. It spoils pretty fast. Not like absurdly fast. I think it's like three days or something. Something around that. I know it spoils fast. That's all I know. It is also a really good uh, item if you need like an emergency sanity. Because it does restore sanity. Like a lot of it. 
but it's better used for the brainy or the brain of thought by a long shot like it's way better for the brain of thought we should probably go fight the Pugilisk now if we want to fight the Pugilisk. We'll be, I'll be real. We should definitely fight the Pugilisk now if we want to fight the Pugilisk. Otherwise, we will be trapped in the Apocalypse with no snake bone soup. So let's make some money. And then I think it's Pugilist time. The only boss I'm probably not going to fight in this one, which is funny because, you know, last stream was the boss fighting stream, is the Iron Hulk. Because you don't really need to fight the Iron Hulk. There's not... I mean, sure, I can make the, uh, the ultimate suit, but, like, do I really need it? It'd be cool, but I don't need it. It's not something that we can't live without. Twenty-four days until Apocalypse. That is true. And again, remember, I will be ending the stream before the Apocalypse. Tomorrow will be dedicated to the Apocalypse, because I will be streaming tomorrow to make up for my lack of a Friday stream, because I did not stream on Friday. All right, let's get money. We'll need to go get coffee if we're going to fight the Pugilus. Technically. Technically. Think about this. During the Apocalypse, Picos become rabid. So they'll attack you. That'll make it a lot easier to trap and capture orange Picos to make iced tea. The only issue being, we no longer will be able to buy ice, because the shops will be closed. Which is an issue, for sure. You play on Stream Deck? Uh, Steam Deck? How are those, by the way? I've always- I've always looked at them. They look cool, but... Oh man. We- Okay. Man, we were so close. We almost sold it all. All right, I want more gears. If we can get more gears, that'd be cool. And then we'll head back home, buy up some coffee. Any gears? I don't see any gears. Yuck. There's the hat shop. Maybe moggles. I would like moggles. That would be fun. If they have moggles, I'm buying them. No moggles. They do have a Tama Shanter. That's arguably way better than the Royal Crown. But. Like, eh, not necessary. Then you've got the flying pig shop. There's also the weapon shop, but never go there. Also the tinker tower. Both of those are just scams. Uh, you should paste links to the already finished streams, uploaded videos in the new... Yeah, that's what I want to do. I think I pasted a link for the event, and I did change the name to, uh, we're buying this knight armor. There's, there's a reason we're buying this, okay? There's a reason we're buying this, and it will become apparent in the next stream. I'm not going to give it away yet, though, so you guys have to come watch the next stream. Haha. <laughs> oh, great. Lovely. Well, we're heading home anyway, so not a big deal. I can bundle ice or store a stack of it in the ice box. True. Actually, yeah, duh. Of course. That makes a lot of sense. Sometimes I just don't think. Sometimes I'm just stupid. But it would make sense to just throw it in the uh, ice box. Yep, 
Yeah, T will spoil fast in the Apocalypse, but again, we could bundling wrap it if we absolutely need to. If we absolutely need to, that is. Because it probably isn't a crazy good use of the bundling wrap. Alright. Now we can make it home. There's going to be scorpions on the other side of this door because they're the best thing in the game. Wow, so cool. So cool. Welcome home. Let's go try to fight the Pugilus. I think that would be great. You'd prefer PC but don't have means to get your own. You're too used to the controls. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. But with the with the Steam Deck, doesn't it do uh, everything that the PC version does? We're going to lose some sanity, but who cares? I want to get there faster. Two stacks of both ice and coffee. That is a lot of coffee, though. That is a lot of coffee. It'd be hard to stack those up. Because coffee is expensive in Hamlet. It's not like absurdly expensive, but it, it'll get it'll get pricey if we start talking about stacks. It'll get kinda kinda pricey. A little pricey. That is. Alright, let's take out the Pugilus. Let's do this. After we sell our clippings, wherever the clipping lays. There she is. You know what, let's go ahead and get the last few clippings too, so we can get as much money as possible. Ow. Alright. Wonderful. We now have lots of money. Let's head over to the spa and hope that they're selling coffee. They are not. We'll just start taking healing salves until they do sell coffee. Lovely. I'll take all the healing items. In fact, I probably should take anti-venom. And... Uh, uh, maybe. You know, it might come in handy during the apocalypse. Who knows? Yes, we're spending all of our money. Um, I'll take blue cap, fine. I'll take another blue cap, fine. I'll take an Annie, but I'm fine. 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 Okay, dude, give me coffee. This is actually getting ridiculous. Okay, we have enough healing items forever now. There it is. Oh my goodness, that took way too long. As I said, coffee can get expensive. You can use an ice staff to put out fires on tents and siesta lean twos. Interesting. I did not know that. I'm actually going to buy these pomegranates. I need one meat. There we go. Perfect. Wonderful. We can make a fresh ham bat now. We're ready to fight the uh, Pugilus. I almost said we're ready to fight the Apocalypse. That is not the case. No siree. All right, we don't need this knight armor on us quite yet. That's going to be for something in the Apocalypse. It's going to be for something fun. We also don't need this royal crown on us right now. Okay. So far, so good. Nope, I almost cooked the meat. That would have been terrible. Alright, we'll also cook this pomegranate. It's a good healing item. And then we'll keep the blue caps on us. 
Beautiful. Oops, did not mean to grab the bundling wrap. We have lots of honey poultices, though. That'll be great when the time comes. Alright, we don't need a hammer. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason on controller, you can't put out things. It's because this the same button to put things out is also the interact button. So it, it's it's awful. It's terrible. It's so bad. But you know what? It's whatever. Let's eat a meat meatball. Oh, we don't have a meatball. Um Let's eat this leafy meat. Why not? All right? Literally no reason not to. We have tons of it. Might as well put it to use. My hunger is very low. Good thing I noticed that. <laughs> We're just gonna eat this leafy meat. I'm a I'm a big proud uh, non-food waster. Perfect. All right, we got our coffee. I think we're ready to take on the Pugilus. We already know how to get to the Pug uh, Pugilus Island. So that's not a big deal. We already know how to get to the Pugilus Island. I'll take a torch just in case things go bad. Uh, we'll take our, obviously, our extra stuff. Not our, We don't need the Mant suit. We'll keep the mant armor in here. Football helmets are the most important. Let's wear a much better football helmet. Our log suit, we could we could do with another log suit, honestly. Probably a great idea. You cannot use leafy meat in a crock pot. Leafy meat does not go in a crock pot. Very sad, I know. Did he just salute me and then chase me? I could just eat the blue, the two blue caps, keep me healthy, fully held, healed up. I don't need the eight healing salves, though. I'll definitely leave those back at home. We have to go back home anyway to make our log suit. There we go. Hey, you like my shipwreck guides, just saying. Well, that's good. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed them. Glad you enjoyed them. Yeah, you can't put leafy meat in a crock pot. In, at least in this version. Here, I'll, leave, I'll even go prove it. So I know I'm not crazy. I'll go prove it. I have to go back anyway, so. We'll walk in here, and... That can't go in there. So sad. So very sad. Alright. Let's go ahead and leave our healing selves here, too. All right, now we just need to make the log suit, and we'll be good to go, ready to go, fight the Pugilus. Log suit. Beautiful. Now we have two football helmets and two log suits. We're putting the log suits on after, so it doesn't matter that our football helmet's almost broken. It's actually going to be fine. It's going to be fine. All right. Well... Time to go.
it is time to go. So the Pugilus ruins are right there. I could give the leaf meats to the bird for the eggs, but... I already brought them with me. No need. Alright. Trying to get there as fast as possible. Hello, guard. Bye-bye, guard. Alright, Pugilus. And then it's just down and to the left. Or right, whatever that is. I have no clue. Uh, should we make... Oh, we can use the last two of our iron to make some shears. We can get more iron by mining the... The iron hulks. So that's not too bad. Oh, and there I go again. Yep. Fine. There's a wishing well. I would love if I could go through the... Through the doors. You realize you speak a lot in my streams and fill the chat. That is nothing to be ashamed of. I enjoy it. It's good having somebody to talk to instead of uh, talking to myself. So, I, I appreciate it, actually. I do appreciate it. Okay. Welcome to Pugilisk Island. I think we're going to need to build another boat, though. If it's anything like the last one... He's going to be on the other side of the lake. So, let's go ahead and do this. Dude, best best mob in the game alert. Holy moly. Best mob ever alert. Oh, do you see that? He tried to poison me. What a little stinker. What a little stinker. Alright, we need a log raft. Let's eat a raw egg. No, that'd be a waste of food right now. We'll eat a raw egg later. Alright, ham bat. And log raft. Let's get moving. Oh, there's a totem underneath the uh, water there. Oh, what? I made a log raft for nothing, I think. Whoops. <laughs> I made a log raft for nothing. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can make leafy greens and don't starve together, but wort doesn't count it as a vegetarian food. Interesting. Alright, you guys ready for this Pugilisk battle? This should be fun. Hold on, let's go drop our backpack a little bit, a little bit away. Wonderful. And we should be good to go. I don't see anything stopping us. I don't see anything stopping us. Yeah, pro gamer. Dude, I, I made a whole log raft to cross that lake, guys. <laughs> Let's fight the Pugilus. Come on out. Welcome. Oh, the poor Pog. Alright. Ow. Alright, we gotta drink this coffee. Hold on. There we go. Holy moly. Oh, there's the pink. We gotta go for the pink. I keep... I'm, like, way too late. Ow, stop biting me. Evil. Dude, I'm, like, wrapping him up against himself. Alright, should start doing the freezing attack any second now.
Oh, that's the head. <laughs> oh, here we go. Beautiful. Don't bite me. You're so evil. Oh. No. Oh, no. I... Yep. Yep, that happened. <laughs> I was too busy attacking him. Don't do it. Don't you dare do it. Oh, his tail hits you? That's so weird. We are getting a little close now. He's got to be... He's got to be feeling the pain. Ugh. Alright. Come on. Oh, no you don't. No you don't. Oh, I'm in a loop now. Oh, he's in trouble now. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Alright. Let's see. What did chat say while I was... What did, what did chat say while I was... Yeah, the tail can attack. I did learn that. I did just learn that. Awesome. Did we bring a shovel? I don't think we did, but we can make one. We can get the skull. That might help out in the... Apocalypse, because I know you can make like a freezing weapon with that. Right, we are so fast, dude. Wonderful. So, let's go ahead and just uh, let's eat the raw egg, and then we don't need the torch actually. Like we're fine without it. We don't need the bone shards either. Let's just start gathering some snake bones, dude. We are so fast. I thought I realized. No, the tail didn't attack me in the last stream. I think it did try to, but I I didn't get hit by it, so I thought it was just doing some strange animation. I thought it was just being weird. Wacky. Wacky and weird. It was spoiled fish? I don't need spoiled fish. Yeah, super easy. My goodness. Give me a challenge next time. My, my goodness. Just kidding. I would not like a challenge. I don't exactly know how tough the the Ancient Herald's going to be. I'm going to be honest. I have no clue how tough he's going to be. Okay, we don't need all of these bone shards. Alright. Looking good. Now we could bundle the... We could bundle up the water... We could bundle up the water right now and fight him again. But we only have one coffee and I'm afraid it'll wear off. So. Not worth it. However, we will make a shovel. And replace it with our axe so we can get the skull. Because the skull is cool. It can make a freezing weapon. I know that. Let's go ahead and drop the shovel. We don't need it. We don't need it. Other than the skull, we just don't need it. All right. Ancient thingy is weird because it can be super easy or really hard depending on what he summons. That's what I seem to have gotten from looking him up and everything. I tried to limit it though because I want to I want to experience the boss myself. I know he has like four different summons and his attack breaks everything around you. But yeah, I, I wanted to see it for myself. I want to I want to see what's going on for myself. Because I plan on making a boss's guide. And, you know, if I'm going to make a boss guide, I need to experience the bosses all by myself, too. So. I can't just make a boss guide and not have fought the bosses. That would be kind of stupid. But yeah, I plan on making a boss guide at some point. Oh, we got the Pugilist down. I'm... Yeah, the Pugilus is so easy. Pugilus is so easy. The head does a lot of damage, but like, most of the time you're fine. Like, most of the time, you, you can actually probably go through that fight without taking a single hit easily. 
Like, I know it's possible to take no hit from, like, all of the bosses, because I'm sure people do it. Oh, there we go. I did that. But, like, I feel like the Puglis is one of those ones that it's actually probably easy to not take any hits. Alright. Welcome back. Whoa, it's dark. I thought it was light. Whatever. Hello, pig friend. Can you imagine I just appear out of the darkness like Mach 10? Because I'm wearing a... Uh... Dude, Pog. Stop being gross. Alright, we're not going to sit here, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to eat these. Oh, well... Mr. Guard over there just started a forced fire. Cool. Can we make it to town? Oh, this guy finally calmed down. Oh wait, no, that's not the right that's not the right guy. This guy is the one who's mad at me. No, this guy is. Gulliver. And he's apparently sleeping on the job. If I bundle the water, it should respawn tomorrow. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do that right now. Because I, I can quaff it? That's so weird. Why would I quaff it? What is that supposed to mean? I don't get it. Gross. We'll just throw it down there. What we really wanted was the snake bones. These are the most important things. Because using these, we can make snake bone soup. Very good crockpot recipe. That allows us to utilize tons of monster meat. And then the Puglis skull. I know we can make something interesting using the Puglis skull. The only issue is, I think it might be in dark magic or whatever this is called. I think it might be in the dark tab, whatever you want to call it. Let me actually check. What does quaff mean? I have no clue, dude. Your clue, your, your guess is as good as mine. I have no clue what quaff means, and I don't think I'll be quaffing anything anytime soon. Uh, let's see, Puglis Staff, I think it's called. Puglis Staff. Yeah, I need a manipulator. Uh, that would be... That Puglis uh, wand would actually be really cool. Because it's like an ice staff. Except it's on a uh, timer. You can do you can use it as much as you want. It's just on a timer. So it's like, it's like a ham bat, but ice staff version. Which is really cool. Really cool. But you need a shadow manipulator. We do have a purple gem. We could we could make a shadow manipulator, guys. We could we could make a shadow manipulator. Hold on. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. We need to make a boomerang so we can harvest some pigeons. We've also got the bone shards. We already got all those. And we got the Puglis skull. Look at that. Goofy. We're not gonna make it yet because it spoils, but it'll be good to make during the apocalypse, because it could it could help us with the boss fight. That's for sure. Alright. We need to go get some trees chopped down. So, we're gonna go ahead and make an axe. To go chop down some trees. Alright. We'll leave some of our armor here, too. We don't need all of this armor on us. We didn't lose a single piece of armor. That's really cool. Alright. Let's get moving. Just don't queef it. Was that? 
Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh, boy. The Stone Queen. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I, I won't. I won't. But thanks for the warning. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. That's funny. Oh, best mob in the game alert. Wait, I have a ham bat. I'm dealing with this. Oh, get juked. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah. I say get juked and I got hit like three times. <laughs> We're chopping down the rainforest, guys. Oh, best mob in the game alert. Hey, do your sting so I know you're not going to do that for a, for a while. I hate this creature. So stupid. He doesn't even do that much damage. Like, it's, it's just annoying. <laughs> it's just annoying. Oh, almost got me with that, though. Oh, beautiful. Why is this one, like, only stinging? What a weirdo. Yeah, I know I need a speed boost, but I also don't want to get poisoned. I don't want to get envenomated. So that's why I try to dodge them. I'm not going to I'm not going to risk getting envenomated because then I that's a whole issue that I have to deal with. Oh, spooky. Uh 10% that can cut down a medium tree, I believe. Let's see. Just imagine. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh, man. That's... That's funny. Alright, we got lots of logs now. Like, we're, we're good. We could go eat some lotus, though, so that we can uh, get our sanity back. I think that would be a good idea. I think that would be a wonderful idea. And then if we can start stockpiling coffee, I wouldn't mind putting those in a bundling wrap for the apocalypse. I would not mind that. All right. Um, let's see. What was I doing? I lost track. Oh yeah, boomerang. So that we can make the shadow manipulator. But we also need lots of boards. So let's actually just make a ton of boards. Okay, hopefully we can do this in one boomerang. Because that's all we have the ability to make. Unless we go cut down some spider trees. But... A little bit riskier. Alright, let's cook some of these lotus. Cooking and eating some of the lotus. That's what I was doing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I finally remembered. Those stupid little hands. And sanity up. Boom. Absolutely perfect. Alright. Let's go take care of some pigeons. Wherever they may be. 
Yes, give me your money. Thank you. Also, give me your money. Cool. Hey, you want to give me your money? That's cool. Alright. Pigeon, you want to... Oh. Hey! Whoa, guard! I'm being assaulted! <clears throat> you're not getting away with this. Maybe you're getting away with this. You know what? I don't, I don't care. I don't have the time for this. Goodbye. Nice! Right off the bat, one feather. Can we go for two? This is like the perfect pigeon spot. Except a crow? 19 days until the apocalypse. That is true! Oh, there's a red bird. Okay, maybe we, maybe we should go deeper in the city. There we go. No, not a morsel. I didn't want that. I didn't want a morsel. I want pigeons, please. Pigeons. We'll just wait. Dude, Edmund? Oh, give me these. Ah, there they are. There's my friendly neighborhood pigeons. And they gave me a morsel. They're no longer my friends. No longer my friends. You think you know what happened to the Krampus in my summer only stream? I think I know too, actually. I, I'm pretty sure I pan fluted him when he was going into his sack. Because I rewatched it when I was editing. And I'm pretty sure that's what happened. There we go. Come on. We just need two more. Two more. We have 50% left, and we need two more. If we don't get the... Yeah, thanks. Give me your money. I guessed it. <laughs> I did guess it. Yeah, I, I saw it when I was editing the uh, 100 Days of Summer video, which I'm making good progress on. I'm almost certain that it'll be out by this Friday. So, that should be fun. That should be very fun. And then after that, uh, depending on how that video do does, what do I need for the manipulator on Hamlet? It's the same for the manipulator. It's different for the Prestahatitator. So the Prestahatitator is... Hold on. It takes white feathers instead of rabbits that the prestahatitator is the only different one oh stupid fine give me feathers i need oh pigeons yes stay away from my pigeons stay away from them no he had the invincibility frames You guys like a uh, pigeon extermination simulator here? Ow! Also, me extermination simulator? I pressed the button, but whatever. We got one fe- Oh, dude. We just need to get one more feather. One more. One more. Come on. One more. One more. Oh, here we go. This is it. This is it. I feel it in this one. And of course, I pressed the button, but I my I was yeah okay whatever, whatever I'm done, I'm done I'm so done. I'm gonna. Burr. Hello, welcome to the stream. From Angola, Africa. I'm, am I saying that right? I hope I'm saying that right. Welcome. All right, we gotta go make another axe then. So annoying. We we'll also have to go down to get some more spider silk. Yuck, dude. Mm. Yuck, I'm so mad. Hey, is this guy still mad at me? 
is. How long do they take before they stop being mad at you? Is it permanent? I feel like it's permanent. I feel like it's permanent. Alright, let's go to the jungle. We'll cut down some of the cocoon trees. We also need more sticks. We're actually running out of sticks. That's something that is uh, an issue. Dude, best mob in the game alert. I swear, every time. Every time. Alright. Oh, beautiful. This is a three tier cocoon tree. it until you yeah that's what i assumed because otherwise it'd be way too easy because then you could just steal stuff and then let the guards forget about it and then you know makes sense that they made it like that so that you couldn't cheese too hard sure they don't want too much cheese going on Oh, dude, best, best thing in the game. Absolute best. Stop with the stinging and whatnot. Pro gamer. Yeah, I am a pro gamer. I'm so good at fighting scorpions. Oh, see? Almost got, almost got stung, dude. That would have been nuts. I would have been very upset. It's a full moon. That's fun. 25. I think I can get one large tree and then one medium tree. Okay, viper, I'm I'm happy with that. I'll deal with a viper. Yeah, one medium tree. Beautiful. All right, now we have enough boards and silk to finally get the last feather that we need. I just walked into the water. You can bribe the guards? Really? That's interesting. I actually didn't know that. I actually did not know you could bribe them. Alright, vampire bats. You want to wreck havoc on this guard that hates me? I think that would be cool. Ow. I hate the battleisk AI. Gotta be the worst AI. The whole uh, fly around you thing is awful. Uh... So the silk monkeys and scorpions replace the spiders. Are these trees you're chopping renewable silk? Okay. So actually, I just learned this recently myself. The the uh, spider monkeys, they actually... The cocoon trees are not tied to them at all. Like, they don't spawn out of the co cocoon trees or anything. They create the cocoon trees. However... They respawn like beefalo. So they, they reproduce like beefalo. They don't actually go into their nest. So the cocoon trees are a byproduct of the spider monkeys. But it's not the other way around. So yeah. Interesting, huh? So if you you could technically make spider monkeys go extinct on your game. Oh, really? First? Okay. Whatever. Of course, it was the first one that gave me the, uh... Alright, let's make the port Pocus Porkatator. We'll leave it outside for now, since we'll make the Shadow Manipulator and put it inside. We need living logs. We'll have to head over to the Palace Island. We'll also have to go insane. So I hope you guys are ready for some insane gameplay. Because that's always a treat. That's always a real big treat. Okay, um, 
let's go ahead and drop the silk here. We could feed our bird. We're gonna just eat this jerky, honestly. Just to free up some room. I need to throw another one of these stocking sticks on the drying rack and we'll take this one. Nope, I went through my door. I went through my door. Let's drop this night armor. We don't need that yet. Yet. That's the key word. Yet. Alright. And then we'll throw the poop in here. I'm actually going to throw this football helmet outside. It's too low for my liking now. We'll come back inside. We will go over here. Grab our 100%. That is not 100%. Grab our 100%er. And then make our way. How much nightmare fuel do I have laying on the ground? I only have two. I only have two. So not a lot. Not a lot. I do need to head over to the Palace Island anyway, so that I can get, um, whatchamacallit, the living logs. So we're going to head over to Palace Island first. We have the purple gem, but past the purple gem, not much else. <laughs> oh, dude, leave me alone, Palmerston. It is raining. Oh, is it humid season tomorrow? That might be annoying. I have I have not been paying attention to the timeline. I should probably go get my fifth hat. I have not been paying attention to the timeline. A humid season breakout could be annoying. For sure. Especially because I don't have my pith hat on me. I will take this light bulb, though. Oh, wait, no. It's not humid season tomorrow because glow flies. Lots of glow flies. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. I kind of want... There we go. Give me some more light bulbs, please. This is so evil, I know, but I need the light bulbs. One more, maybe? Nah, we're, we're good. We're good. Okay. Um, Let us head to Palace Island. We got really unlucky with the Palace Island spot because it happens to be the farthest place from Swinesbury. Krampus is very mad. I don't mind fighting Krampus. I'll be very mad if I get a sack, though. Oh, I almost just got shot. <laughs> Dude, I'm just walking. Oh, for real? Whatever. Alright, we gotta go this way. Then we have to cut through this. Let's see if I can remember the uh, pathway. Through memory. I did. I did. I remembered. Okay. Dude, a million glow flies. Holy moly. Yeah, it's definitely humid season soon, though. Perfect. I think we spawned Krampus. I think. Either way, I want to fight these guys now. Oh, I forgot. They retreat home. Okay, hold up. These guys are like the bunny men. There we go. Nice. We got him. 
I'm surprised when you take one down, it knocks out the other mandrakes, but not you. That's weird to me. Did we spawn a Krampus? Yeah, we did. Grab a sack? Nope. Look, I'm sorry about this, Mr. Mandrake. I apologize for the inconvenience. But I need the living logs. I need the living logs. Imagine somebody getting mad when he gets a Krampus sack. Look, look, I would be mad because we didn't get the Krampus sack in the summer one. When we were actually trying to get the Krampus sack. So, that's why I would be mad. Alright, I guess it's time to head home then. We just need nightmare fuel now. We just need nightmare fuel. That's all we need. So let's let's head out. Best mob in the game, by the way. Just thought I'd let you guys know. All right. Definitely got to be humid season soon, right? Like, for sure, for sure, got to be humid season soon. Will I do another Reign of Giants challenge vid, like, any time in, in the future? Uh, yes. Yes, I probably will. I probably will. There's still a lot of uh, challenge ideas that are in Reign of Giants. So, I, I, I still will be doing Reign of Giants stuff. I still will be doing Reign of Giants stuff. There are some shipwrecked and Hamlet challenges that I was thinking of doing. I mean, technically you could consider this a Hamlet challenge. Because I'm going to be, uh, I'm gathering up what I can, and then tomorrow, I'm just going to see how long I can survive in the apocalypse. So. Yeah. Technically, you could count it as a challenge, although it's not, like, structured like one, so. Somebody should make a tally counter. Go ahead, dude. It's probably going to reach millions by the end of this. I hate those scorpions. Hate them. Hate them with a passion. And yes, I know spider warriors and shipwrecked are worse. But like, come on. Spider warriors and shipwrecked don't need to be fought. Scorpions are everywhere. Okay. Well, it's time to go insane, everybody. And you know the best way to go insane? Digging through poop. So let's go do that. Let's see. Do we have any nearby? Probably some over here. There's got to be some over here. Or getting gnats on us would also be a good way to go insane. Um... Let's see, let's see. Let's see. If I do another Reign of Giants challenge, I you hope I use Glomer? Oh, don't worry. I, I will use the method. I will use the method. If we if we run out of things to do, that is. Like, if, if it's like the summer challenge where we eventually run out of things to do then I will definitely be doing that. Sorry, dung beetle. 
He'll forgive me. Eventually. Alright, we could also try to get, like, bean bugs and stuff. Oh, I picked flowers. That raises sanity, guys. Don't pick flowers if you want to lose sanity, by the way. Not advised. I can use raw green mushrooms. Oh, true. True, true. Okay, let's head to the let's head to the spa. That's like a super fast way to do it. Thank you. That is like a super fast way to do it. Okay, let's head to the spa. Good chance that she's selling green mushrooms. Or blue mushrooms too. I know those reduce your sanity. But green mushrooms are definitely the best to do it. I totally forgot she sells those. Yes. Alright, we got blue Ooh, tons of coffee. Hold up. Hold the phone. Alright, we have to leave and come back. Well, this is a unfortunate event. I actually ran out of money. But we did get coffee, so like that was kind of worth it. We need to get more money now. Let's get more money. Let's gather some more funds. Owie. Oh, we ran out of iron. Of course we did. Why wouldn't we? Well, time to have some fun. Time to have some fun. Alright, we need a golden pickaxe. That's going to be the only way to make this worth it. It's going to be the only way to make this worth it. And let's take a trip down to the... Hey, go away, dude. I'm about to just take this guy out just because he's so annoying. So annoying. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Four, four. Oh, I could have gotten more in there, but... You gonna do another one? No? I'll take the light bulb, though. Do another one. I wish I could mine you. There we go. Oh, lovely. Do another one? No? Another one? No? Let's get you away from this iron, please. Alright, do, do it. Wonderful. Oh, four. I've never seen him do four. Interesting. All right. Wonderful. Uh, told you to use green mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. Definitely would have helped out. Well, we got lots of iron now. We can make plenty of shears. Plenty of shears. Which should equal plenty of money. Should equal plenty of money. We could head over to... Palace City to get even more money because uh, of the hedges there. We could do that. I don't know if getting the key to the city allows us to build hedges. That would be very awesome if it did, but 
not 100% sure if it does or not. Alright. Let's hop inside. Let's go throw these coffee beans away for now. We got 28 more points. Uh, we're going to need to grab our pith hat. Humid season is almost here for sure. Robin, hold this for me. I know it's gross, but like, you're, you're a good bird. You're a good bird. All right, we've got plenty of overgrown hedges up here. Yes, we do. Yeah, we might need to head to Swine, or not, we are, we are in Swinesbury. We might need to head to Palace City. Might need to head to Palace City. Glomer Goop gives, yeah, and Glomer Goop is super easy to farm up too, if you use that uh that Krampus method, because that is that is definitely one of the best ways. Hey, I'm going hungry. Whoopsies. I forgot to eat, guys. I forgot to take an eating break. Let's go see what we got on the menu. Uh, we've got some monster meat and some eggs we can make some meatballs meatballs are on the menu guys we can make more eggs with our bird too in fact we're probably gonna do that because this monster meat's going bad a little bit so let's head over here let's go ahead and throw some grass on the fire i just threw a why was that noise i didn't know you when you burn living logs they make noises okay I accidentally burnt the living log, but who cares? Not like it's too necessary anyway. Alright. We can feed this to our bird to get some more eggs. And then... We will just simply pop the rest back in here. And take the eggs. And I am starving to death, guys. I am starving in a game called Don't Starve. And I can't pick up anything because I'm so stupid. And lack proper controls. Dude, I want to pick up the meatballs. Thank you. Alright. Wonderful. Alright, we should be able to survive the trip over to Palace Island. That's the key, is should be. We have our pith hat just in case it switches seasons before we manage to get there. Oh, first we'll sell some of these. Yes, living logs make a scream each time. I, I never knew that because I never burned them. Because, like, they're normally, like, you got to be kidding me. I wasn't even paying attention, dude. Dude, you've got to be joking me. All right, he's stuck. Guard, you better stop taking my stuff or I'm, I'm annihilating this entire town if you keep taking my stuff, dude. I'm blowing this town up if you keep taking my stuff, bro. That is ridiculous. That is... I wasn't even paying attention. All right, this better give us money. I'm burning this town to the ground. <laughs> I'm bringing the Ancient Herald here to stomp every building when we get to the Apocalypse. Spe hold on, let's get, a, let's get his name. Let's get his name. What is his name? What is this guard's name? Alright, what's your name? Uh, Thames? It's over for you, dude. I'm making sure he is taken out. I'm hoping he is taken out. By the ancient herald. Oh, you gotta be. Oh, you're done. I'm not. I'm not, not dealing with this right now. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's so over for you. You caught me in a bad mood. Normally, I don't care. Is 
this the average Weber experience? Ugh, annoying. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. That was very annoying. <laughs> Dude. That was like the one time one of those guys have actually sneaked up on me. That was the one time. All right, you know what? I'm stealing everything here, too. Just just out of spite. Just out of spite, dude. And you know what? You know what? This farmer didn't do anything. But he's part of this... He's part of this little... He's part of this little thing here. George? 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 No, I'm gonna let him live. He did nothing wrong. It was the guard. The guard was the corrupt one. What is that guard's problem? I took a pitchfork, and suddenly I deserve the death sentence for that. <laughs> Alright, I'm stealing everything here. I should grab the executive hammer and just demolish his house. Actually. I, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna demolish that guard thing. Hold on. I'm demolished. We're on a side quest now. I was going to swine or uh this town has has uh treated me wrong. Things are going to things are going to change around here. Where's Thames? Thames? Oh, Thames is on the list. Thames is on the list. Where is my uh what you call it? Oh, I can't sell anything because yeah, of course. All right, wonderful. All right. All right, that that pig guard's house is getting demolished. It's over. I have I've have given him too much too much respect, and this is what he does. Goodbye. Oh, now Merit wants to come out here? Huh? Dude, what is being eaten here? Pog, what are you eating? What did the Pog just eat? Pig skin? Oh no, we actually could have used that. That sucks. The Pog's next. Dude, I'm sick of this. I'm going on a rampage. Alright, my football helmet's actually getting low. I'm going to make a new one before I take lethal damage. I'm also going to go ahead and do this. Guys, don't worry. It's a tactical retreat. I'm not actually retreating. I need a rope. I need a rope. I, I haven't learned how to make a rope yet? You're joking. I haven't learned how to make a rope yet? What kind of... Uh, the battle axe, I don't find it better than a uh, ham bat, to be honest. Ham bat is definitely my go-to weapon when it comes to this type of stuff. Even though it's probably only as good as a spear right now. So, there's that. Merit, what are you doing now? Just sleeping on the floor? Annoying. Oh, yes. Come on, please. Please, chase me. Please. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Alright. I am probably going to use the halberd here, though, because that is arguably better than... Really? I pit... Ah, oh, dude. I'm making everybody mad. I'm just going to have to exterminate every guard, like, within a five-mile radius, I think. Like, actually. Alright, 
Come on. Are you shit? Yeah. I made him mad too, dude. I can't catch a break. Where are there not pig guards? It's Thames! Okay, I'm gonna enjoy that. But first, I gotta take out Merit. I gotta take out Merit first, so. Look, I will, I will bring you into the wild, Merit. Goodbye. Goodbye, Merit. All right, Thames number two. Tames number two. Didn't I say I need raw green mushrooms? Yes, but I'm on a side quest right now. To annihilate all of the pig guards. Hey, Tames, how's it going? You mad at me, bro? You mad? Wait. Oh, does he not care? What? Okay. Well, I'm not going to fight him if I don't have to. All right, who else is mad at me? Who wants a piece? Who else is mad at me? Are you mad at me? Let's see. Okay. I guess not. Weird. They're acting very weird. Uh, no, I didn't make rope for the bundling wrap. Remember, I, I had rope ready to go. I had rope. So that's why I haven't learned it yet. Robin, here, hold this for me. Um, yeah, I need to find the place to sell these. Here you go. Okay. 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 Oh, I thought he was mad at me now. Oh, it's all anti-venom still. Yeah, I had lots of rope on me because I used shears on the vines a lot. So that's why I had a lot of rope on me. We still gotta go insane. I need green caps. We can go to the poison forest. We can go to the poison forest. That has a lot of green caps, actually. And I mean, I could just dig them up. Eh. Not smart, but... Eh. but yeah, let, let's make a gas mask. We'll go to the poison forest. It's a good place to find... Uh, Good place to find I need my feathers too. I have lots of feathers. There we go. Boom and boom. Now let's head over to the poison rainforest and get our green caps. Getting poison can lower your sanity. I also don't want to be poisoned though, so. That's that's uh, the issue with that idea. Are any of you guys mad at me? You're mad at me? Oh, yeah, I forgot. You are mad at me. I mean, if you want to follow me out into the jungle, I'll, I'll, I'll handle this. Why, why not? Come, my friend. Let's, let's, let's take a walk, Larkin. Let's take a walk, Larkin. Come on. Come on. Let, let's go. Let's go. Alright, yeah. Come on. Come on. Why, why don't you want to fight me? Come on. Oh. Goodbye, Larkin. Good riddance, dude. We have so many halberds now. <laughs> Uh, per a scorpion po dropped a poison grand. N I yeah, the thing is, I also don't want to get poisoned because that'll lower my health significantly. And I know I have healing items, but like I also don't want to use my healing items. I'd prefer to keep them if possible. We'll drop. We'll just drop some halberds every now and then. They'll be useful in the apocalypse because we'll probably be running around like crazy during the apocalypse. So we're also gonna need to eat some asparagus. All right, 
this is the wrong way, maybe? No. No, we're good. We're good. Dude, I was so focused there. I I was done with that town, dude. That was that was the final straw. That was the final straw. I'll eat some radishes. Do radishes and asparagus respawn? I feel like they do. Like, I, I keep seeing new radishes and whatnot. Alright. Welcome to the poisonous rainforest. We could find the apocalypse calendar, but I also don't want to reset it. Maybe that'll be our challenge if we survive, like, long enough. Maybe we'll reset it if we survive long enough. Who knows? Might be fun. Might be fun. But I want to see how long I can survive. Halberds are stronger than ham bats during the apocalypse. That is true. That is true. Ham is probably going to be better for actually eating. Also, we don't have armor on. We got to be careful. We can't take damage like it's nothing. Oh. Oh, no. Actually, this might be bad. Um... I'm retreating into the caves for a second. I'm retreating into the caves for a second. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get ready for that. Um, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna watch chat for a little bit, and we're just gonna act like we're not in danger here. We're just, we're just gonna chill in the ruins, guys. Um, who's your next pick for character after Wilson? Um. If you're asking personal preference, I actually really enjoy playing as Wheeler. Wheeler is probably one of the more fun characters that exist in the game. Because you can, you can dodge, so it allows you to actually move around without armor. Because you can actually, there's, there's like a, a dodging mechanic, it's really fun. And then she has the pneumatic horn. Uh, what's going on? Why am I here now? Because, uh, issues, that's why. Also, these guys are going to be very annoying, because I'm not going to be able to stop them. Actually, I might be able to stop him if I put on my light. No. I'm actually literally not able to stop him. I'll just have to stand here. Okay. Here's the play. Here's the play. We're going to have to... We're going to have to, like, switch. Wheeler can still get hit when she dodges. No, she can't. She she can get hit and lose armor, but she can't take damage while she dodges. She can't take damage while she dodges. Okay. I don't know what ruins this is, actually. All right, let's... Uh, oh, this is the pheromone stone, I think. Oh, bad attack. Yeah, of course. Why, why, why not, right? Why not? Um. Okay. I have to think of the way out of here. The only way I can think of is just to wait it out. You take a lot of damage walking through the poison forest, and that is a long stretch of poison forest. All right, we're going to retreat back down for a second. Just a sec. Just a sec. We've got we've got food. We could wait it out. We've got food. And we could technically just go to the other side of this ruins. I think... No way. No way that that just happened. Uh, do I have poop? No. I... Yeah. Yeah, that just happened. That's cool. 
<laughs> I love this game, dude. It's so funny. It's so funny. What's on the other side of this door? If this is the pheromone stone, though, then there is no exit. Oh, best mob in the game, by the way. Best mob in the game, by the way. Oh, best mob in the game, by the way. This, this is very silly. This, this is becoming very silly. Realistically, the... Oh, dude. Losing the stalking stick is so stupid. Like, that was so stupid of me. Of course it can burn. It's made of wood. Of course it can burn. I want to keep the meat for a ham bat, but I also don't need a ham bat because we have so many halberds. It's like... We have so many halberds. You've actually been keeping count of how many times I've been saying that? Because if so, that's funny. Alright. Alright, let, let's, let's head up and check what's going on up there. Absolutely not. <laughs> Ah, okay. I, I'm in a little bit of a pickle. I'm in a little bit of a pickle. I'm in a little bit of a pickle. Okay, let's think about this. It's got to end at some point, right? Right? You know, I'm just going to start making... I'm just going to eat these. Look, we're, we're, we're hungry. It's an emergency. We're in survival mode. Alright, that's all the hunger we have. How far am I in for the scripts of characters for the character guide video? I have finished Wilson's script. I have finished Willow's script. I'm working on... Wolfgang's script. I'm going along the list that the wiki has uh, because that's where I'm getting my um, images from. Not my info. I'm actually uh, test running. You actually probably saw I had Willow on Hamlet. I'm actually test running all of the characters so I can get all of my information correct because the wiki lies a lot. So... Yeah, I'm doing... Each character's getting their own video. Each character's getting their own video. Alright, are we clear yet? No. No, we are not. Guys, how long does the first humid season last? Like a year and a half? How long does the first humid season last? What? It should be gone by now. It should be gone by now. I'm so confused. Of course we decided to go to the poison rainforest. Why do, Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? Why not? What's going on? Why not get out? We're in the middle of the poison rainforest. And uh, the gas mask does not count as a pith hat. So, I will be too slow to get away from all the bats that are chasing me. And also, the gas mask counts as no armor. Which is... Also dangerous and deadly. And I'm pretty sure you lose health really rapidly in the gas rainforest. I can go test it out now, but like, I'm bit by the bats. Okay, we can try. We can try. We're going to start taking damage. It 
it's it's insane. Um We might make it. We might make it. We made 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 it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a spooky moment. What a spooky moment. I would like to heal a little bit. I would love to heal a little bit. Dude, this was just supposed to be like a chill stream, and this stuff haven't happened. It's kind of nuts. Anyways, love this game. <laughs> Alright, we're good. What a spooky moment. Don't know how I got out of that one, but we got out of it. We got out of it. No way the weevil hit me. Gross, little guy. Of course, leave it to Don't Starve to give me a comedically timed bat attack. Hey, you want to help me with this? I kind of just went through the scariest moment of my life. I'm going to need a minute back at a uh, town. We did survive, though. We did survive. We did survive. Again. If you ask me what's the worst season in human or what's the worst season in Hamlet, it's got to be humid season. This season sucks. Being limited to what you can wear is just awful. It's awful. I just got annihilated. All right. Let's actually heal up a little bit. I'm actually just going to use all of these. Mosquito sacks are actually very bad at healing, I'm realizing. My goodness. Why is it so dark? All right. Welcome home. <laughs> we got a grand total of five green caps from that. And almost died. So was it worth it? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Well, we're we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Oh, I just realized this is this is another long stream. I, I just realized how long I've been streaming for. It's times like these that make it fun. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But that was also freaky. That was also freaky. Okay. Okay. I don't know how long this first humid thing lasts. Like it feels like. It's been a day. This this rainstorm has lasted a day. That's kind of nuts, right? All right? I'm not getting robbed again. Yeah, go away. Go away. We also lost a stocking stick. All right. Let's go ahead and make sure that we can go sane again if we need to, which, yes, we can. Okay, I think it's time for insanity moment. Once the uh, fog clears, that is, we will, we will go insane. We will go insane. What was I looking for? Oh, we need to make food. Let's make meatballs. All right. Wonderful. Meatballs should keep us going for the fight. That's my bird. I look forward to character guide. That's good. Hopefully uh, you guys like them. I'm I'm done with the scripts. I just need to do the voiceovering. And then I got to get, get the footage. Oh yeah, you can see a map of your house, by the way. Isn't that cool? Then I need to get the footage and whatnot. What's up with the blossom roll you gave us in the Discord? Uh, it's supposed to be like on theme. If you if you look at the parentheses, it it's supposed to mean like early sub. It's 
a blossom's like a lotus, like a lotus blossom. If that makes sense, like the flower. It's on theme branding. If this could, okay, thank you. Oh my goodness. All right, it is time to go insane. We'll be wet too, so that'll make it even fun. We'll, we'll have lots of fun, I'm sure. All right, bye-bye sanity. Where are you at? Where are you at? I'm waiting. I like this turf too, it's so bright. I like this turf. There we go. All right, let's get some nightmare fuel. One. Oh, yes, terror beak. Come here. Even though for some reason it's called nightmare beak. I think it's both. It's weird. Because everybody calls them terror beaks. I knew I wasn't crazy for calling them terror beaks. But in the game, they're called Nightmare Beaks for some reason. Which is weird. There we go. Uh, we did go back to Sane, unfortunately. But we're wet, so we hopefully will drop back down quickly. A note about Windy is it takes Abigail three days to be ready. Yeah, and that's based on what her flower looks like. I think Windy's a really good character um, if you don't want to do a lot of fighting. Obviously, you'll have to fight bosses, but Abigail can handle pretty much everything except bosses. She's actually overpowered. <laughs> Abigail's kind of nuts. There we go. Right. Let me see if I can talk to chat while doing this. You think the role is very spot on? Yeah. I wanted to give you guys, like, uh, all of you people who subscribed early and joined the Discord, a nice flair. And if any of you guys don't have Discord and eventually get it, just let me know. I will remember your, your uh, YouTube names, and I'll give you the flair. But that's for before we reach, you know, like, maybe... 30 members on the Discord or something. And then everybody else who subscribed early, or at least that I'm seeing now on the thing. It takes 50 sanity away from Windy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I know about all the sanity modifiers. I'm doing replays with all the characters right now. I was going to stream it, but I feel like I feel like that would be like a lot to put on you guys at once. Like I'd be streaming a lot if I did that. And that's not a bad thing, but like it would also just be me like testing the characters out. So there's no like story. I'm just testing the characters out, seeing everything they can do. And that guy just disappeared. But yeah, in the background, I'm up to... Oh, come on. Annoying. Well, we're going to have to retreat to our house because I don't want to get terror-beaked while I'm not wearing armor. Don't want to get terror-beaked. All right, let's do this. I mean, I can stream it if you guys want to watch it. I can definitely stream it. Just know that it won't be, uh, it won't be segment. Like, it, we're going to be, like, changing characters a lot. 
And, uh, okay, fighting them in here is a little more dangerous, especially because I have a messy room. I also don't know how to... Yeah. We can still do it, though. Especially a terror beak. They move so fast. This is this is making me dizzy. There we go. That's eight nightmare fuel. We have enough now. We have enough. Dude, he's in my walls. I have demons in my walls. This is making me dizzy. We have enough to make the... Oh, hello. Oh, never mind. We have enough. We have enough. Which means we'll be able to make the Pugilisk Wand when we absolutely need to. Let's also go ahead and just... Uh, let's make, like, another room for this. We'll give it, like, a fancy doorway and everything. Look at this. Like, we'll give it this thing. Boom. We'll have to go buy another... We need to make more money. <laughs> We need to make more money. Uh. There used to be a bug where if you went into your house and into your second room, it would make the fog go away. Let's check. Here, I'll be able to tell if I put this on and off. Ah. Uh, I think it got patched. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed. Alright, let's go to... Oh, it's a good thing I have a... <laughs> it's a good thing I have a lightning rod. We should probably head to Palace City, I think. We're still quite insane, but like... We need money. We need money. No, the Pugilisk Freezing Staff just decays. Like, it has a spoil timer. The Pugilisk Freezing Staff has a spoil timer. I could technically bundle wrap it to save it for later. But... I should probably go grab a... Dude, I am wet. This is unfortunate. Actually, let's go ahead and make the shadow manipulator now so that we can leave the rest of the stuff at home. All right, let's, let's leave the rest of this out. Actually, we can leave the gas mask. Okay. Let's dry off a little bit, even though it won't last long. <laughs> It'll also spoil faster because of the apocalypse, I'm pretty sure. Which sucks, but yeah, we'll still have fun with it. We'll still have fun with it. I'm sure it'll be useful. I feel like if I stream, it's better so I can get get more info. True, true. Maybe I'll maybe I'll just uh I'll do a long stream of me switching through the characters. We'll play like a few days of them and then switch to the next one and you know all of that. I also need to do a stream where I unlock Wes. I don't have Wes unlocked, unfortunately. So that's gonna be that's gonna be an issue for sure. Oh, don't worry. I'm not gonna be giving any misinformation. I'm doing extensive testing. I had to play as Will or yeah, Willow, dude. Awful, awful character. I hate Willow. <laughs> but I can understand how she could be useful, so. I didn't, I, I tried to be nice to her in my script. I'll, I'll just say that. I'll, I tried to be nice. But I hate playing as Willow. Hate it.
We're a little insane, but that doesn't matter. More mon or more nightmare fuel doesn't hurt. Whoa! What's up? Oh. Oh. Um. Hold on. We can we can fix this. We can fix this. Come on, I just saw you guys blooming. I know you want to. Yeah, look at that. Not like we need them, but hey, cool, right? Okay, let's not get soaked ourselves, though. They should be wet enough. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, you should also say how many days you need to survive and how much XP you need to unlock each character that is locked behind XP. True. That is actually... A, I didn't think about that. It's a good thing I haven't voiceovered yet. I can still change the scripts, so... I'm probably going to include that. Because that is probably important. I forgot about that because it's been so long since I've unlocked a character. Because, you know, I unlocked them all already. But that is that is good information. She has spells and don't starve together. They have spells? What? I know her lighter has durability and don't starve together, but doesn't have durability and alone. She has spells? <laughs> what kind of nonsense is that? There's a lot I don't know about Don't Starve Together. A lot. Oh, come on, dude. I am so good at this ruins thing. Hey, best mob in the game, by the way. Is that the right way? Yeah. I just unlocked Wilba. Yes, I did. I did. Because I've never fought the uh, Queen Womamp before. So, I just unlocked her. I fought the uh, Queen Woman again today, and the Pugilis, and my goodness, is the Queen Woman so easy. Like, unbelievably easy. It was actually kind of, uh, kind of funny. Like, I'm pretty sure we took the Queen Woman out without getting hit, like, that much at all. That was loud. Yeah, to unlock them, you need it to be... You have to enable the DLC. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to add stuff about that. Could also talk about what instrument each character uses. True. Just some fun, like, you know, non-important facts, maybe. That could be fun. That could be fun. I'm also working on my very first... Okay. 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 It's going to be my very first one of these projects. It's it's a large project. I'm working on a tier list. Okay? And I have like a... It's like a 20,000 character long script wrote out for one. That I still haven't voiceovered yet. But hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm not going to... I'm not going to tell you guys what it's about yet. I'm, I'm going to tell you guys when it releases. Don't worry. But it's going to be my first tier list. And it should hopefully be fun. Since I know uh, YouTube loves tier lists for some reason. Like a lot. Alright, let's make some money. We don't have long until money becomes useless, though. So, <laughs> we don't have long until that. It's a good thing iron is easily renewable. Ooh. 
Woody, you believe he uses a cello? Interesting. I actually don't know the, uh, I don't know what all of them use either. I'd have to look into it. Am I able to do memberships on my channel yet? I, I am. I am. I'm still going through the approval process, though. I'm still going through the approval process. So, eventually I'll be able to do memberships. Does that mean I'm going to lock any of my content behind paywalls, though? No, absolutely not. I believe YouTube should be a free website. And that is what it should be. So I will not be locking any of my content behind paywalls. Because that's stupid. Alright. Let's make some money. Where is my shopkeep? Where is my shopkeep? Wendy uses the flute. Yeah, I can barely hear Wendy's. When I when I play as Wendy, a uh, Wendy's guys, I'm talking about the restaurant now. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, I can barely hear her when she like talks. Her character voice is so silent. Well, that's nice. That's very nice of you. Hopefully I get it soon. I'm not sure how long the approval process takes. Hey, that house is on fire. But that's very nice of you. All right, we have 60 coins, 60 coins. And yes, I can use, I can use oinks in the wishing well. That is, although I think gold is better in the wishing well. Because that has the highest chance to heal. So we might want to, whatever oinks we have left, if we don't want to buy like coffee and healing stuff, we should buy gold to throw in the well. I think that would be an okay idea. Ugh, dude, we're insane. This is okay. Wendy is 8 to 10 years old. And Wilson is 31 years old. Wilson's 31? Look at that face, by the way. Uh, is that normal, guys? Like... Look, look look at his face on the on the map. <laughs> Is that normal? I I don't know. I I've had that for a while. I've had that for a while. House is burned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the house was burning kind of crazy. I agree with that statement. The house is burning. Anything fun in the hat shop? Tama Shanter, Cat Cap. Feather hats, we can go Krampus farming. Pfft, no. Absolutely not. Krampus farming in Hamlet is just waiting for a full moon and then putting bug spray on one of the uh, tropical flowers. Dude, that would be insane. Yeah, he really is a fountain of knowledge. He's just... He's just like, he comes in these streams and then just like becomes the master of Don't Starve. Very awesome. I enjoy learning more about the game. Actually, when we when we end the stream, I'll probably I'll probably show you guys how many hours I have on this game. I'll probably show you guys how many hours. Ow. I have quite a few on the Xbox version. PC version, I don't have that many, but that's because I... I don't, uh... I don't play it a lot. I should play it more, but since I started recording, I have been playing it on my Xbox. Once I get a dual monitor, though, it's happening. We're getting some, some PC content. <laughs> 
I just need a dual monitor. And then I'll be good to go. Hello, Pogs. Actually, I'm going to take some aloe. I could use some aloe. Thank you. Okay. Oh, this could be money. I want this money. You know what? We could go back to the uh, Pugilisk Island. There was a lot of ruins over in the Pugilisk Island. We should totally go to the Pugilisk Island. How many times did I just say Pugilisk Island? Ah! Jump scare! Spooky. Okay, are you guys sick of being insane yet? Because I think I am. I think we should go home and eat our lotuses. And then we'll go Pugilisk Island to get some more money. This time, hopefully, we won't get robbed. Because that was fun. Oh, I just tried to walk through it like it was open. Whee! I just said Pugilisk Island three times in a row. Dude. He's so good at Don't Starve, and he can count better than me. Because there's no way I would have remembered that. <laughs> oh, best mob in the game, by the way. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> and I'm out of there. Guys, let's get rid of this insanity. I think that would be great. Let's start picking some flowers on the way home. Hi, Mant. How's it going? Oh, bye, Mant. Hello, Rope. Uh, You don't know how many hours you have in this game, but it should only be like 80 to 90 hours, and you know this much about it. Wow. That's impressive. <laughs> That's crazy. That is awesome. Insane again. Should we get a little bit more nightmare fuel before we... Call it quits on the being insane. Well, we'll get plenty of nightmare fuel in the... Although we can make dark swords. We can make dark swords. But we do have a ton of halberds. But like dark swords though? Ooh. Ooh. Food for thought. All right, guys, it's time to go back to Sainsville. All right, so first, first, I want to buy a house expansion permit. House expansion permit. There we go. We open up this room. We now have another room to work with. Let's go ahead and throw in our shadow manipulator. Boom. Now, we can make the Pugilisk Wand, which is actually very cheap. Um, there's some other things we can make. Maybe need an umbrella. <laughs> it's a bit late for that. I'm a little wet already. <laughs> but good idea. Good idea. Um, let's see. Dark Swords aren't expensive, and we have tons of Living Logs still. Night armor would be okay. Night armor would be okay. Uh, you know what? Pan flute. Pan flute might be the way to go. Cook the green caps, please. 
I actually wanted to use the lotuses instead of the green caps because these thing, these things are spoiling. But yeah, I'll, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go sane. I'm gonna go sane. We don't need any more nightmare fuel right now. And if we need more nightmare fuel, we can go to ends well. We need to go sane though. And boom. Welcome back to sanity, everybody. Welcome back. I'm also going to wear the crown. Because that will give me more sanity. Look at how pretty I look. Awesome. Awesome. Also, we'll probably want to turn in these, uh, this Queen Malfalfa and these postcards before... What am I going to use the pan flute for? The... Ancient Herald spawns enemies, right? So, what if I use the pan flute on the enemies he spawns? I know he spawns some enemies that are immune to pan flutes, like nightmare creatures, and uh, but I think he spawns frogs, which if we use the pan flute could be dealt with. My house in Hamlet is really fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. I try to keep it nice and clean, as you can see. It's very clean and organized and awesome. And great. Okay. We need a little bit more pig skin. You know what? Let's go... Let's go commit acts of being evil real quick. Where are my broken halberds? Here's my broken halberds. Let's take my broken halberds and let's let's get to work. We've got a hundred percenter here. We'll keep that. Let's go get to work. Oh, let's go drop these nettles real quick. How many rooms? How many rooms can the house have? I think it can have. Can it have infinite rooms? I didn't think there was a limit. I don't think there's a limit. Let me see if I can build another door. Yeah, I can build another door. I don't think there's a limit. I want to say there's not a limit. Uh, I should drop the petals. You're right. I also want to drop the nettles. Dude, 29 nettles. Too bad we're not going to experience lush season again. Except for a little bit. And then I think it's glitched, so there won't be any seasonal effects during a permanent apocalypse. But that's just how it goes. Okay. Let's let's leave now. Let's go find a brown coat pig real quick. Uh, shovel can stay here for a second. There's a brown coat pig. Give me some money. Thank you. I'm pretty sure it's infinite. Like, I, I'm actually pretty sure it's infinite. Like, you can have as many... Uh, rooms as you want as long as you have the money to buy expansion permits you can have as many rooms as you want 10 days until apocalypse that is correct that also means 10 days until the stream ends and we wait until tomorrow to enjoy the apocalypse the infinite apocalypse and have lots of fun okay well let's let's deal with these guys first these guys are so annoying Right, I'm gonna let them just like fall here. There we go. Now the guards can deal with it. Oh, what was that? What did what did he just say? Wait. What did he just did he just say peasant slave? What? What kind of an insult? Okay. I have not seen all- Did they say some wacky stuff? Most horrible. Oh, horrible. Alright, look, we'll deal with these guys now. Let me put my hat on before I take all the damage. Okay, well, I'm not gonna deal with three of them on me. Hold on. I'm gonna let the guards deal with them. These guards that I paid money to on accident. You know what? Actually, where's- where's Thames? Thames! You deal with these guys. I want you to deal with these guys. I've given you money. 
You need to protect me now. I've paid you. Alright. Shelves are not supposed to be used for stack items. Yeah. Because it won't hold a full stack. It'll only hold one item. Alright, these guards are too close to each other. We need to find an isolated guard like that guy down there. And then we're going to be very mean individuals. We're going to be very mean individuals. Hey, guard. How's it going? Alright, you got to take one hit or else it's not fun. Alright, come here. I'm getting better at kiting these guys. I feel like the halberd should have more range. I'm surprised it doesn't have more range than normal melee weapon. Alright, we got another torch. We got another pig skin. Cool. Alright, there's that guy down. We could steal this grass if we wanted to, but do we really need to? No. Absolutely not. Not that important. There's a isolated pig guard way over here. We could take him out. I think we should definitely start gathering halberds now. Alright, this guy is not isolated. He's got another pig guard over here. But this guy over here is isolated. Wow, they can spawn out in the countryside? What? Okay. I'm not even going to deal with that. I'm not trying to get robbed. I'm not trying to get robbed. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, Weevil. Weevil on my side, dude. I have the Weevil army on my side. It's so over for Douglas. Douglas won't even know what hit him. Dude, the Weevil army. Oh, dude, Douglas is juking. Oh, he hit me? Or did the Weevil hit me? Wait, we don't have our lantern? Oh, no, we do. We do. I was going to say, where did our lantern go? You think these guys will take Douglas out? Oh, no, Douglas. Thanks for the light, Douglas. Dude, the Weevils are never going to die. I might actually have to do something about these Weevils. They're making the fight annoying. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here, piggy piggy. And down he goes. Down he goes. We got another halberd. I can hammer down their houses. That's true. I could hammer down their houses, but I can also save that for an emergency in the apocalypse. Because if I save it for the Apocalypse, they will, uh, um, if I save it for the Apocalypse, then the guards will, st will stay outside during the Apocalypse, which can actually help me out if I get swarmed or something. You know what I mean? So I think I'm going to, I'm going to continue. Oh, it's too hot. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait, what are we doing with a battleless wing? Gross. I'll eat that. We'll take the halberd. Beautiful, 100%. What's in here? Spyglass, sewing kit. All things we don't necessarily need. Yeah, I'm sorry, pig buddy. I kind of took out your guard. Won't Pico steal the halberds? That, I... Maybe, actually. I'm actually curious. I'm gonna go test it. I'm gonna go test it. I'm gonna go test it. I can build a line of guard houses for the apocalypse. Not a bad idea. Let's test it. Okay, 10% halberd right here. 
No way he fits that in his cheeks. No way. What? No way. That is actually ridiculous. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Okay, so they will. They will steal the halberd. I think that halberd just got stolen again. Actually. So they, they do steal the halberds. That's actually annoying, because that probably means our halberds that we had up here are definitely in one of these trees. We could just cut down the trees, though, and see if we can get our halberds back. That is funny, though. That is so funny. No way, that... That, that's just insane. That is insane. We could probably just, like, throw the halberds in a chest. Yeah, a peak Or, not a pico. A, uh... Uh, whatchamacallit. Those little stupid dog things might steal them, but... It's the risk we take, huh? It's the risk we take. Why am I dropping food in there? I could... Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Okay, we should clear out our inventory a little more and then head over to the Pugilisk Island to get some relics. I think that's a great idea. Oh. Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> He's paying me back slowly, guys. He's paying me back slowly. Let's go ahead and organize some food. We should probably also make some meatballs. Uh, let's see here. Let's just feed the rest of these to the crow. I should not use the bird. Oh, yeah, he will. He will uh, perish. Yeah. I should probably bring him inside during the apocalypse. I probably will bring him inside. When the apocalypse hits. In fact, I should probably bring him inside now because I'll forget. I will forget. Robin, we're, we're gonna protect Robin. Come here, Robin. Let's go. Back inside. Come on. Let's go, big boy. You'll you'll stay in this room. This will be your room. Come here, Robin. Over here. Robin. Over here. Yeah. 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 Robin. Robin, what's happening to you? There you go. Here's your little special corner. There you go. I should definitely start stockpiling coffee. That's why I want to make money. I need money to stockpile coffee. That's the problem with coffee, is I need money to make it. I do have some stale coffee beans in here. I'm waiting to cook them for now. Don't worry, I won't, them, I won't let them rot. Or at least I shouldn't. I'm hoping I don't. Knowing me, there's a good chance I will. But. Alright, we'll leave the nightmare fuel in here. Um, we'll need the pith hat. It's an unfortunate, necessary thing. We've still got a little bit of time. This has been a long stream, guys. Actually, we're almost at 8 hours. I think we're, we're almost past the longest stream I've done. I actually think we're almost past the longest stream I've done. Which is kind of crazy, if you think about it. Yeah, see, realistically, you should be able to plant the coffee beans, because that's their... Coffee beans are the seeds, no? That would be overpowered, though. Imagine the massive coffee farms people would have in endgame bases. Dude, it would just be everywhere. Coffee everywhere. It would be insane. Alright, let's go to Pugilisk Island. You've been here for a couple of hours. That's awesome. I'm glad you, you caught the stream and are enjoying it. I don't think resource... I don't think resources slow down being made in the... a uh, dude. In the apocalypse. I know trees grow slower, but I don't think resource... Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't think resources grow slower. I know trees grow slower and food spoils faster.
I haven't roasted the coffee beans yet, though. So they're still raw, which in theory should make them plantable. Oh, this is the Pugilus Island, I forgot. I was like, what? Where are we? Alright, let's get some money. This should be the last large amount of money. Oh, best mob in the game, by the way. Should be the last large amount of money we can make. Real quick. Um, there's probably, it's probably only going to be in the rainforest. Let's eat some meatballs. There's another one. More money. Wonderful. Yeah, I do enjoy Hamlet. It's definitely a nice br uh, breath of fresh air coming from 100 days of summer and reign of giants. <laughs> definitely nice. I do enjoy this. Less relaxing, that's for sure. Believe it or not. I've been more stressed during this, which is supposed to be just like a chill playthrough. Uh, than I was during my 100 days of summer. <laughs> so, that's kind of funny. 73 times? My goodness, dude. I'm crazy. We can get this rope, though. This rope will be helpful for bundling wraps. Because bundling wraps are basically going to be our only food storage when it comes to the apocalypse. If only tubers uh, stacked to 40, I would get, like, bundling wraps full of them during lush season. I would get tons of tubers. Alright. Meatballs give 5 sanity, 3 HP, and 62 hunger. Yeah, that's definitely not bad. It's labeled as one of the best recipes in the game for a reason. Was there only two relics here, dude? Oh, there's another one right there. There's another one right there. I saw it on the map. Oh, and there's this guy. More gold? I will not say no. I will not say no. Uh, we'll start picking flowers, too, so we can stay a little bit sane. Oh, great. Well, you know that visibility thing we have, guys? Say bye-bye to it. It's like the worst part of dry season, but permanent. It's so stupid. Because <laughs> it does this during dry season, too. And it's awful. I don't think anybody likes the ash from dry season. Alright, there's another relic up here. You guys hear that horn? That was freaky. That was not the music. That's for sure. Um, we don't need this in our inventory now. Oh, yay! Visibility's back. Day 52, everybody. Day 52. We're making our way through. Wow, there's a lot going on over there. I'll take this rope, though. And these vines. Never mind. Oh, it's BFB. That's who it is. A gummy slug. I can make a gummy cake. Or I could just eat it. For fun. Oh, there's another one there? Or did I already get it? I think I already got that one. I think I may have already gotten that one. Oh, no, I didn't. Awesome. Oh, that nettles bloomed, and it feels so bad leaving it. But, like, I I don't need nettles anymore. I have tons of nettles. A 
Okay, that should be a decent, best mob in the game, by the way. Uh, that should be a decent amount of money that we got. Is BFB gonna land in the jungle? Probably not. I'm pretty sure BFB can't land in the jungle. She's gonna wait for us to leave. That's when she'll make sh she'll make her move. Uh, pierogi is better all year round. Oh yeah, two ice, one twig, and one fish is insane. That's really good. Uh, oh yeah, Shipwrecked has Surf and Turf, which is amazing. If you're not living on Surf and Turf and Shipwrecked, you're doing it wrong. Alright, go ahead and land, BFB. Let's do this. Let's do your thing. And... Plop! Dude, BFB's so freaky. Not going there, though. We already have gone there. Right there. <laughs> Funny enough, I actually built the bird whistle so we could go there earlier. So... That was funny. Alright, I think we're good to go then. We we can head back home now. We have 40 more oinks right there. That should afford us lots of coffee, hopefully. Lots of coffee. We're going for a lot of coffee and whatever, whatever else we can get. Really. Alright, welcome home. Welcome home. We got lots of rope too, which will allow us to use the bundling wraps a lot easier. Wow, wow, wow. A million hanging mines. Uh, I mean, I went couch shopping and out to lunch, chilled for a bit. And it was barely half the stream in. <laughs> Are you telling me to go outside? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, editing takes forever, though. Editing does take forever. That 100 days of summer challenge? Oh, my goodness. It's... I'm still going on it. And I've spent, like... uh, I spent, like, at least five hours a day on it so it's it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun it's gonna be very fun hopefully you guys enjoy it and hopefully youtube's nice to me this time and decides to give me some impressions because it gave me none for the 100 days of winter don't know why but Oh, good. We got all our money out of him. The Skyworthy is better than the Seaworthy because you can use it to go to Shipwrecked World and Reign of Giants World. That is true. Pretty sure you can build the Skyworthy inside of your house too, so you're always safe when you go back, like go to Hamlet. I don't know why I went to the general store. Oh, look, cloth. How fun is that? Cloth. The thing that we were so desperately trying to get. What am I doing here? We need to go to the spa. The spa is where we need to go. Oh, this, this stupid guy. He's gonna burn my house down! Alright, fine. Get out of here. Did he burn my house down? No way that didn't burn my house. That's crazy. That's luck right there. Alright, we need to go shopping. Uh, no coffee. But lots of honey poultices. Probably worth it to grab honey poultices. They're pretty good. You need me help you, buddy? No. You're just gonna be glitched. Fine. 
Uh, come on. Coffee. No coffee, lady. Coffee. Fine, I'll give you one more chance. Okay, I'll give you one more chance. There you go. Keep the coffee. Uh, no. Alright, give me coffee. Yes. 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 No. Bad. Uh, here. Coffee. Now. Not coffee. Alright, coffee. Now. Not coffee. Alright, whatever. Whatever. No coffee for me. We've got a decent amount of coffee so far. I need to probably roast these up now. Yeah, actually, this saves them for a little bit. Now they have a little bit more life in them. Uh, let's go to make some meatballs with our almost spoiled ingredients. There we go. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, dude. I need to stand up. I need one of those standing desks. The biggest downfall to streaming this long is sitting down so long. My goodness, does it suck. We've almost made it, though. We've almost made it. We've got tons of anti-venom. We've got tons of anti-venom. And we've got healing items as well. 16 honey poultices. 16 of them. And then we've got... We've got how many healing salves? We've got tons. 11 healing salves. Health is not going to be too bad of a deal. Health is not going to be too bad. We've also got tons of rope. And I'm thinking about heading out and grabbing more rope. It's not like rope's going to be hard to get. Imagine sitting for eight hours straight on a leather chair. Okay, luckily, this is actually a pretty nice, nice chair. It's a nice, uh, it's a supportive chair. You can hear it, actually. Yeah, that's the noise my chair makes. It's awful. No, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But it's not pleasant, I would I would say. All right, should we gather these berries? Would it be wise to like make a bunch of meatballs and then put them in a? Uh... But I see him sneaking over there. You guys see him? He thinks he's slick. Look at him. He thinks he's slick. We got an evil turkey bird, by the way. Do it. Take from the rich. Alright, alright, alright. Dude, the gobbler? Alright, fine. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're not, we're not, we're not pushing our luck. We're not pushing our luck. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make like a bunch of meatballs, I think. And then just bundle wrap them. I think that would be an okay idea. Maybe honey ham as well because technically we get one big meat one stale mo no we'll need more meat if we do that uh we're actually getting low on meat uh, how can we remedy that let's see you can't farm spiders in hamlet as easily as you can in reign of giants and shipwreck what is another source of monster meat Also keep 20 or more bone soup. Oh, that's a very good idea, actually. Um We could we could go to the pond, take out some hippos. They provide a good bit of meat. They provide a good bit of meat. Um other than that. Other than that, there's Thunderbirds, they're not bad. They're not bad. They're not bad at all. I should probably stop pausing. The stream's gonna get infinitely longer the longer I pause. Okay. 
That's the cheapest honey ham recipe I can make. Butterfly wings are also pretty good. They heal and provide food. They would be a pretty good food for Apocalypse. I think butterflies stop spawning during the Apocalypse. If I'm correct. Picos are also always rabid. We might want to take out all of these tea trees. And like dig them up. I like how where you spawn it's like permanently marked. That's so fun. Alright, we can take out a hippo. Alright, come on hippo. Whoa. Oh, best mob in the game, by the way, up there. Hippos are actually really easy to take out. Bye bye, tall grass. But hello, meat. 20 HP, 20 horsepower. <laughs> what? The antlers don't stack? Stupid. Uh, oh, dude, there's butterflies everywhere here. Oh. Why are there so many butterflies? Oh, that one flower spawned all of these butterflies? That's crazy. Because that's a tropical flower, so it doesn't spawn butterflies. Weird. Let's shave. Let's shave. It's cool. Um, okay. We can get some more rope if we want. We got plenty of sheer power. This is by far the easiest way to get rope. So effective, too, because it's just two iron and two sticks. And you can technically get, like, what, 20 rope? That's insane. That is an insane conversion. If you think about it. That's really good. I recently noticed that the place you spawn in Vanilla and Reign of Giants looks just like it would in Don't Starve Together, minus the postern. Real? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. You get that giant, like, portal thing in Don't Starve Together, don't you? Yeah, and then the, the ground is always, like, slightly different in your spawn zone. What are all these guys doing? Hey, monster meat, though. Oh, these were the guys from our, uh, accidental poison trip. You guys like visibility? Because, uh, I don't, apparently. The Celestial Portal. Dude, there's all types of stuff there. Don't Starve uh, Together is just a different game now. <laughs> Not saying Hamlet's any better for that. Hamlet's a pretty different game, too. <laughs> uh, I guess there's... This guy's glowing, by the way. Oh, we should probably get as much iron as we can from these guys. They're going to be a lot harder to farm when the Apocalypse happens. I Yeah. Yeah. We're going to want to get some iron from these guys. Because when the Apocalypse happens, it's going to be almost impossible. Because they'll be activated all the time. Alright. Welcome home. Alright. 
So. We have some stale green caps still. We can we can just cook those to get some quick sanity. Honestly. Not a terrible idea. I'm not opposed to it. Let's just eat these stale petals. I just yeah. Alright, let's go get some quick sanity. Uh we'll burn a grass. Wonderful. Uh, what am I going to need iron for? Shears. And that's about it, actually, I think. Well, we could, if we get a red gem, we can still make a, uh, what you call it? What you call it? The thing that makes these. This thing. Uh, the things that, that, uh, smelter, smelter. Yeah, smelter. Because technically... Technically, I think that's a good idea. All right, we got tons of rope, though. Hold up. We can just drop this on the ground for now. Then beard hair. We can make a meat effigy, but I'm not respawning. Not allowing that. Hello, Robin. How are you doing? Gross. Gross. All right. Dark swords would be cool. There's 11 bosses in total in Don't Starve Together. Wait, how many are there in Don't Starve Solo? Let's see. You've got all the seasonal bosses, tree guards, uh, palm tree guards. That's six. You've got seal nato. That's seven. Tiger shark. That's eight. Quacken, that's nine. Iron Hulk, that's ten. Um, you've got... You've got... Uh, what's Ancient Herald, that's eleven. You've got Pugilisk, that's twelve. You've got... And then what's the final one? Uh, Queen. Queen Woman. That's thirteen. There's more bosses in... Oh, you forgot many bosses. Okay, I was gonna say, I thought like there's more bosses in solo don't starve than don't starve together. I always thought don't don't starve together had more bosses. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, we're gonna get some iron regardless. I wanna make sure we have plenty of iron for any shenanigans that require iron. Oh. Uh Yikes. That's an issue. That is certainly an issue. Okay, so I guess we'll be waiting in here for a second. I should really get more snake bones and bundle the water to get more bones. I could. I could. I could. But then we need to use one of our coffees. And I really want to make sure that we can take out the Ancient Herald. Oh, I forgot to count Spider Queens and Lumpy Tree Guards, too. I didn't really count Lumpy Tree Guards, though, because they're the same thing as regular Tree Guards, just different skin. Palm Tree Guards are different, though, because Palm Tree Guards have a ranged attack. I'm just going to stay out here until... Dude, the face, though. It looks so stupid. It looks so stupid. Look at us walking. We're so depressed. This is how I walk down the street. This is how I walk down the street. I'm sad. I'm sad. Thames? 
Thames, mark my words. I'm coming for you. Oh. Well, I guess the bats are coming for you, actually. I would really love it if this fog stopped so I could be productive. I would really love it if this fog stopped. I also don't want to fight Pugilisk during fog. You know what I mean? That sounds like a quick way to have a bad time. Fighting Pug Pugilisk during fog. Alright, while we're waiting for the fog to pass, what other building things do we have? We have chairs. We have home kits. We have... Lights. Oh, you know what we could do? We could uh, we could go see if there's any coffee. Now's a good time to do that. Hey, leave me alone, guys. I'm just walking to the store. I'm just walking to the store. Hey, how's it going? No coffee? Whatever. Alright, I'm walking home. Ah -ha. Oh my goodness. Dude, they're gonna catch my house on fire. Actually, like, this is dangerous. They're catching everything on fire, guys. Oh no! No way. No way. Everything's on fire, guys. Guards, you need to stop. Please. Can we... Guys, the berry bushes. They're gonna burn. I actually need to help these guards do their job. Okay, I think we're fine. The berry bushes miraculously survived. I don't know how the berry bushes survived, but they did. No clue. Don't ask me how they survived, because I could not tell you. Probably because of the rain, is what I would say. Realistically speaking. Meatballs. First time you played WX, you thought I could, you could eat blue caps raw. <laughs> Man. WX can eat tubers raw, though. Like, the tubers in the, uh, the ones that I always eat during lush season, he can eat those raw, which is cool, because he doesn't, he doesn't take venom damage. He doesn't take venom damage, so he's pretty crazy for that. Pretty crazy for that. What do we got going on outside? Uh, look, we'll do it all tomorrow. We'll do it all tomorrow. We just lost a day. It's okay. Who cares? Who cares? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. You might leave any minute now, so sorry in advance. Ah, oh, it's all good. I'm glad you were able to catch the stream. It's It's been a long one. It's been a very long one. Uh, but I'm enjoying it. It's fun. It's very fun. Oh, boy. Okay. Right now, we're just pretty much waiting. Will I stream myself when testing the characters? Yeah, sure. Since uh, since you guys seem to want it. 
just know there will be no like storyline. I'm just going to be messing around with the characters, doing what they do, and then moving on to the next character. It's going to be, it's not going to be like this where I'm actually having a goal. Where I'm actually having a goal. But tomorrow's the apocalypse. So it's not going to be characters tomorrow. It's going to be apocalypse tomorrow. It is going to be apocalypse tomorrow. And I forgot my pickaxe. Anyway, I should probably dry off. Oh, did you see that? Did you see what he just said? Did you see what he just said? The apocalypse approacheth. The apocalypse approacheth. Doomsday is near. Oh no. Portentous figures. Doomsday is near. Please don't arrest me. Something wicked this way comes. Uh, doomsday is near. The apocalypse approacheth. Yeah, it's gonna get bad. It's gonna get bad. Oh, yeah, dude. I forget. I forget that you guys are all in different... Uh... I forget that you guys are have all uh, live in different time zones. Or most of you. I think most of you, at least. Because I know Klein said he was in France, and... Yeah, all types of different time zones. Yeah, I, I like streaming. I like streaming. For the longest time, I never streamed. Like, I actually posted... Uh, if you look at my, like, history, you'll see that I have, like, Don't Starve Day uh, 1 through 10 or 10 through 20. You know, like, they're like streams. But I didn't stream it for some reason. And now I'm finally doing it. Okay, who should we farm for... Probably the torso. Probably the torso. You know what would really make farming iron easier, though? If I had brought my pickaxe that I was supposed to get. I think that would have made it a little easier. Believe it or not. Are you asking where I am? Where I reside? I'm in the uh, Eastern Standard Time Zone. The great land of... Uh, Ohio. Very fun. The great land of Ohio. The one people make the funny jokes about. <laughs> Pacific time. Ooh. Alright, let's get some iron. Yep, we're neighbors. <laughs> we're neighbors. Alright. It's iron time. Alright, get him away from his iron. How did that hit me? I would like to know the answer to the question. I'm surprised that didn't hit me. <laughs> Dude, this game is funny. Alright, do your thing. No double hit. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at all this iron. Look at all this iron. Look at it all. 
my pickaxe broke, and it almost actually got me killed. Whoa. Okay, hold on. We're we're gonna chill out now. We're 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 getting in the danger zone of our football helmet. Football helmet. All right. We're we're gonna chill out for a second. He looks like a tick. Like you know those little bugs. Yeah, I got a lot of iron. We're good. We're good. That's 24 iron. Should be good enough. Should be good enough. We're gonna want shears because remember, we're gonna try to we're we're trying to survive as long as we can in the infinite apocalypse. So and iron is going to be almost impossible to get because these guys are going to be constantly active. I mean, we could do what we were just doing, but it's significantly harder. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a tick. Like, those little bugs. Those little bugs that, like, attach to you. The gross ones. Sorry in advance. Oh, don't worry, man. Don't worry. This is the longest stream known to man. I'm just kidding. I think Dreadnought's beat me and beaten me in time. I think he has a what? Don't you have like an 11 hour one? 12 hour? I'll beat that soon though. Mark my words. One of these days. Am I going to find the clock? No. No. I'm not setting the apocalypse back. We are surviving as long as we can without setting the apocalypse back at all. We're not finding the clock. We're not going near the clock. We're going to see how long it takes for us to go down. And we'll go down fighting. We'll go down fighting. All right, these football helmets suck. We need new football helmets. I don't like these football helmets. Ew, gross. This is my pile of broken and dirty football helmets. Alright. Where's my grat rope? Give me the football helmets. There we go. We need lots of armor. I'm thinking about getting more log suits. I want like a full stash of log suits ready to go. Maybe nightmare armor? For like worst case scenario, because that's a pretty good armor. But then again, it's also not imperative. All right, let's go ahead and make ourselves up some meatballs. These coffee beans are about to go bad. It's okay though, because everything's gonna work out. Um. Yeah, I know it'll be immediately replaced, but but when it gets replaced, there's a you'll take the remaining damage that the armor was supposed to take. So let's say I have a 1% football helmet on and I have a 100% in my inventory. The 1% will protect me, but once it breaks, I take the rest of the damage. And you can actually you can actually see that in action in my uh in my, uh, what's, what's it called? In the last live stream. Because, uh, when my armor switched, I took extra damage. So that's why I always keep fresh suits and stuff on me. It's annoying, yes, but it keeps me safe. It keeps me safe. water all right day 56 guys day 56 and i have been streaming for almost nine hours now it's lush season that's cool so why is there still fog on my screen your answer is as good as mine something wicked this way comes
But every time, every time my armor's broken and it switches out, I take the extra damage. Might be a console thing. I don't know. Everything's different on console for some reason. Something wicked this way comes. We're going to get allergies soon, but that's okay. I think uh, we're going to call it on day 59. We're going to call it on day 59. Because then tomorrow will be day 60. We'll get one last day so I can, you know, warm up a little bit. And then we'll go right into it and have lots of fun. And it'll be great. It'll be very fun. All right, we need an axe. Let's make an axe. Will I kill the Pugilus again or not? No, no. I'm probably not going to. I'm gonna start hunkering down and getting as many supplies as I can. I know I could use more bones probably, but... Oh, best mob in the game, by the way. Hold on, I'm taking this guy out. No way. Wait. I have... I've defeated a scorpion without taking a single hit. That is a world record, I think. That might be a world record. What time tomorrow? Probably 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, you'll have to calculate that for whatever you have. I think you said Central Time, so it's like an hour before. E either an hour before or an hour after, I don't know. One of the two. Look, I'm proud of myself. I defeated a scorpion without taking damage. 1,000% that's a world record. Yeah, I'm trying to do all my streams a little later. I don't want to do them too late because then, you know, like this nine hour stream would not be possible if I did it at like, if I started at like eight at night. It would be morning right now. And I'm talking about my time zone, obviously. What about GMT? Let's see. I can actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do the math real quick. Uh, let's see. So it's, wow, it's, uh, is it 3.29 a.m. there? I did defeat best mob in the game. I don't know time zones that well, but I'll try my best. <laughs> All right, let me eat some aloe. The day of reckoning is almost among us. It's almost among us. We've got some jungle burrs. It's 429, so that's an hour before. Um, yeah, it's it's 1130 here. So, yeah, Dreadnought, you're an hour behind. So, for you, it'll be a 2 o'clock stream. Okay. So, that means it should be... Hold on. Um, it should be, should be around seven for you or eight, around seven or eight. One of those two, one of those two. It's noon for you. Oh, you're on the uh, you're on the uh, west coast, aren't you? Or like on that side? Cause you're on Pacific time. Wow, it's noon. 
Oh my goodness. Crazy to think that some people are just starting their day now. <laughs> Very interesting. If things get too bad, maybe we can, uh, maybe we can make the, uh, tele, tele, potato thing and just leave. <laughs> Our government should learn from us. Yeah. <laughs> you guys think the, uh, don't starve community should overthrow the government? <laughs> you think we have enough people? <laughs> Go away, Weevil. My stupid cane broke. We should probably get another cane, too. Um, do we have any snap tooths left? What? Do snap tooths go extinct? There's only the ones in the poison forest. Oh, that's an uh oh. Oh, you're an you're an org. Okay. It's 8.30 p.m., right? That's more... Yeah, that's... Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Am I Australian? No. No. I am, uh... Mostly Irish. I am not Australian. All right. Okay. Things are about to get a lot harder. What did my character just say? Oh, he's hungry. Okay. We don't need this pith hat anymore. Probably forever. Probably. Who knows? Yeah, my most of my nationality is Irish and a little bit French, but most of what we're working with. All right, we need to get a stocking stick. We need to get a stocking stick. We probably could go to the gas rainforest and lure one of those plants over and feed it. Like nectar and stuff. Or leafy meat. Leafy meat. Then we can get a big one. Oh, guys. We don't have long. We don't have long. And we're so close to nine hours. This is officially, I believe, the longest stream that I've done. And I didn't even plan for it to be the longest stream. It just happened. So... <laughs> Look at how big Wilson's cheeks become when he eats big foods. Uh, I, I will keep that in mind. I'll look at that next time. Uh, whoa, destruction, ruin, and decay. Dude, everybody here is so pessimistic. Nothing's going to happen. We're fine. We're fine. Now I got to get to 12 hours so I can beat Dreadnought. <laughs> uh should I do a should I do a 24 hour live stream? <laughs> that would be nuts. That'd be awful. I would feel so upset after that. Uh do I have to go through the brambles? Probably. Let's go. Hey! Well, that's a fun little... Alright, tomorrow's allergies, by the way. So it's actually good we got a bloom. A bloom. You dare me to do a 24-hour live stream. You know what? Maybe. 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 Okay, tell you what. Tell you what. And you can, you can hold me to this. You can hold me to this. If the 100 
days of summer video gets, I don't know, let's make it something ridiculous, like 500 likes. That's like unheard of for my channel. If it does, then I will do a 24 hour live stream. I won't stop. The only time I'll stop is to redirect to another live stream because YouTube doesn't like it when you go over 12 hours. They actually cut the VOD. So I will stop to like switch over to a different live stream, but that's it. Yeah, I, I can't not get the nettles. Even though I probably won't need them, I can't not get them. They're just, they're too good. They're too good. You can hold me to that too. I, I will, uh, I'll even, I'll do a community post about it. Make sure everybody knows. You can definitely hold me to it. All right. DST made Wormwood's Bramble Husk only equipable by Wormwood. I, sorry, I just, I had a problem reading that out because I was looking at two screens. <laughs> um, interesting. That's actually interesting. Ooh, money. Hold on. Cough, cough, cough. Ugh, gross. Yuck. I want that money. I thought there were, uh, oh, they're on the other side. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, if we could just beat a few of these guys. It's four. It's four. One. There we go. We got one leafy meat. If we can get three leafy meat, I think that's all we need to summon a big guy. You could create different accounts. I probably wouldn't do that. I don't think YouTube would like me like me if you guys did that. <laughs> that. I gotta stop reading with one eye. I'm like focused right now. I'm in hyper focus mode. Alright, there we go. Three leafy meat. Now all we need well actually can I or am I gonna cough? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Come with me, my friend. Come with me. Yes. Yes. Alright. One leafy meat. Delicious. Two leafy meat. Absolutely scrumptious. Three leafy meat. Delicious. Oh, come on. Why do you evolve? Okay, it's still four for them. Alright. Thank you, Cricket. Glad you could be of service. Oh, dude, you're mean. We just teamed up, dude. My goodness. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think YouTube would like that very much. You're just going to have to find 500 real people. <laughs> Alright, give me these nettles. I can't say no to nettles. I can't say no to these. That's like a crime. If you see bloomed nettles and you don't pick them, that, that like, can't go unpunished. Even though I did just do that over on the Pugilisk Island. We'll just ignore that, though. That didn't happen. Smells vaguely tolerable. Also, did he do, like, a ton of damage to me? Or am I crazy? Like... I feel like those things do a ton of damage. I don't know. Or was I already damaged? Eat a meatball and look at Wilson's cheeks. Oh, dude. That's gross. That's disgusting. Hey, we got another halberd. Oh, this one's at 
Oh, nettles. Yeah. Have I ever played Medieval Dynasty? I have not, but I have looked at it. It's on the uh, Xbox store, so I could play it on Xbox. And it is something I could stream on Xbox. But it, it is on my radar. It, it definitely looks like a fun game. And I've seen you play it a little bit. It looks fun. It definitely looks fun. Three days left. That is true. That is facts. And that is correct information. Oh, it's a full moon tonight, too. How fun. We get allergies tomorrow, though. We need to prepare. Like it or not, we gotta make some nettle rolls. Uh, we got some leafy meat. Can I feed it to you raw? I can. Here. Yeah. Eat some leafy meat. Alright, we're gonna eat these petals. Eight hours and 42 minutes on stream. Oh yeah, that's a long one. That's a long one. Whew. That's a long one. Did I get logs to make log suits? I did. Good. Good. Wanted to make sure. Okay. What else is there? We need to make log suits, of course. Let's go ahead and get some fresh log suits. We're going to need a lot of these bad boys. They break very quickly. Maybe some nightmare armor. Maybe. We'll, we'll just go ahead and put these things down here. We need to make nettle rolls. How many nettles do we have? Ooh, we have a full stack of nettles. That is beautiful. All right, I'm, I'm keeping that full stack of nettles. We'll make, we'll make these two. But we're keeping the full stack of nettles. That is too beautiful. I've just surpassed my shipwreck steam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. My nose feels itchy. There it is. There it is. And if we go outside... Actually, we're not feeling allergies yet. Funny enough. I don't know why. The apocalypse cometh. And we have... We have three 10-piece oinks left. We have 30 oinks. Yeah, nettles don't spoil, which is awesome. All right. Let's check the shop for coffee. Let's check the shop for coffee. Yes. Come on, give me more. No, you're supposed to give me coffee. You're supposed to do coffee. It's supposed to be coffee. It's supposed to be coffee. Why must she be so mean to me? Alright, I think we have enough to make three coffee, though, if I'm correct. So, we might be okay. I'm going to make the coffee now and then bundle it. Or, we should probably... We have to bundle everything at once, right? So, I should probably make, like, a bunch of meatballs and then coffee and then bundle it. If I want to be smart. Okay, bye. All right, see you. Hopefully see you tomorrow, where we have some fun with the Apocalypse. It'll be at 3 p.m. I'll also do a Discord notification. I can't grow coffee here. You can, but you have to bring it over from Shipwrecked. I'm pretty sure you can grow coffee here, though, from Shipwrecked. But if you're already on Shipwrecked, just stay on Shipwrecked, dude. Shipwrecked's an amazing map. Literally the most pleasant place to live ever so um yeah okay what we should do is make some meatballs and like yeah all that good stuff let's make the good stuff and then we'll make some coffee and then life will be good we'll bundle it up
And that'll be our emergency food reserve. Also, the first time I use bundling wraps. Have I done a three world connected video? No, I haven't. But I was talking about doing one. Except I want to do a I want to do a twist because you know I can't play Don't Starve normally. I have to add some type of twist, and I think I'm going to do one that's all three worlds, except all of the seasons are going to be randomized. So I'll I, I won't know how long each season lasts, which should be fun. It should be fun. I'm hoping. Alright. Looking good. We've got four meatballs. These next two I'm probably going to leave as normal food storage. And then the coffee beans I'm probably going to bundle wrap as well. We could go buy a bunch of ice. Ooh, we could buy a bunch of ice and then bundle wrap it as well. Very great idea that... Okay, okay. Can we get some more money too? We need to, we need to focus. We only have one day left. They pretty much do that anyways, it seems. Yeah, I, the seasons are always wacky. But as long, if I set it to random, I'm hoping that it makes it a little more... Because what I want to do is I want to set it to random seasons... And then I want to set every boss, every seasonal boss, to more. So that it's guaranteed to get a seasonal boss. Reign of Giants should be fun. Because we'll just get randomly boss attacked. And then, um, Shipwrecked Hurricane Season should be fun. Because Seal NATO. And, okay, we need to make some money now. We don't have a lot of time. And I want to buy some ice. So, let's get to work. Doomsday is near. That is correct. Uh, do they stay random and don't starve? They do. I was looking at the, uh, I was actually looking at the code. So, funny enough, that challenge is actually harder in Don't Starve Alone than it is in Don't Starve Together. Because, in Don't Starve Alone, the seasons randomize every time you exit the game and come back. So, technically, we could be going through a very long summer, and then leave the game, come back, and the summer will switch to very short or something like that. Whereas in Don't Starve Together, it's a set time thing and, you know, boring. Not saying Don't Starve Together is boring. I'm just saying you can't do random seasons. Because random seasons are boring in Don't Starve Together. So yeah. One of the few ways that Don't Starve Alone has an edge over Don't Starve Together. <laughs> All right, we got 20 clippings. I think we spend the rest of our money on ice. I think that's what we do. We just need to buy ice and then bundle it up. Or put it... Actually, we don't even need to bundle ice up. We just need to put it in the ice box. It won't spoil in there. There we go. Perfect. But then, I'm hoping that with the random seasons and bosses set to more, we'll get jump scared by bosses more often. Because, you know, when you have normal seasons, you can kind of tell when the bosses will come. But if you have random seasons, you'll have no clue. So it should be fun. And then I'll make that like a long-term world where we actually do everything. I think ice is one oink. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Alright, we're about to buy a lot of ice from Beatrice here. This is going to be a non-renewable resource because uh, the apocalypse demands that we never use ice. Alright, we're getting lots of ice here. You may be wondering why I'm going back and forth like this. Um, it's controller problems. I can't actually stay on the ice unless I move back and forth. It's very weird and annoying. Oh, we had just enough to make a full stack of ice. Oh, yeah. 
Get used to those bat attacks, by the way, because we get a bat attack every day during the apocalypse. So that that'll be fun. You guys notice how Wilson said his his uh he had allergies, but he's not having allergies right now. Isn't that kind of weird? Must be the uh the apocalypse affecting him already. Uh, we almost have enough to make dude we almost have enough we're so close to being able to make more coffee i'm so upset about that okay we have to get some hedges oh wait no guys tomorrow is when i have to end the stream so we have enough time to prepare when i wake up tomorrow at like 12 because I'll only have like an hour or two to edit the 100 days of summer and then I have to get right to streaming <laughs> not saying streaming's annoying I'm just saying I don't have a lot of time to edit the video oh boy this should be fun this should be fun we'll have the final day oh yeah No, not near my house, actually. Let's go away now, please. I forgot they use fire. It's very annoying. Why are they so mad at me? Okay. Uh, the house is burnt down. No. No food for you guys. You guys suck. Oh no. Don't cause fires at my house! I just hit the guard, dude. I'm so stupid. Okay, you know, it's the apocalypse almost anyway. So, like, this is just gonna be annoying for, like, the next day or two. I hit the guard, dude. I'm... My house is on fire. Hey, Builder Pig, can you do something about this? Yeah, can you stop? Okay, he's chill. You're not chill, though. Why are you not chill? The other guard's chill. Look, he's building my house back. Dude, the other guard's chill. Why can't you be chill? Alright, whatever. Anyways, let's go back home for a second. Okay, don't... Don't spawn camp me, though, please. I want you to leave my house. Come on. There we go. Alright. Okay. We're gonna- we're gonna leave it at that, guys. We're gonna leave it at that. I can't believe I hit that guard. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. Ten oinks to pay him off. Dude, it's gonna be the apocalypse anyway. He's gonna be stuck inside all day. Because he's a little baby. He's scared of the red moon. Or the, the red sun, I guess it is. I don't know. It's a solar eclipse, right? The apocalypse? I don't know. Something like that. Anyways. Also gives everyone some time to join in. That's true. I want to make sure there's a little bit of, of a buffer. I want to make sure there's a little bit of a buffer. Although not too much of a buffer. Because I also want people to be able to watch these videos after I'm done streaming, and I know that these awkward just talking moments aren't the most fun thing to watch. So yeah, we'll we'll do to we'll do this tomorrow. We're gonna have lots of fun. Actually, one second. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and see real quick. I'm gonna I want to see how many hours I have in this game. Let's see. Let's see real quick. I want to pull that up if I can. Um, if I can figure out how to, that is. I think I have to go to compare. Um, one second. One second, guys. I'm working on it. I promise. I'm working on it. All right. We've got 55 days 
20 hours and 49 minutes. I thought it would be bigger, actually. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Max days survived 620. Total days survived 1,516. Okay. I actually haven't checked my stats, like, ever. So, interesting. Alright. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the stream. I hope you guys all enjoyed the stream. I'm actually going to go ahead and back to the main menu here. It's been fun. We will fight the apocalypse tomorrow. And, yeah. Whew, I'm excited. I'm also excited to finally eat. I have not eaten anything since I started streaming. So I'm going to go eat. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.